And Carl is first. Hello. Hi. Hi, Vincent. Hi. Hi, Jim. Hello. I hope everyone has an electrifying experience when I do my questions. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, but right, you know the questions. No, right. I didn't. I did not read them. I know the topic, and that is as far as I went. Uh, I didn't sure. want to read them. Don't get. Don't give me the questions. I don't want to. I don't want to know what. They I are. had to change. I had to change some of them. Oh, good. It was just like. Okay. Did you go over them with Avi? I did. Yeah. Oh, that's and, fun. And then you know what? And then I forgot where the answers were. So it's like. Well, if they like, if anyone challenges me on the answers, it's like I can't, I can't oh. remember where I got them from. So, well, you better so not I had to right. Huh? <laughs> so, oh well. So, sure I'm just playing my, oh, there's a little birdie. Hey, Hi, Kyle. Good birdie. Good evening. That is um, hey, Yoshi. Yoshi. Indeed. Yoshi. Yoshi oh. has her own Instagram channel. Oh yeah, there's a little birdie. Yeah, and then I like the parakeet too. So what parakeet? See what oh, I did there? <laughs> you're trying to be funny. I, I said I like the little birdie, and then I said I like the parakeet too. <laughs> Kyle, you're just a little birdie. I'm kidding. <laughs> so a Yoshi, little birdie told you? Yeah, she's got got their head turned a little tilted. Like I can see you. Very curious. I wonder what they're thinking. They're thinking, what's moving on the screen and can I eat it? If we uh, zoom in on anything, she'll get freaked out by that. Oh, as it moves towards her? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to zoom in then. <laughs> yeah, no sudden movements. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, how funny. How old is Yoshi now? Oh, I think she's 10 or 11 now. And how old do they usually get? 50 or 60. Oh, my God. Yeah. I thought it was over 100. Like um, some species, maybe like a macaw, maybe an African gray, uh, lilac crowned Amazon, like her, the estimate's 50 to 60. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. She'll outlive you then, maybe. Possibly, yeah. Well, we're going to set up some sort of trust or endowment or whatever it is eventually. Somebody who will take care of her and yeah. love her and be a good part of the household. What does she think of cats? Um, she hasn't been around very many. Well, she probably wouldn't think very fondly of them. Yeah, I don't think so. She, uh, my sister-in-law has a little Yorkie mm -hmm. and she's not at all afraid of the Yorkie. But on another occasion, she encountered a poodle and she was terrified of that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Holy, what a cracker. Holy, have, you guys a cracker. All, have you guys been watching the hearings? Jan 6 or Donnie, yeah. Johnny Depp? Oh, no, the Jan Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp is old news. I don't care about that anymore. And that's all over. This this January 6th thing, I'm so I am just absolutely engulfed in. And I didn't get to watch it this morning because I had a Zoom call for something else. And so I'm now I'm watching it now. I'm at hour two hours and 15 minutes into it. And I cannot believe it. I'm just like jaw drop, like, oh, oh my God. This is this is better than any any book that could be out right now. Absolutely insane. And I think I'm the only one watching it. <laughs> Yoshi, have you been watching? No, she's not a real TV bird. Cause she would just be like, wow. I just get the highlights on uh, the one legal podcast opening arguments. Lots of people are telling me that they don't have the patience or the time to watch the hearings, but yes, they're getting like the summary. I, I want to hear everything. I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's it's amazing. Oh look, there's hey, Jeff. Jeff. We haven't seen you in ages. I know it's been a really really busy time at work, um, and it's just been like enough that I've been so mentally exhausted that at the end of the day I'm just like, like I would just be here and be vegetative while I was sitting on the stream. 
And so, so I was just like, okay, I just, I just need to get that underway. But yeah, Julie's actually out at a at a origami convention actually. Oh, where? Uh, cool. In New York, the it's the it's actually the like U.S. sort of like national one that they do. So so pretty big and stuff. And yeah, it's it's gonna be really fun. She's really excited to be out there, and she's already sent me snaps of Central Park and stuff. Oh man, that must be amazing to be able to go over there. She, did she have any flight issues or luggage issues or anything like that? She had a small flight issue, which was that um, like we got there a little over an hour before the flight um, and uh, the security was running ultra slowly and she almost didn't make it. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, she she made it with five minutes to spare, apparently. Ooh. So but Scary. luckily she made it, so. August 16th, I'm giving a talk to Seattle Skeptics. Oh, cool. Awesome. I will be there. I will make it a point to to be there. I sure What's funny is that, like, I actually got connected here to a bunch of people before, like, Seattle Skeptics. Like, I actually don't know a lot of the Seattle area Skeptics and stuff. They're, they're, pretty, they're pretty big, actually. They have, you know, they do talks and stuff and. Cool. Uh, I did a talk there once before back in Deborah and Paula and I drove up there. Actually, I flew up there. I drove or no, I drove. I was taking Sterling his, his stuff. He had just moved in there like two or three days beforehand. And I followed him and drove up and then they flew into Seattle. I picked him up at the airport and then we offloaded all I have offloaded all the Sterling stuff. And then we just did the tour all the way down back to where back to home but it was it was a blast i had so much fun so seattle there's a kitsap kitsap county skeptics that's the first talk i did which is in seattle area sort of and then i went to um to the seattle skeptics yeah kitsap county is very close yeah it was beautiful but it was a different group i thought that was odd there'd be a different group seattle like the the thing is it's like even talking about it from like a King County versus Seattle, like even though Seattle's in King County, like most most people would rather it be called like Seattle area as a thing, just because it's, most people know where Seattle is. Most people don't know where King County is, so. No, no, no. There are probably more King Counties in the world than Seattle's. Probably. Yeah, I, I buy that. I would never have known where King County was. I couldn't have guessed. It probably would have picked back east or something. So yeah. I don't know. Hi, Larry. Hi, Bob. We gotta shut the we gotta shut the chickens up, you guys. This is our weekly routine to make sure the chickens are all on the roosts and and where the, chicken, the, the chickens have come home to roost. We gotta make sure that they're up on their perches and and I think also Bob goes and shuts up the neighbors' chickens too. So big responsibility each week. Yeah. Jeffrey, you got any kittens? Yeah. Well, same same I think the ones like that I showed on stream last time. They're just like close to adoption adoption times. But uh, I'll definitely showcase them. Um, I'll definitely do that during the break. See how the kittens are doing. I mean, maybe maybe I'll try to make sure that everything's connected now because Julie actually Julie actually started getting into Sudoku too, which is great for me because like it's something I'm very passionate about and it's something that she's now like finding really cool stuff in and I'm. Did I'm you just say Sudoku? Yeah, but you it's mean not, that number thing that you put into not, the boxes. Okay, or is so this something I've never is, heard of? That is what I would call sort of like plain Sudoku which a lot of people, which plenty of people enjoy as a thing, but it's like definitely kind of a almost passive thing at some point that you do. The kind of Sudoku that I'm doing are, uh, they have complex rule sets that intersect with, like it is a Sudoku grid. You're still doing the like one of every number in every box, row and column, but you do things like, okay, this there's a little cage here that surrounds a group of numbers. And it has the sum of those numbers in the top left corner. And that tells you like, and that tells you something about the composition of what those numbers are. And similarly, you might have something where it's, 
They call it arrow Sudoku, where you'll have a little circle and a little arrow extending from it that crosses one or more spaces. And then that the number in the circle is the sum of all the digits on the arrow. So it's and more that, like a zoomed in, like here's a normal Sudo Sudoku, but then they have more advanced yeah, like you think about solve. it, like there's sort of that plain rule set just around the uniqueness part. And then there's sort of this extended logic and like finding new sorts of ways in which the the grid can have like linkages and, and things. And it's a completely different sort of like it it really opens it up as a completely new and interesting space for just number puzzles in general. Wow. Alan, yeah. hi. Ron, boy, you guys just both joined at the exact same time, like you had planned it. And Al and Ron's cat's tail. Now I'm I'm reboot my uh, I'm having trouble with my computer, so I'm rebooting. So I'm on lap. I'm on this whatever this thing is. Look at Yoshi's watching. So is Flockmeister uh, wearing a body cap or something? <laughs> I think he's just carrying his phone. Yeah. Uh, Vincent, you had a chat I, with I Avi. It's easy enough to care, to wear your phone as a body cap. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Who's Dennis? Somebody named that's Dennis. That's my brother. Oh, oh, he's joining us again, and you guys aren't even in the same place. Well, wow, that's nice to know. You guys aren't in the same place right now, right? No. Oh, how was your vacation? Yeah, uh, uh, the last two days were pretty good. Oh, the last two days were good. Oh. Good. At least hey, uh, Vincent, did you uh, did you chat with Avi the other day? I did. He was incredibly helpful. All right, cool. Yes. And he probably felt like he got to participate a little bit by. That's right. That's right. Well, was he speaking German to you? Uh, if he was, I wouldn't be able to understand him. So. Uh, all right. No. <laughs> oh, fine. So. Oh, that's nice. It's nice that uh, uh, we have more family that's joining us. So, so Larry's brother Dennis is joining us. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. We we didn't scare him off. Oh, that is always a good thing. Yep. <laughs> and here comes Romero. Very very good. Mark's in the other room making himself dinner, so hopefully he'll join us. And oh, Alan, I hope, I hope Jeff. Um, gets a real charge out of my questions so uh, uh there's just so many of them <laughs> is that a pun is that a clue get a charge uh, out it's, of a, it? it's a pun <laughs> right. Romero so you okay. now that you so, uh, so, so Vincent's questions are going to be on current events I guess hey, so. Kyle well Kyle. sure <laughs> Kyle, next time, next oh time look at the kittens talk. there's the kittens Meow, 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 Yoshi, Yoshi, look at the kitties. Yoshi's Kyle, like, whatever. Kyle, next time you're in Chicago. Oh, little ones, do you want to come in? Oh, look at the here. Look, look, they're just all excited. Look at them. They're, they're very bad. excitable. They're all very, very excitable. And they're Cat always Cat Cat Katniss, they're your relatives. <laughs> oh, look at, look at, yeah. Yeah, Ron's cat's watching. There's oh, your relatives, Katniss. How many are Jeff, there? Are you putting are you putting the cat in the washing machine? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so, so they go in our utility room as our sort of like kitten, our kitten camp space. So, but they are just about wild. a graduating age. So, hi, hi kitty. Oh, he's cute. Let's see. This one is little acute. They're all acute. named after. Yeah, they're all named after math things. The little acute. This one is. This one is little parallel because she has parallel stripes on the front of her head. Uh, and that's how like we named them after geometric identifiers. So that way we would know how to identify them when they were little. This one is little hex and it's hard to see, but on the top of her head, her stripes form a little hexagon. Um, and it's, it's very cute. And then this one, because we had trouble, ah, Ah, they're all they're all interfering with everything. And then um, I see I see one is little chicken running across the screen. Hi, little Pythagoras. Oh boy, that Pythagoras ah, looks yeah. like they're really very, bad. very quick to like touch the screen and stuff. So I wish I had a way to like lock the touch controls. Wow. Would they get along? Yeah. They are they are right at age. They're 
Um, we actually have a couple of friends who are adopting two of them, um, and we are allowed to be there, uh, kitten hookup, as it were. Um, so, like the the rescue, is definitely of the opinion that we are allowed to. Uh, there is no question that it is easy to find kittens' homes, but at mm -hmm. the same time, they will gladly forego any like extra paperwork and do some of it early with a you know, with a pre-adoption, if you will. Oh, with somebody you recommend or something like that. Yeah. Do they yes. get along with, do they get along with chickens? Uh no. So this is actually a quarantine zone. So we have this nice like this nice uh door that we bought that essentially sections off two parts of our utility room. I don't know if you can see that, but it goes right in between the counter space and the washer dryer. And it's acts like a big sliding door and um, it allows me to close it and create, ow, a little kitten airlock. <laughs> you are too remote -ish. You go down. Jeff, I'm she glad, A, it. you live far away, and B, my wife has gone to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're recording. You can show her later. And she, he's in Seattle, oh. so Ron, you wouldn't be able to get one easily. There you go. Good stuff. <laughs> Adrian. Look, Adrian and Peggy are here. Hi, Adrian and Peggy. And Romero. Are you up to down? Are you up to down? Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And Adrian too, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Okay, so Adrian, I'm doing uh, a round of questions tonight. So, yeah. so yeah. let's see. We've got a, there are a few other Calgary people there. Um, let's see, I need to find a new car. So if anybody can uh, point me at <laughs> possible Calgary. System. Okay, so he's got a help one uh, a car needed in the Calgary area. Yeah. Well, if you want to get the Chicago car, we got to get rid of Avi's car. <laughs> yeah. Well, Chicago's just right across the road, but I guess you can't really just easily do that yeah. in Chicago, America to Canada, you know. Yeah. Hey, this thing is not letting me uh, get in on my uh, my laptop. Every time I, I click on launch meeting, it just doesn't do anything. Well, I lied. It just did something. Hi, Gail. <laughs> Hello. We were just looking. Um, when you go to make the teams, I have a very early commitment tomorrow that I'm not quite finished preparing for. So <laughs> I may have to leave early. Okay. Well, you're first up. So that's, or you're, yeah, you're first up. You told me I was first. I was, that yeah. made me feel good because I was, I don't have to worry about leaving early then. Okay. You're first. I'm, 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 in now. I'm, I'm kidding. I didn't want to be fine. I can go in any time. Yeah. Vince, you're third. I'm third. Who's on first? Uh, What's on second? Why do we have two Allens here? Allen was on an iPad and now he's on his trying to get onto his laptop because he had to start it. I say one, one was three. too many. Uh, hey, 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 Allen, I had poutine for din dinner tonight. Aren't you lucky? Oh, still yeah. I've never had that. I'm, st I'm still recovering. I never heard of it before you guys started talking about it here on Trivia. Isn't that amazing? They, they have it in New Jersey. Well, I'm in California. I'm a long ways away. Adrian's coming back or is she? was in here a minute ago <sighs> she was here she was there she is, there she she is. Here. yeah now she's back okay that's yeah. the bird is here bird. that's a real bird isn't it kyle? hey kyle did Indeed. you know hi terry the beautiful. very very profound like profound the bird is the word it's profound. <laughs> Indeed. You're trying, Vincent. I'm not sure how far. I don't know, because Kyle's flipping us the bird constantly here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, the bird ain't being flipped. Yeah, yeah that, I think we just say that. It's He's just giving us the bird. there watching us. He's showing us the bird. Well, Bob does it every week. Yeah. Profound or pro lost? Bird. No, multiple <laughs> birds he shows us. They're, look at them. Look at them run. There they go. Aren't they cute? Look at them. They're so pretty. Aww. Oh. I guess it was gee, gee, I guess it was. Me. Let's see. I guess it was on Science News and on the uh, Skeptics Guide. Something about uh, evidence that the uh, chickens were first domesticated for uh, their prettiness, not their uh, edibility. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, I didn't yep. know that. Yeah, they are 300, 300 BC is when they started eating them. Yeah. 
They're gorgeous. Oh, don't say anything in front of Kyle. Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi will hear. We don't want Yoshi to hear that. There's no militant. Uh, We're talking about E A T I N G B I R D S, Kyle. So. Oh, no. K F C. I mean, KFC. <laughs> but yeah. I got an email that said that's not a real chicken, so I don't feel bad. <laughs> We we talk about eating cows in front of people, and we're all mammals, so that I think it's should be a problem to talk about eating chickens in front of Yoshi. And you never know who you've just eaten either when you have a Ooh. cow. Adrian's back. What's going on with Adrian's computer? She has a brand new computer. Well, I'll say this: Yoshi strongly dislikes crows, so take that how you will. Uh, maybe larger animals she doesn't care for. Hmm. Adrian. Are you here? It uh, looks like she stepped out. No, she. I just let her in again. She's connecting. Yeah, that's the third time I've let her in. She's having trouble. Minutes. Yeah. Adrian, you okay? Yeah. No. Uh, I. It took yeah. Me a no. <laughs> yeah. No. I know. I'm fine. I just had trouble with my my <laughs> microphone wasn't working. It kept saying my you know no audio, and so I went out, thought just read you know the old classic, turn it on and off again. And that didn't work. And then I remembered that after update, sometimes, not always, my my microphone settings go back to uh, an old, well, <laughs> what this, the computer used to have as a setting. And if it's not on 96,000 hertz, my microphone will not work. So oh. I just went back and changed that and we're all good. Huh. Oh, 96,000. I know. <laughs> incredibly high you just came back from a vacation also yeah i yeah. did no, she no, had an adventure no. or i should say her luggage had an adventure do you know where uh, it went no idea i'm guessing it ended up somewhere in the toronto pearson airport in a pile of other luggage and it just took them a while to find it <laughs> it, that but that was a uh, very strange mm. if any of you are traveling uh don't be surprised if you have a connection that your luggage may not make it because apparently all over North America and Europe, the airports are understaffed and the baggage handlers, the people, you know, waving, waving the airplanes and everything is, uh, is poorly staffed. Anyway, and Adrian, I think this was true. <laughs> what does it say? You are here? You. Yes, I am here. What does the other part say? Your luggage is over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that what it is, true. Adrian? They have just a couple people working. So you have the pilot who lands the plane, then then <laughs> opens the door, runs down the little the gateway, and then goes out and opens up the thing, yeah. pulls out the luggage and throws them onto the cart, wheels it back in, yeah. and then goes over to the agent and you know so i think i think it, it was pretty funny just several things because we landed at midnight and <laughs> we're all waiting for our luggage you know it's a, a fairly big plane from toronto and we're all standing around waiting for our luggage and it starts coming and nobody is going to pick up their luggage usually when it starts coming down people are you know coming forward everybody's standing there and it completely fills up the whole carousel double <laughs> and nobody's grabbing their luggage so we're going what is going on and what it turned out to be is that that luggage was from a previous flight probably the previous day that was finally <laughs> making it and there was one air canada poor dude who was scanning each bag and lifting it off and putting it in a big pile off to the side. And so there ended up being a huge lineup of these people on the plane and nobody's luggage. Or, you know, there was, I think, one person I saw who got one bag out of two or three. So it was crazy. I've oh never seen gosh. anything like it. <laughs> so I, um, I have a, a friend, a, it's actually, it's a conductor, used to conduct in Edmonton. And, uh, he um, he's usually coming down on Delta Airlines. He lives in right. Minnesota, but uh, he just went off on on Pearson uh, uh, last week. You know, I guess he had to fly through Toronto, and he oh. was not a happy camper. Yeah, no, I hear uh, Pearson is one of the worst, and Newark is apparently really bad too. Hi, Faith. What's a Pearson? I don't know what a Pearson is. Pearson Airport, Toronto. Toronto. Oh, so wait, you had to put your bags on 
I thought you were flying from Newfoundland. I was flying. We were flying from, from St. John's and we had a connection in Toronto. We had three hours, luckily. You know, that's what they're saying now, right? Is make sure you have a three hour minimum because of delays. And yes, our first flight was delayed and we ended up only having a half hour. <laughs> To, to get on to our next plane and we were thinking oh well that makes sense you know we're, we'll be really surprised if our luggage makes it we've heard Toronto's not great for for stuff but what I didn't anticipate is nobody got their luggage so the, <laughs> so the, so the luggage was actually lost from from Toronto probably oh so I, you think yeah. it made it to Toronto yeah. the Toronto yeah. <laughs> that's my guess that's all we could do is guess right so uh, but my guess is that's where it got lost because that's apparently where the issue. Yeah, that would are. make sense. Yeah, St. John's was empty. Like, there's nobody there. St. John's, St. <laughs> Newfoundland, like St. Yeah. John's. Uh, Newfoundland, yeah. With yeah, John's. S, with, yeah. with the S. With the apostrophe S, yes. yes. Okay. And, and a lovely airport, modern, small, tiny. <laughs> well, because really there are no pe there's no people out there. Why would it be very oh, big? We got so used to being in the middle of nowhere and being called love we, we're, we're lovely people apparently everyone says love yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's very irish sounding actually a lot of the, the accents love Gee. yeah love i would yeah i would half expect gander to be the bigger airport because it was uh yeah no it's not many people it's starting to be used right now but really yeah. there is nothing there we we stayed in gander overnight yeah. <laughs> it was hard to find even a, there's there's three really old motel motels yeah. they're the old motels <laughs> so well, no, yeah, gander, no B &Bs or <laughs> gander used to be before they before the jets that used to be if you were going to go overseas mm -hmm. You stopped in Gander and they right. refuel and and make the short hop over to, right. to Europe. So Gander was a really uh, going very concern. Important. Yeah, very only important militarily. Yeah. Only if you and, want to uh, come from away. Away, yeah. that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see. Um, and Shannon Ireland was the si similar thing on the other side. Yeah, and, uh, I spent an hour at Shannon Airport once. I've heard of Shannon Air Shannon. Yeah, Ireland. Yeah. Uh, I have actually heard of it and I haven't been, you guys have been watching the pictures from um, Robin Welsh. On yes. Facebook. Yeah. She's in Ireland. Oh, she looks like she's having the time of her life. Oh my gosh. Ireland, Newfoundland. I think they're basically. Yeah. In. Well, <laughs> why, I was looking at your lighthouse pictures and I'm waiting for the category you're going to do. I was thinking of Lou. Uh, we saw so many lighthouses. Beautiful well, you know, lighthouses. Adrian, you still haven't done the category of oh, the trip that we did to our trip. Well, just think about it though. Now I have four categories. Oh, well, when you're going to have to take on all things, you have to. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's, I think that was sort of the idea in the first place, but yeah. Oh. You guys better pay attention to every, you know, all my pictures and things. Yeah, watch your pictures. You <laughs> There's some uh, interesting things to learn for sure. We're scared now. <laughs> Well, you gotta have a Canadian category, right? If I'm gonna do it, it's well, yeah. He's got a lot of uh, Calgary people here right now, so well, I you have a lot of you have a plethora in this on my screen right now in front of me, a plethora of Canadians. Yes. Is that what we call Canadians? Do, are they called? Is it called the plural? Is plethora? Yeah, it's it's or funny. should it be the the a or the um? Where where does the u fit in the word plethora? That's right. I think that the proper collective term for Canadian plurals of Canadians is a politeness of Canadians. Yeah, I like that. I like that, Carl. Uh, <laughs> or an apologetic. Uh, apologetic uh, apologetic of Canadians. Of Canadians. <laughs> ah, fuck them. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry of Canadians. Or I got, sorry. I got to go to Raleigh again. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> oh, you did? You had to fly into Raleigh? No, it was, I went to Raleigh, Newfoundland. Oh, that's oh. right. So oh, she did Raleigh, two different Raleigh's here. Yeah. Less humid, I expect. Uh, it was a tad frigid. Uh, it was cold. It was like, I don't know, six degrees Celsius. So. Oh, that's not cold. <laughs> what were you, uh, how many, oh. how many kilometers is that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a, uh... and, and with the the extreme wind it was pretty cold though it did warm up before we left so, so um, what, were, what were you doing there just visiting it was actually uh, we were supposed to go in 2020 my, it was my parents who 
suggested it. They had gone just to St. John's in 2019. And they said, oh my God, it's the greatest province, one of the best trips we've ever had. We want to go back, but we want to tour the whole province. And so we booked, we sat down that Christmas and we booked all these B&Bs, you know, the whole, planned it all out. And of course the pandemic hit. And then the pandemic, you know, so for two summers we had to cancel. And this year my dad's not doing very well. And so he, they couldn't go. So uh, we were very sad by that, saddened that they, they couldn't come. Uh, and I think they would have loved it. They would have loved the road trip. The, the scenery is just, it really is stunning. In so who moment. all went with you? Just Greg. Oh, I was thinking it was a huge, uh, that the kids or something went no, to. No, just, it was supposed to be the grandparents and me and us, you know, just my, my parents and, and uh, Greg and I. And, uh, and yeah, so it ended up being just the two of us. And as a result, we ended up doing a lot of hiking. So if you like hiking, uh, it was beautiful, beautiful hikes. One of the ones we went on was one of the rated one of the top 20 in North America. It was unbelievable. It was so Did beautiful. you get up into the, into Grossmorn Park? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, beautiful there. And they had a boat trip that we went on, but you have to hike in three kilometers. I think it, well, almost it's just under three kilometers each way. And so you hike and then they have a little place you can eat and it's lovely. No internet. It was very, very different. And then you hop on a boat and then you go up. It's a landlocked, uh, used to be um, a fjord, but it's now fjord. landlocked. So it's very much, if anyone's been to Norway, it's very similar to Norway in, in landscape. Well, it's beautiful. if you go back about 200 million years, uh, 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 they were pretty much connected. Uh, the the mountains of Norway uh, are uh, and the Appalachians and 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 the stuff in between in uh, Newfoundland and Nova Scotia are 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 the same chain. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense because it's very similar. Oh, I'm in team four. Okay, here we go. Are we supposed to be in a, a breakout room? So yeah, right you now? should, Dennis. You should have received a message on your screen that says to go in. Yes, I did, and then I said not now, and then I decided I guess it's a better. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go. So we'll let you go. Room five, I think, is where I've got you. Well, let me see. Um. See if there's a little button on the bottom right hand corner that says uh, allows you to should should be something that allows you to go because. Well, right. it's uh, let's see, it's hard to read because the screen behind everything is white and that's where the lettering is white. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, join breakout room. OK. OK, you got it. Kevin, I have you on twice, I think, right? Kevin? Yeah, Kevin, I have you in room three. I think I got it. Let's pause this puppy. Oh, let's get everybody pulling back to 
from their names, which I'm wondering how many are going to be political names. Let's see what people are following. It's always interesting what they come up with. Here they come. Hi, Ben. Uh, I have to remember that it mutes me automatically when I come back to the main room. Yeah, I keep saying. Is that, that a setting on your end or a setting on my end? I don't know if end. I can change that or not. Okay. That's mine. That's fine. I have, uh, took me a while to get to where I've got it. So I'm kind of afraid to change anything because <laughs> I already assume these are going to be there. And it catches me off guard every time too. When I come back from a, a break room, I'm muted also. So it's right. Like, and you want to start talking and you got to, you got to yeah. unmute yourself. I guess we got to get used to it. All right. And, and it's, back. it's the end of the hockey season and I, I got to get used to not watching a hockey, a replay of a hockey game while in the, while in the middle of trivia here. <laughs> Oh, well, how many people, hands up, how many people are watching the hearing today? Okay, just a few of you guys. Oh, man, oh, my gosh. I've got it on the other screen. So while you guys are choosing names, I was watching. Right <laughs> I was busy all day, so I didn't get to watch the whole darn thing. So, and Yoshi's been watching it, too. Oh, wait, that's another doozy. bird. Yeah, it's we just, uh, our flock has grown. This is Freddie. Hello, oh, Freddie. Oh, Hello, Freddie. Oh, it gives Hi, Yoshi some mm. some um attention, um some friendship there, huh? Oh, oh yeah. is there going to be another Instagram account? <laughs> oh, yeah, like that's that. to be Today, debated. Yeah, more stuff. Hi, Karen. Do they like share. each other? Do they like each other, Kyle? They're tolerant so far. Mm -hmm. Well, they're on each hand, so I guess whether or not I guess they Kyle like each taking, other, we'll making that, notes yeah. today. Yeah. He's, he's, his hands are full. It's almost bedtime though. Ah, birds. So, so do birds get uh, like like dogs where there has to be a leader, you know, and then they have to decide who's the leader of the power, like cats, where they don't care, they just leave each other alone. The alpha bird. There's yeah. definitely some pecking order and digging. Ah, ah, nice. <laughs> I see you in there. Oh, yeah, that is the thing. They don't give a from. flock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't give a fuck, but, yeah. <laughs> so what are we saying that they are um they're you know they're getting along okay i wouldn't call them friends just yet but we were prepared for worse and they're pretty cool they're they getting a little close they might snarl now oh she wants to get yeah. close <laughs> she says, I'm the alpha bird here. Hello, Yoshi. She's the star. She knows oh, where yeah. the camera is. They're, they have different yeah. cages and everything. Oh yeah, they've got a. Yeah. Are they near enough to each other that they can sit and talk? Mm -hmm. They have their own stands that are near each other, yeah. so they'll uh, kind of whistle at each other a little bit. Yeah. They're so that one's breeds. alpha, but the other one, they, but 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 the other one is convinced she's better, better, <laughs> better, better. Get it? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's going to be dad jokes all night, isn't it? All right. So I'm very curious about what the names are for your groups. So let's see if I've got this right. I've got a few people I think who might join us later. So we'll yeah. fill in if we need to, if some, you know, just the normal, if somebody comes or goes. So to, we've got a lot of siblings here tonight. I was just thinking we just need Jamie to join and we've got a, <laughs> a and lot He's of having siblings. his roof repaired. He won't be there today. Ah. Uh, Okay, so uh, team number one, we have Gail, Jeff, Jim, Faith, and Romero. What what are you playing as tonight? What's the winning? What's your winning team's name? Um, one sec, I'm just putting it in chat. Sure, why not? Okay, I have a feeling that's a group of people who just came up with that at the last second. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Okay, so Carl, Kyle, and Terry. We are the team with a couple of bird brains. Oh, no, that fits, right. Okay. Bird brains here. Uh, congratulations in advance, team two, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you lost last week. Lost week. Lost see, lost. see if I'm psychic. See if I'm psychic in three hours. Yeah. Like, okay. I've okay. seen the claim that, uh, uh, that birds tend to be about as smart as mammals with somewhat larger brains. <laughs> there you go. Alan, Ben, Kevin, and Vincent. Uh, we are requesting preemptive pardons for our score tonight. <laughs> All right, 
that we have our first, oh, and I didn't get to that part yet in the hearing, so nobody tell me what's going on, but I have a feeling they're going to start getting into the... But you didn't hear that they actually indicted Trump? Oh my God, how'd you miss that? No, I know that didn't happen. I I know. I, I'm at hour two, I think, on this thing, so I've got a little bit more, not too much more to go. Uh, Adrian, Karen, Larry, Mike, and Rob. Um. So you get a gun, you get a gun, and you, and you, and you, but no abortions. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, pretty good. Mm. Welcome to America. Welcome you're only, to America. You're, you're only America. Allowed kill, America. You're allowed to kill children after birth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Adrian, I thought it was going to be some, your team name might have had something to do with luggage. Okay. Oh, I was thinking of it too, but this one, yeah, this one between it was Karen and Rob came up with the. Oh, thanks, Karen. And Rob. <laughs> How pleasant. Okay, and then last but not least, Bob, Dennis, Janine, Peggy, and Ron. Susan, we just want to find eleven thousand seven hundred eighty points more than Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Just How did my team more. end up with only three people on it? Just one more. <laughs> uh well we got we got more people coming this okay. instant thank you for laughing at our team name <laughs> <laughs> actually to be pedantic, pedantic as i recall it was actually that number gave him one more vote than the other side yes yeah. one more uh, for for georgia yeah and that wouldn't be obvious at all <laughs> right no and that wouldn't mean wouldn't that trigger more recounts I mean, if you get a certain percentage of, of a vote, don't you have, isn't there a bunch of automatic recounts that people would be like, one vote, we need more recounts now. We're that already that would be recounts. logical, uh, right? <laughs> that was already recounted three times. Oh, yes. And, well, we'd have to do it again. We'd never get there. We'd still- I think the rule is you just keep recounting until I win. <laughs> right, that <laughs> is the rule. Okay, so Deborah is now on team two. Deborah, you're with the, with the bird brains. So- here we are. We are on, uh, what is this, June? Oh my gosh, June what day? 23rd, 23rd. 2022. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I find 23th. that amazing to think. Yeah, we're barely about. in June. It's um, Ray Hyman's 94th oh, yeah, birthday. Oh yeah, today's his birthday. I have it on my calendar to yeah. call, but I was so busy today. I talked to Barry for a while today too, Janine. I, I was oh, did you? constantly busy. Yeah, you need to talk to him sometime soon. So, um, or just go with what I said, and that's fine. Yeah, I'll ask first. I've right, been busy right. all day, too. Okay, so Gail, Carl, Vincent, Mike, and Bob are going to be our leaders tonight in our categories. We have for uh, game 112, season three, episode three. No, no. Yeah, that's right. Season three, episode three. Yep. We have, sure, why not? playing against the team with a couple of bird brains versus we are requesting preemptive pardons for a score tonight versus you get a gun, you get a gun, and you, and you, and you, but no abortions <laughs> versus, <laughs> versus Susan, we just want to find 11,780 points more than Carl. <laughs> um, Susan, there actually, we request, please, uh, if I may, a gesture with our name. It's a multi-layered name. Okay, what is it? Oh, you have to say, okay, you and you and you and you and you, but no abortions. What if I'm pointing to somebody who hasn't, can't have, well, anyway. Nobody can tell well, they, what They can't at. get one either. <laughs> well, they can't, I, they can't tell. Everybody's screens are different. Can't tell if they have a uterus or not. I don't think, I don't think I can have an abortion. <sighs> sure, I can't. You sure? Well, you can do anything you want in this life, Vincent. If you if you put your mind to it enough and think of the secret, I'm pretty sure I can't secret. do that. You use the secret to draw the energy, <laughs> the energy to you. I have a funny story about that, but for okay, another okay, yeah, a another team name. So we're going to get started. Our first team is going to be our first team. Our first category is going to be Gail who has been very kind enough to come in at the last <laughs> minute because Rob wasn't going to be able, wasn't sure he was going to be able to make it tonight. So Gail's taken over for Rob tonight. And Rob, I've moved you to next week. And next week is all taken care of except for the ca uh, bonus category. So just keep that in mind, you guys, that we're missing that. So Gail, you got the calm, girl. Okay. Uh, first category tonight is going to be 
a state. I know you like that cat those categories, Susan. And yeah. the state we're gonna do is Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay, so I need to make somebody in charge. Who haven't I had in charge doing uh this for a while? Let's see. Oh look, I don't even see them there. Janine, you want to do it? So you would what do I people. need to do? You have to mute people and throw out all the trolls. Oh, I did <laughs> that last night for the Bay Area skeptics. Well, there you go. She's she's gonna throw out the trolls. So Janine's. I didn't throw out the trolls. So where do I get all those controls? Uh, you have them now. Where are they? Under breakout rooms and under. Where's mute all guys? Participants. Participants. Yeah, under participants. Oh. Okay, so Gail, what did you say your category was called? Hawaii. Oh. Well, that'll be fun. Okay, okay. so Janine, if you want to mute us, how do I go to participants? I, I'm. Oh. Okay. And There's a mute yeah. all feature underneath that. And you always um, have to say, oh, all right, I'm muting everybody. And then you say, don't forget to unmute yourself, Gail. Uh, well, many... I would. Oh, wait, I found the mute all. Okay, uh, guys. Shout how out. many? How many lighthouses in Hawaii? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's gonna be both. Well, I'm not gonna ask you how many white houses, but the first question is probably almost that bad. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna start with some history. The uh, by the way, Hawaii... sorry, Janine. So when you do that and you're in control, it doesn't mute you. So you should probably do that also. Oh, Thank is that you. right? The original Hawaiians were Polynesians who settled there sometime around 700 to 800 BCE. Initially, the islands were separate entities with separate names. What was the dominant religion of these islands during its early history? And give either the actual Polynesian name or the few words that are usually used to describe it in English. Okay, question two. An expedition by a British explorer who accidentally encountered the islands in, the, in 1778 is usually considered to be the first arrival of Europeans in the islands. Who was this famous explorer? Question three. That same explorer gave the islands a name that continued to be used until it was changed to Hawaii. What was this original name? Question four. The British arrival had a great impact on the islands. Am I, where am I? Oh dear. Had the same question twice. Okay. Do you have a bonus? I do. Well, then you can put that in as your bonus. Put the bonus yeah. in. But I had another question. I don't know where it went. Uh. All right. Anyway, so much for my tech abilities again. Happy. Happy. So this is listed as question five, so we're skipping four for the moment. I will find my question four and put it in later because I've got it on the answer sheet, I'm sure. So go to five. Uh, yeah, so this is question five. Hawaii was admitted as a state by the Hawaii Admission Act where 93% of the Hawaiians voted for the bill. What year was this? Or it was admitted as what state number? That is, which number state? in the United States. I don't know how to say that better. Everybody understand that? Like the that's clear. 13 colonies were. Yeah, the first state, first state was Delaware, right? Yeah, like that. Okay. All right. Pets need to be quarantined when brought into the state. Uh, but they have, but they have recently. Um, their very, very, very restrict rules have been slightly relaxed. 
Why does Hawaii have this restriction? That says question seven, is that right? Yeah, that's seven. So we skip six. I am doing something wrong because now six is the same thing. I'm gonna find them on the, on the answer sheet. I'm obviously erasing something because six is now the same as five and it wasn't a minute ago. All right, let, let's do these and I'll find the other ones in a minute. Question eight. The youngest island is constantly growing because of active volcanoes. And they add about 42 acres to that island every year. Which one is it? Which island is it? Question nine. The world's biggest inactive volcano is located on Maui with a crater seven and a half miles wide. It last erupted in the late 1700s and is a popular tourist destination, particularly at sunrise. What is the name of the volcano? Okay, question 10. The Hawaiian alphabet has how many letters? And here's the bonus. Oh, so number, the Hawaiian alphabet has how many letters is? It's the question. Yeah. Okay, okay, got it. So we're missing two so far, right? Yeah, yeah you're missing two. I'll, go, I'll find them when I go to the go to the other. I don't really want to make the bonus the question because it's really hard. Okay. <laughs> uh, the bonus is about the question we've heard earlier. As the Spanish traveled on a route linking the Philippines with Mexico across the Pacific Ocean, there is evidence that the Spanish captain, Luis Lopez de Villabulos, was the first European to see the islands. In other words, it wasn't the person in the other answer. Um, and they were given the name Isla de la Mesa de los Monjes y Des, I can't pronounce it, Barida. Uh, what century did that happen? And now let me find the other two questions. Okay. And what question I'm missing? Six? Four okay. and six. Four and six. Okay. Here's question four. Yep, that's question four. All right. I don't know why that happened. Okay, copy. So this is now question four, all right? The British arrival had great impact on the islands, and within five years, they were united as the Kingdom of Hawaii in 1795, under the rule of what king? What was his name? And the other one was six? Yes. Oh, that's, that's a question I certainly don't want to miss, because that's a good one. Copy. Okay, there are eight main islands in Hawaii. Hawaii, Maui, Koholawi, Molokai, Lanai, Oahu, Kauai, and Nihalu. But if a Hawaiian tells you they're planning to visit the ninth island, where are they going? Karen liked that one, boy. She just looked <laughs> so happy when she saw that one. I didn't want to lose that one. That's a good question. Okay. Okay, so Janine, can you send us to our rooms, please? Maybe you need to tell me how to do that. Go to breakout rooms. Okay. And the very open bottom all rooms. on the right hand corner in blue, it says open all rooms. All rooms. I see that. And let me uh sign Deborah's going to go to the um the bird names that's right bird brains i'm sorry room two okay it looks like everything looks like it's all right i'm gonna go to one okay 
Oh. Hello, team. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, okay, I was, okay, the original ones, yeah. Uh, okay, number one, it's some sort of polytheism, but I don't know what the name Polynesian is. I know Pele is the fire god. He's the one that's in the volcanoes. I thought, I thought Pele was a she. Or I don't know. So could the religion be fire, vulca, vulca, volcanism or volcanism or something? Yeah. They're but, uh, yeah. Um, well, we can do the English description. Throw well, people, you know, throw virgins it. into fires of volcanoes. Is that yeah. the English description? Watch Gail's face, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay. Do they throw virgins or prisoners or what? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. We I don't can know just what, put polytheism. But, but two was Captain Cook. I was thinking yeah. it was Cook, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Me too. And I'm and I'm three sure Cook three Islands the, or the Sandwich Islands. Yeah. Um, oh, that's right. Absolutely. I remember no. Yeah. Okay. And four, I'm pretty sure, is Kamehameha, something like that. Kamehameha. Uh, Kamehameha is like the, he was the final king too. Like Kamehameha, the whatever. Yeah. I thought it was also a Dragon Ball Z move, but you know. That's Kamehameha. Yeah. Yeah. They're literally the same yeah. thing because okay. it's named after. It's wait, named wait, wait, wait. They totally did that and don't ask me why. Hey, you guys. No, that's, question that's four is what king of England? Thing. What king of England? Uh, no, it was under King you, Kamehameha. United, it the was King, King Kamehameha. Kamehameha. There's been like several. Oh, yeah. so I thought they wanted the King of, of um, Britain. No. Kamehameha. But it was a woman that ran it. That was the last queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, the that, last queen. That, that was, was the, the last descendant queen. of Kamehameha who Kamehameha who Kamehameha uh, Kamehameha who got <laughs> ousted by in a coup by some uh, USians. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So like, it was it, like number 49 or 48, right? No, it's either 49 it was, or 50. Yeah, forty nine. Yeah, for, yeah, forty nine or fifty. Alaska. I'm pretty sure it was nineteen. I'm pretty sure the year was fifty nine. Which was first? Which really? Is no, okay. No, it's Alaska. That's what Hawaii, I was right? going to think too. Is that they've been a they've not been a state that long? Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, like uh, I'm uh, I I, I I do remember that a Hawaii and Alaska were admitted in the same year. I'm pretty sure it was fifty nine, and I'm not sure which. I think oh. Hawaii came came if, after if we Alaska. Think that there was a higher chance that we will get the year right than the state number right yeah. because they were admitted at the same time. Then yeah. let's, let's go with the fifty nine. Okay, that's fine. Either is fine. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, okay. number six. That is, there are eight main islands. So she's given us a hint for another one. The is the ninth island the mainland of U.S. I think so. That's what I'm thinking. They call us the yeah. Um, yeah. the continental U.S. or yeah. the yeah. yeah main. They call us the mainland. Mainlanders, which yeah. is I guess the right of an island. Um, so pets need to be quarantined when brought into the state, but recently the rules were relaxed. Why did they have this restriction? Yeah, well, well, gee, any islands you've got the pre you've got the problem that of invasive species and. Uh, and I guess including uh, diseases. As I remember, it's a specific parasite. Uh huh. Okay. On animals. Yeah. Like rabies or something. No, no rabies I, isn't a parasite. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's, no, no, no. no. Toxin, like ringworm or something like that. Yeah, it might be ringworm. It might pinworms. Be... Huh? Pinworms. Isn't that really common? Is that a thing? Yeah, that's true. Pinworms are more common. Fleas? No. I mean, hmm. okay. Parvo? I remember Parvo being a thing. Why don't we just say it's um, to screen for parasites? Or worms? I think she's probably looking for a very specific 
parasite like that there's a specific reason because like mm -hmm. all quarantine restrictions are usually based off of invasive species or diseases and it could be like a parasite that may in, end up like destroying like the pineapples or something like that i don't know yeah i'm wondering if, if mm -hmm. they're well that's another good question is could it be related to like an invasive fungus like you know um sugarcane or something yeah well yeah. like or, oh. the, or the banana fungus yeah yeah, like, yeah which, well, i don't uh, remember what it was even though that was the category last week yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah let's see there was disease. yeah I, yeah i heard uh i heard something about some uh, major fruit grown in hawaii they had to just make them all the genetically modified version to be resistant to this yep virus they did yeah which, which it, might be you, why you, it's been slightly relaxed since yeah they might have a vaccine for it you mean no just all of the varieties have been shifted to the gm oh, variety true. that is resistant mm -hmm. so therefore they don't have to screen quite as heavily for it anymore what is the youngest something like island? that yeah that's, that's, that's the big that's the big island hawaii the, the youngest island is the big island hawaii is that right yes okay yes because uh, the other ones yeah. have been yeah. weather away yes and because catch why kilauea keeps in like what kilauea and erupts yeah i have um, a friend who lives there <laughs> yeah well let's see the uh sort of uh it's mona kai mona kea yeah i i thought mona kea was on the big island so that uh so, so that the so that the okay. island on Mai would be something else, but I don't know okay. what it is. Well, and I think you're, yeah, you're right. Cause that is where the telescope is. Yeah. And my friend lives on the big island. So mm. what, but I remember, cause what doesn't make sense is Mauna Kai is actually technically the biggest mountain if you go from base to Yeah, top. yeah, yeah. There's also Mauna Loa. Yeah. Um, no, let's see which, uh, which, which one is actually Mauna Loa because that was okay. be Mauna Loa because that's what was coming to my mind for number yeah. eight. That was the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Mauna Loa. But that, but 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 uh, Mauna. Okay, you you've got the two big what you've got two big volcanoes on the Big Island, and let's see. Is the is the is Loa higher? <laughs> is Loa higher? <laughs> no, I think I think Kea is the higher one. Loa is largest mountain by volume. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mona Kea, Mona Kai, Mona Kea, That's where the Gemini Observatory is, where they built yeah. it up at the top. And there's yeah. been controversy because it's like an ancient burial ground as well. Mm, yep. Okay. Uh, Okay, well, yeah. You want to say Mauna Loa? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's on the Big Island. Hmm. Um, Remember. Okay. Maui, okay. So I, I I don't know I don't know the name of the uh, of the volcano on the uh, on the uh, other islands. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, if. I'm just well, pretty sure that Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea are both on the big islands, so, so, so it's something else. Uh, let's let's oh, put uh, Mauna Loa there just for a placeholder till we come back to it. Yeah, okay. I don't remember how many letters in the alpha, alpha, Hawaiian alphabet, I but, I know, but I know it was noted as being rather few. I yeah, I think, it's, I think it's got a lot less than... It's got R. 11 and five of them are consonants. I was going to say, they're all yeah. Ks. They have five consonants. Well, Kameha, Meha, and then they and have M L M N L K H. Um, and there's one more. Well, I'm very upset she didn't ask us about the state fish. <laughs> the fish? Oh, yeah. The fish of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Kuhu Munuku Nuku Apu Apu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the one thing I remember from the fifth grade is that yeah. my teacher drilled Kuhu Kuhu Munuku Nuku Apu Apu. <laughs> yeah. yeah and you're dying to use that someday uh, because it's like the cool it's like the coolest random things like you know about the <laughs> 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 yeah. 
That's what yeah. sold Romero on you. Yeah. Did you no. have, did you talk about that on your first date? No. no. He said that's he it. Just, She's that's a woman for me. He used to, he he thinks the Big Island is called Kona, and I've had to explain to him <laughs> that Kona is Kailua Kona is a town, and nobody else cares about the triathlon that lives on the Big Island. Yeah. I've been to Hawaii probably four times, and I don't know any of these yeah. questions. Now, is for the bonus. I know the Spanish did uh, uh, did that. Uh, started doing that, uh, traversing the Pacific that way very early. Like I think it was in the 1500s. Oh so yeah, I, because of this is, this is, yeah. Cook and I um, mean yeah, yeah, of course because of uh, um, yeah the Isabella and all those people. So yeah. I wouldn't doubt yeah. it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so I'd go with sept with uh, 16th century or 1500. I go with 16th century. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But she said it was hard, and that seems like an obvious answer. Yeah. Well, if you if you know the a little bit of the history of the uh, traversing the oceans, that the uh, that the that the Spanish started uh, sailing across the Pacific from Mexico very early, uh, not long after Cortez did his uh, thing. <laughs> so do we have an answer for everything? Not for no, number we're, we're, we're missing oh, seven. Number seven we were still debating on oh, what it was. Well, we kind of know what the answer is. We're just trying to see how specific to be. Parasites, disease. Oh. Uh, and if that's not specific, and if she wanted yeah. something more specific, then I wouldn't be surprised if it was ringworm. Ringworm is the kind of thing that you do have to quarantine if you want to keep it out, and it's also fungus. So it's possible that it it has some like, and it's the kind of thing that like humans can get ringworm too. Mm -hmm. um, it's just it's much less serious for most humans, and it's also treatable, um, but it sucks to get it. Um, I haven't gotten it. But I I had multiple people within the like within the foster family and and yeah. within the sort of animal rescue space that have gotten it before, and they said like you get a rash, it's not a big deal, like it it goes away, but it is really pernicious in some cats and can cause a lot of problems in cats. And like as a fungus, it's not unheard of that it can spread um to to other to other spaces but um and it also lies dormant for long periods of time so well then how would you quarantine for something that lies dormant for a long period of time you treat because galactically so if the animal comes because you over, wait you wait a month to see if the animal ever presents and after that month if they don't ever have an outbreak of it then it's very very unlikely that they have it it's just, it takes about that long between cycles of activation for the fungus. That seems so, like a long time to quarantine a pet. It is a long time to quarantine a pet, okay. but it is also what is generally done for like for um, quarantine mm -hmm. pre-adoption for yeah. ringworm cats. Unless you're Amber Heard. I was going to say the same thing, but I didn't know if anybody would, would get that <laughs> reference except you, Faye. Okay, so, uh, so shall we go with ringworm for seven? Yeah. Yeah, I think that seems like it's well reasoned. Okay. Could be another kind of worm though, or or like ringworm is not a. It's weird. It's not a worm, but yeah, okay. That's, it's it's our name for it. So. I always thought it was a worm. No, I know. They create like a little round into your feet when you walk barefoot, and it's yeah. a worm. Yeah. Okay, and is for uh, and and we've got Mauna Loa, but we're pretty sure that's wrong. And uh, unless we can come up with something it else, it sounds yeah. like something that I've heard before. So, I... yeah, I said, yeah, and it would be cheating to pull up Google Maps, yeah, kind of. Uh, yep, uh huh. Unless we happen Hawaii to have a map and somewhere here. If you have a map of Hawaii in sight line, you can use it, but not if you're pulling it up. Uh, we would, it would be frowned on if we had a if we purposely put a map of the world next to us. I think. Oh, I'm sorry. We totally do have a map of Hawaii because we're planning our triathlon. <laughs> right here handy. Yeah. Well, that'd be different than having a map of the world, knowing fully well you're going to play trivia and there's a good chance somebody's going to ask you a question. Yeah. An accident. But, uh, Hawaii would but, be- It'd have to be, 
it would have to be an awfully large scale map of the world to be showing the mountains on each of the Hawaiian right. islands. I know? mean, I have a pretty big wall right here. Yeah. I mean, you know, who knows what could be on it? I've been there. Who knows yeah. what evil lurks in the heart? I've been to room, Faith and Romero's house too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly you, you guys that. look like you have a very big wall behind you. So, mm-hmm. you know. We thought of putting a map right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they'd have okay. to turn and look at it. So you. Okay, you know. so we've got. Uh, no, but you can look at it. You, you can, can look at it from the screen. We can oh, I can it. say. Yeah, we can see it. But I have yeah. a menu to my screen. So. Teamwork. 23 you seconds, don't understand 22, 21. Yeah, going with okay. Mauna Loa. Mm-hmm. Good job, team. Good job. Anything? <laughs> Not at all. I've only been to Hawaii five, four or five times, and I didn't know any of these answers. So I didn't know. I don't know nothing. And I did a lot of the. I did a lot of the history stuff. I went to. I was much more interested in the history than the beaches. So, I've just. Um, there was just some question about about the difference between discovering and encountering, you know, like uh, if someone encounters something that they didn't know was there or it was just by chance. Oh, I think the word discovered is used, it's not used because then it's, it basically ignores the indigenous population. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. But, uh, but with something like uh, Columbus, uh, he brought it to the attention of the Europeans and brought the t- and uh, and brought the Europeans to the attention of the uh, people living in the Americas. <laughs> There's actually a term for it. It's actually called Columbusing. <laughs> when you say when you say, uh, I mean, we understood. I mean, I understood what was intended with the question, but it's called Columbusing. When now, when we say, "Oh, so and so discovered this, and so and so discovered that," oh, I never heard the phrase come. Yeah, making like that up, or is that is that really? <laughs> it's yeah. an urban slang for the past maybe five or six years. It's called uh-huh. Columbusing. So yeah. you discover something that someone previously knew about. So, like Watson and Crick Columbusing DNA structure. Oh, that's interesting. I've not heard that uh, phrase. I'm going to have to find a way of using it somewhere. Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Watson, Watson and Crick were sort of just barely ahead of, of a few others, but I think they were first. No, there, no the, DNA, the DNA crystallography came from the uh, woman researcher. Yeah. And I like it. Who, <laughs> like, is largely forgotten. Yeah. Rosalind, would be, okay. it would okay. be. Rosalind Franklin. Yeah. She. Yeah. Uh, uh, Okay, they grabbed her data. I'm tapping for Fred for yeah. For... Okay. I mean that would be like the, the Wright brothers discovering flight. No. Uh, not quite. Uh, man flight. Anyway, Gail, mm. good job. I'm ready. Uh, ready for the answers? Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> okay. I will read the questions and answers and then I will post all of the answers in the list after I'm done in the chat so you can hear have them all. Okay, question one was the, the the name of that religion. It's actually called Kapu, K-A-P-U, which I didn't expect you to know, but it's constantly called a code of conduct relating to taboos and family ancestry. So the big thing was being able to recite your whole family ancestry. Mm-hmm. It's like we, the were so close. we were so close. It was a religion, yeah. In fact, it was a Polynesian religion all over Polynesia. To know your family history. So you it's not in a worship. It's not Southern Baptist? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> I had to wait for the, for the moments to come for that. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I, I, I knew that one was really hard. So um, question two, I think you all got, right? Is James Cook? Uh-huh. Yeah. And he did it by accident. The um, explorer who gave the, gave the name was James Cook, and he called it the Sandwich Islands, and I heard somebody say it exactly uh, right. He called it the Sandwich Islands in honor of the Earl of Sandwich, who at that time was the first Lord of the Admiralty. Somebody's name is Sandwich. Really? Yeah. That's where, that's where the, yeah. the phrase that's where Sandwich come comes from. from. Yeah. 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 His butler. What a stupid name. Yeah. Lord and Lady Sandwich. 
Yeah, they I think discovered the sandwich. The <laughs> they well, discovered the sandwich. Caught, don't call that the <laughs> As long as they found it before it got moldy. Oh. And he was an actor. That's or where did, they came up with the ham. Or did they Columbus <laughs> the sandwich? <laughs> all very cheesy. Oh. Now, listening to the conversation you're all having, the, 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 the reason that this is different from the bonus question, and this is the big, where the big controversy comes from, is James Cook came and changed things because he started in the British being there and the uh, uh, missionaries coming. And the result was that the first king came and united the whole, all the islands which were separate before into one kingdom of Hawaii. And that last, that first king of the kingdom of Hawaii was Kamehameha. And everyone I saw got that one, right? No. No? You didn't see us that. You wanted to watch Magnum P.I., I should know that. What yeah. other, what other Hawaiian king did you know? <laughs> right, exactly. Well, it said, it said British king. Elvis, live from Hawaii. <laughs> you read the question, it sounds like you're looking for the British king. Who was That's what I thought. The British are the ones who put him there. King huh? king the British are the ones who no. made it possible for him to be there. I thought, but if you I read the question, you look, if you read the question, you're looking for the British king, not for the Hawaiian king. Oh, I understood oh, okay. the question. I had never no, 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 well, read the I, question. I understood. The, the, the United king? is the kingdom of Hawaii. What was that king? It was not British. It was not the British king. It was they, yeah. That was an independent country. Let's see. That would have uh, the British king would have been George the uh, Third. But he wouldn't have been what the we king put. of Hawaii. Yeah. If, if it yeah. were under Great Britain, it wouldn't have had the name Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. And it was not. It was an independent country. Yeah. I understand, but the way you read the question, it sounds like you're looking for Kevin, what British the way you read no. the question. Not the all British of us thought arrival that. had great impact on the read island. Read it again. Within five years, I just read it again. It as the Kingdom of Hawaii. That's the way you saw it. I'll take. I'll accept that. But don't say everyone could read it that way. All right, Gail. Okay, um, it was the 50th state, or it was August 21st, 1959. You needed one of the two, either the 50th state or 1959. Yay, Siri. We can and both. We, we, flipped, we flipped a coin. Hey, Siri, flip a coin. We didn't know <laughs> it made it sound like you asked Siri for the answer. No, yeah. just flip the coin. Heads, <laughs> heads, 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 heads. Did you say 1959? 1959. It was hey, Rob, stop activating my watch, please. <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> it, was under, it was when Eisenhower was, was president, so some of us even remember it. 1959, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I remember my teacher in, in elementary school mentioning it to us. Hmm. And number six, this is one that if you didn't know it, I saw some of you were very clever when you said the, the, the main, the United, uh, the United States mainland, you were close. The answer is Las Vegas. Oh, what? What? <laughs> Well, that is on the mainland. Oh, <laughs> And the reason for that is that gambling was illegal in, in, uh, in the islands and they like to gamble. Holy so some tourist oh, groups everybody. started out this whole thing and it has stuck. Yeah. So it's still called the Ninth Island. Oh, we were just it, it, talking about this in, when we were in uh, Las Vegas, uh, Celestia and a and friend of mine, CJ Seville, he's in Vegas and he was talking about his family's Hawaiian. They were talking about the huge relationship Vegas has with Hawaii. Right. Just, uh, not just Elvis, no. but just the whole. Not just Elvis. No, well, really? Elvis really, really <laughs> popularized. And I actually gave life. you a bit of a hint on purpose. If you, were, you know, sometimes knowing who's writing the question, where I said, "Oh, I don't want to leave that one out." If you know, I live in Las Vegas. You'd know that's why I put it in. Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, I, I thought oh, it okay. might be the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> going to the Ninth Island. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Some, making the night. Somebody in our team suggested it was heaven. Heaven? Oh, oh. I said heaven you too. Die and go to heaven. Like that. <laughs> My first suggestion was heaven. Then someone said mainland. I said, yeah, that's better. Well, Vegas at what? some point just is pretty much like that. hell as far as the heat. So. Okay, so why are the pets banned? You all got the idea that it had to do with the disease. The disease that they're afraid of is rabies. There is still no rabies in the air. Yes. Hey. Oh, I think hey I for remember. rabies. And they have, <laughs> they've made it now only a 10-day thing to bring in. This is a big deal for people who 
who show dogs or whatever because you can't take them to the mainland and then bring them back without it used to be for like three months they had to be quarantined in between wow. but they have kept rabies off the island so is, is there a scientific basis to reducing the restriction to a shorter time frame or is it just yes they, there were scientists who said that by doing they have they're not they're not gone the amount of time is gone but they now have to do all kinds of things they have to be tripped they have to be be watched in the United States. There's a whole list of stuff they have to do and they have to apply ahead of time. So- But the quarantine not, time is less. It's, it's still working. And yes, it's based on science. Interesting. Okay. The youngest island is the big island or Hawaii. And hey, you can it, it, call right. it, people call it the big island or the island of Hawaii. And I, it, I, you I, can go to Volcanoes National Park, which is also there. To, to see it if you want to. So I, we I took guess it, that we, based on Ben Radford's talk today. Really? Yeah. yeah. We took an excursion, which we hired uh, and to, from the ship, the cruise we were on, to fly in a biplane, a World War II style <laughs> biplane over the cauldron of one of the volcanoes. And as we're just approaching the volcano, the engine was started to making a really bad noise and we immediately <laughs> landed. So we didn't get to do that. Uh, just for you, Rob. No, horrible playing. Heat coming up out of the bottom near your legs, you couldn't believe. Even before the engine went bad, the noise was horrible. But luckily, we went we back, back to the airport. We thought it was over. And my wife had the wherewithal to ask, because a little airport, hey, any of you people sitting around, a pilot? Yeah, and we got taken up in a more modern Cessna to do the same trip, so that was cool. Oh, neat. Well, the island, the, the active, most active volcano in the world is there. And Volcanoes National Park, it's, mm -hmm. I can't pronounce these names, Kilauea. Kilauea, yeah. Kilauea. Oh, that's what I was thinking. It, it was the last not time it erupted it was, not was in when October we were there. of 2021. So it is a Would very you active Would you accept Kilauea? Would you accept Kilauea? I accept Kilauea. And the opposite version, the biggest non-active volcano is Haleakala. Yep. And if you've but been I, to Maui, you've, you've that's a standard Haleakala. tourist thing in Maui. Right. You go up to the top of Haleakala, especially to watch the sun, sun come uh, up. We did that. The sunrise of Haleakala is a big deal. It, got, it was nice and clear when we started the trip up and by the time we got there it was cloudy, so we didn't see the sunset. Mm -hmm. That's why I put in the question about the sunrise. That was a hint, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the Hawaiian alphabet has how many letters? The answer is 12. Yes, Adrian. I'll give you credit to 13 because they oh, would wow. say it was 13 okay. because they count that apostrophe. Ah. <laughs> oh, wow, really? <laughs> yeah. We got it, guys. We said 11. <laughs> so 12 or 12? 13 would be a correct answer. Interesting. And the bonus, this is exactly what we were talking about earlier. That is that James Cook changed the island, but the Spanish person who went through there, whatever his, Rui Lopez, they, anyway, he saw it and documented it, but he didn't stay and he didn't do anything that had any lasting import, import and that was in 1542, so 15th century. Yay. Hey. What, what, say it again? 1542, the oh, 16th century. Missed it by one. Oh. 100 years. <laughs> Just missed it by 100 years? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Rob's like, oh, I only missed it by that. I asked you the century, not the day. <laughs> so we missed it by one, Susan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That's true. One number. Right. I'll put all the answers in the chat. Well, that's hey, great. Hey, Thank you so much. Well I'd like to get myself back there again. We just need a skeptic group so I could go and go and visit. I can't go anywhere unless there's some sort of group that I can give a talk to. So. <laughs> This is, by the way, I've never even and, seen that on Facebook. Is there any skeptic organizations on, no. in that state? Nope. Wow. Oh, that's doubt. That's, that's doubtful. No, well, there might right. be some. There might be some science groups I could probably get myself over to, but no, as far as I know, there's not. Rob, Rob, they live in heaven. What is there to do? <laughs> I mean, yeah, seriously. What are you going to do? I know some humanists there. You do. And huh? for at least one person, I I don't remember who it was now. The question I had and decided was too hard was the state bird. And now <laughs> I found out by listening that it's the Nene because it's a po popular course word answer. Yes. I didn't know that it was a popular oh. course word answer. I thought it was too hard to put in and nobody would know. Uh, so got here's, that. Here's that a question. 
so for the question seven, we didn't, we were not specific with rabies, but we said stop the spread of disease. Nope. <laughs> it's rabies. The whole point is that they have no rabies. I would yeah. say that. Because disease, if, if that was the answer, we would all put it. Yeah, everybody kind of, would get, everybody kind of recognized that they were trying to stop disease, kind of of disease, but the disease yeah. they were stopping was the, the big thing is that there is absolutely no rabies. By the way, there's also no snakes. You can't bring a snake in either. You can't have a snake as a pet. Ah, uh, so they uh, so they don't get the same problem that they uh, have in Guam with this invasive snake uh, killing all the native birds. Yeah, I beg they better yeah, not because they're not a... they're not supposed to be any there at all. Yeah. No, nope, you they're can't they're keep a snake as a pet. The snakes would be a problem then. All right, so let's do our scores. So let's start off with Gail's group. Sure, why not? Uh, we got six. Very good team. The team with a couple of bird brains. Eight. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Next we have, we're requesting preemptive pardons for a score tonight. As we need, because we got a three. Oh, oh. wow. Three. And mm. then the, you get a gun and you get a gun and you get a gun. <laughs> What'd you get? A seven, I believe. Yep. And last but not least, Susan, we just want to find 11,780 points more than Carl. <laughs> we have seven, too. Well, there we you go. 72. Seven also. We have a 6.2 on the, on the average meter. So very good job, Gail. That's kind of what you're looking for. Six, seven is a really good score to get on here. That means difficulty is just about where we need it. Great job. So... Thank you so much. If you have to go eventually, at least you got this done. And thank you for coming at the last minute. I think you said you've got a whole thing almost ready, huh? Are you right? doing? Was it you, the Gail, that was telling me that you probably could almost do a whole Adrian whole night? Um, I I possibly could. I take a long almost. time to do them though. Oh, okay. I have enough questions. I have enough categories in mind. I keep. I'm reading things and say, oh, that would be a good trivia category. That would be a good trivia category. I love that you guys think of us all the time in, in, in that way. <laughs> think of us as the, the next thing. OK, so Carl, so, uh, oh, uh, it's Caspian. Perfect timing. OK, it's fine. It's fine to do just one category. So if I think of a category, where, if I think of about 10 questions that I could put into a category, I could do one of these. <laughs> Yeah, actually, you can. So the first time you've done one, Jim, you got to give me notice. And what I'll do is I'll find somebody who's not playing that night, and then we'll run the questions by them. You'll run the questions by them because I don't want to know them. I never know any of the mm -hmm. questions. Yeah. And by so way, you'll so, get to know them, and then you'll be able to. Uh, Susan, did, did you say you need a bonus for next time? Yeah. Okay. I, I rarely do bonuses, but I actually was thinking of it last week and I made one up. So you could put me on bonus and look for someone else for a category if you want. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Rob's got bonus, so I need a category. And look, there's Caspian. Hi, Caspian. Hi, Caspian. I can do a category if you want. Okay, Kevin. Boom. Um, Caspian, we just finished Hawaii. You would have done good on that category, right? No. Or he'd have done well. He could have done well, well. <laughs> Very well. Okay, so uh, Caspian's going to go on. On our team. Yep. Yeah. We got him. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes, we need some history. Buffs. Yes, yes, yes. So Caspian, you are on the team that's called, we are requesting preemptive pardons for a score tonight. Oh, and Jamie's there. And can Hi. we retroactively have him for the previous category and re <laughs> redo our answers? <laughs> He's been to Hawaii a few times. I bet you he knows a that's lot. Why, I bet that's why. He would have known it because he was quarantined there, I think. What, what, but then if he answered the questions, we wouldn't have him on our team. Did he oh, have rabies? Right. So it's like it's... It's a time travel paradox. Susan's children for rabies. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jamie's, Jamie's there too. So uh, between the two of them, we would have been fine. Okay, so here we go. Um, Carl, you're up. Okay. Mute. Uh, the category is seemingly unrelated trivia theme round. See, should we, should we go, uh, be muted except for him? Well, now you will. Now. 
Um, after after he after we groan, go ahead and groan. Then I'm gonna mute you. Just saying. Yeah. I'd say it takes me a minute. <laughs> All right. So I when I when I wrote this round, I started out with I wrote 60 questions that I had to pare down to 10. And I ran these past a friend of mine who's not very good at trivia, and he did very well. So either these are right in his wheelhouse or everybody should do fairly well. So question one. Best known nickname of Ernest Hemingway. Question two. A 1948 American Western film written and directed by John Huston, starring Humphrey Bogart, Tim Holt, and Walter Huston. It is an ad adaptation of B. Travers' 1927 novel, The Same Name, set in 1925. It follows two downtrodden men who join forces, uh, who join prospector in, uh, I'm sorry, who join forces with a grizzled old prospector in searching for gold in Mexico. Uh, and just a reminder to my team, somebody else is going to have to keep scoring answers for this round. Number three, this is a Unix, DOS, and Microsoft Windows command to display a line of text. Number four, the foundation of military law in the United States. Number five, this form of radioactive decay is responsible for most of the helium found on Earth. Number six, 1942 film starring James Cagney about the life of the renowned musical composer, playwright, actor, dancer, and singer, George M. Cohen. Number seven, for all you Canadians, this is the largest province in Canada by area. What if we don't have a Canadian on our team? How are um, we going to get the answer? <laughs> that's the only way you could possibly know the answer if you had a Canadian on your team. Oh, man, I should have known that ahead of time. I would have put number eight. On your team. <laughs> the name of the character played by Walter Matthau in a 1968 film and Jack Klugman in a 1970 to 1975 TV series. Number nine, this country has the largest film industry in the world by number of films produced per year. And finally, number 10, what is the theme? Oh, there is a theme, huh? Well, yes. fine. I just thought they might be random. Okay. So there we go. Okay, Janine. Very good. I'll put Caspian and Kevin on their teams. Hold on just a second. I'm just transferring the last. Let's see. Nickname Hi. of Hemingway. Yeah. I... Hi, team. Hey. Hey. Hi. It's weird mm. how this. Is... Oh, is he the old man in the sea? Let's put it. Okay. Second. Well, I don't know. Farewell to arms. Yeah. That writer. He's the guy who had the cats with six toes. That's right. The uh, polydactyl. The polydactyl cats. We have a polydactyl yeah. cat. Those are so cool. He is a super cool cat. 
Okay. Oh, Western command. What's that command? <laughs> Did we get the film? We missed the Western film. Uh uh. All right. Let's see what the film was. Um, all right. 1940 American Western film written to direct my daughter. He's from Sarnia. Oh, geez, 48. Oh. Yeah, from novel. Only one I can think of, and I didn't see it, so I don't even know what happens in it, is the treasure of the Sierra Madre. <laughs> Let's put it. It's it that is in okay. Mexico, and it is about prospecting. That works. <laughs> Just by the title, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, number three, I think it's probably print. Oh, okay. That sounds right. Or PRNT, maybe. <laughs> to display um, a line of text, though? Hmm. I mean, I can't fathom what else it would be. Mm. Let's see. Echo is another option, but it's not really used very much. It'll make sense when we get into trying to figure yeah. out what any of these things are. Unix Found boss at Microsoft Windows command. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so the other ones are like execute and run, right? Print out. Yeah, print, print out. Well, as far as commands that are shared, there aren't that many. You know, no. CD, make, uh, or... They're short, okay. right? Although now Windows is uh, runs the mostly the DOS kernel anyway, or sorry, run Unix kernel, but yeah, uh, print's the best answer we've got. Okay. What about the foundation of military law in the U.S.? Um, Napoleonic Code, maybe. Is there is martial law something different, right? Yeah, that's just like you can't go outside. Yeah. <laughs> and there's something with Eisenhower's name in it, right? The Eisenhower mm -hmm. something. Maybe. Military law. So military law is not as old as Napoleon, but might be older than Eisenhower. Maybe. Foundation. Come on, Susan, you know this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got distracted. Um, which one am I on? Four. Let me text Caspian. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> He'll like, he would laugh. Foundation of military law. Um, Could it be like um, that there's an amendment that says Congress shall have the right to conscript an army? Oh, you mean like way back to the Constitution? Something like that. Yeah, it's like the amendment number three. I don't know, but something like that. That would be Maybe the foundation. The, it could be the code of the Hammurabi. <laughs> That'd be something. Yeah. Yeah. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Hmm. <laughs> Probably not. Um. Well, it's probably oh, a one word thing because it's it's a the category is a theme, right? So yeah, I know number eight, if that helps. Let's start there. That's gonna be Oscar Madison. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. The odd couple, huh? Yep, Oscar Madison. So how I wonder how that fits in. Well, it it, it seems it could to be, be Oscar. Yeah, I think Madison. Well, they seem to be about movies and Oscars are movies. <gasps> Oscar, he, he said it was 60. He had 60 questions. He had to pare it down to 10. So it'd have to be a category that would be. Well, how many Oscars have there been? I mean, yeah, how long have they been won, doing that? Right. Movies but, that won Best Oscar. Yeah. But Oscar. Okay. Let's What's see. the largest province in Canada by area? Oh, I've got the same question down twice. Let me see here. Is Eight that Saskatchewan? Days. Possibly. I'm not sure you think so. That works for me. I don't know. That's Any thoughts sense. on five on the radio radioactive decay thing? Form of radioactive decay. That I don't I don't know. Okay, were there, so were there any move were there mm. any um 
movies that could be the military law thing, you know, like, um, What's that movie? You can't like Patton or something, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, Patton. What's that <laughs> well, movie? It wasn't the foundation of military law. Okay, think. the movie about George M. Cohen is... Um... Can't think. Is the largest film industry in the world India? That's what that I was, was just... going to be my guess, yeah. That's what I think, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. I just want to look like I'm paying attention to something. Uh, <laughs> India, Oscar Madison. Uh, is it Gandhi the theme? Gandhi was on. What the was James <laughs> Cagney? Which James one? Which Cagney. number are you on? Six. 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 Uh, it sounds like a familiar. I think I saw part of this where he was singing and dancing. I was like, James Cagney is singing and dancing. <laughs> hmm. um, Golly, it feels like I know this one. It's probably there's, more famous. There's at least one or two perfect scores out there. Oh, we oh hate great. Them. Well, they're not oh, on this our is your team, too. <laughs> Good job, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's funny, we none of us knew really a whole lot about Hawaii and we did pretty well on it. <laughs> well, once we get this theme, we'll probably be able to fill in these. I, up. I love that I reasoned out the Hawaii answer for Volcano Island just based on Ben Radford's talk today. Yeah, I know. It's, you just You'll have to let him know. He helped you with the trivia question today. Yeah. Radioactive <laughs> decay is possible with the helium prana. <sighs> How many you got? Uh, three, six. <laughs> yeah, six. Oh, um, I'm guessing you don't have the theme. Nope. Nope. So, what would have India and Oscar Madison in the theme? <laughs> hmm. Or it could that be James? just Oscar, or it could just be Madison. Right. Oscar and It could just India. be something really odd. Madison, India. All right. Um, did we think, what did we think seven was? Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, okay. I don't know, though. What's another province? Yeah, What's the one? Newfoundland. What's the one with uh, uh, Toronto? What's the one with Alberta? Toronto? Alberta. Calgary. I don't know. Country's the largest. Okay. Well, let's try and see how it would fit in a theme. I think Manitoba's pretty big too, but so Alberta's does is more India like a theme. And Oscar have anything to do with it? And Manitoba. Uh, how about James Madison? Radioactive yeah. decay. One of the radioactive decay. Well, what forms of radioactive decay are there? I don't know. I don't Half life. Know. Yeah. Or... I don't know. I don't know why I'm having problems with the question. Like the foundation of military law in the United States, that question is written by somebody who knows the answer. Yeah, it doesn't really but have like, a question mark. Does it need you to it. get the answer from the question, like it would be if you were the foundation of military law in the United States. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm. I I don't know. A command is. Hmm. Boy. It wasn't okay. No. What is the nineteen forty two film starring James Cagney? Can you guys name any movies that James Cagney's been in? No, it was none. Something, it was something about. I saw this show on TV, movie on TV, and I'd know it if I heard it, and I can't call it up. Well, what was Cagney I, famous for? Well, he was not famous for singing and dancing. That's why this was so weird. 
Wasn't it more well, like gangster movies? And yeah, stuff? he did gangster yeah. stuff. So he was this... a gangster guy. And this was before he was Mr. Gangster. And it was fun. It was funny watching him sing and dance. So he has that line. Isn't he got a line? James Cagney has a famous you know, line that everybody hears. It's called Ju Judy, 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 Judy. So is that from this film? I don't know. Was 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 George Conan married to Judy? Maybe. <laughs> Judy Cohen? I'm, I'm like no help in this. Right no, no. Now. We're thinking it through. We got to figure okay. this out. We don't want to have right. this category. We don't want to have this team have a tiny score when the rest, because Carl's out, because you know what that's yeah. going to say about this team. That's uh -huh. true. <laughs> so uh, I'm helping instead of trying to hinder. Uh, I'm What's facilitating. Like so can you guys name anything that has to do with George Cohen? He was a musical composer, right? Do yeah. You know anything about it he did? Because maybe the movie's named like Tin Pan Alley stuff, maybe. Hmm. Uh he also wrote plays. He was an actor. So I've heard of him, but I can't I can't get specific. Okay, so hmm. What are the forms of radioactive decay? Does anybody know? <laughs> uh, I'm sure it makes a lot of a lot of sense. Uh-huh. Helium. Huh. No, nope. no idea. Boy, Carl's gonna be embarrassed. Yeah. Well, no, Carl. Carl, we're we're dying. So it seems like you're the only team that's really having a hard time. That makes <laughs> sense. We have no we have no Canadians. <laughs> have no not very many really movie people. Too much. <laughs> yeah. Except I, I got number eight, but and not, we got eight and nine, but it's not helping. We got eight for sure and nine probably. Yeah. Okay. You have the theme. No. You don't have enough answers to be able to I think I, I think maybe all the other teams have the theme. Uh-huh. That makes sense. Yeah, great. Well, once you get the theme, you can go back and figure out the answers. Mm -hmm. So or if we had more answers, we might be able to know what the theme was. <laughs> was there an Oscar from India, an uh, Indian movie that won an Oscar? Gandhi. There's Gandhi and then um yeah. When you did. Maybe it's Gandhi. The foundation of military law in the United States. <laughs> uh, uh, radioactivity. What would that have to do with Gandhi? Like his little little thing he wore? What was that called? A sarong. Sarong. Okay, could the word sarong fit as one of these answers here? <laughs> Maybe a sarong is the largest providence in Canada. <laughs> about salt he was uh, looking for salt do you guys think any more amount of time will help you we'll help us have fun i don't start know about the you. warning now do we have any we have two right or maybe we yeah <laughs> well we have one two three four five six like well ideas like um, ideas yeah two, three or, um, it's going to be really embarrassing whenever these are rebuilt if everybody else has got them oh well what are you going to do right? is not here so the team is Sorry, gonna, everybody else has got tens we got a three yeah and i tell you i was i was so optimistic when i ran these past my friend bob who's really not good at trivia he got a really good score really how, how yeah. old is it how old is bob um he's like 54 yeah see is I think he he's Canadian maybe maybe 56 I forget yeah is he a scientist no a Canadian nope film buff this is... yes yeah oh well there you go there you go there's two here that are film things three at least four if you count the country that has the largest film industry and he I did get 
He did whatever get all the one. film related answers correct. Well, that'll give whatever. you a good score because there's like five things. Whatever won an Oscar. It was definitely an Oscar. All right. So I'm just going to leave the room and start the countdown. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Carl. Put us out of our misery. Seriously. We should have pretended we didn't know the answers and then actually had them. So shall we put yeah. the um shall we put the, the theme as just movies or Hollywood or something? Sure. How about Gandhi? Or Gandhi? Yeah. All right. Got Why it. not? The foundation <laughs> of military law in the United States is Sharia law. <laughs> 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 I don't think so. I mean, what kind of, what is that what is that even what does know. the phrase even mean? The foundation of military law. You got no, there me. is one. There is one because there was like, you know, there was like writings by earlier military. Be prepared. People. But it's got to yeah. be a short, little, concise thing, right? It's not going to be like no. well, something like that. But that isn't it. <laughs> it's got to be Never something tight. Never pay for retail for dairy. <laughs> the I, I'm really curious motto. what these answers are, but, but oh, I I think we could stare at this for another half an hour and not get yeah, it. Can we put, we can we put the, can we put the, the constitution? Good job, guys. I'm gonna put the. <sighs> Apparently, a recording is in progress. <laughs> well, that was interesting, Carl. Susan, I got kicked out a couple of times because my internet's unstable. I just want to warn you. Okay. Is, this is, is that, why I don't volunteer to do the. Oh, well, um, I want to make sure you, everybody, this, by the time they finish, we're finally finished this whole mess, we're going to be all experts on Zoom. What mess? What mess? Okay. About? Well, Just we're no a longer warning. Zoom. Just a warning that I may disappear. Okay. If you're no longer on Zoom and doing trivia, yeah, we, and you're, you're you're making the mistake, Susan, of saying that this is going to end. It will never I end. Know, is, I know, I know. At first, it was like when the pandemic's over and we're all back to normal, but that yeah. I mean, that sort is there. This is Hi, Jordan. Normal. Huh? That's it's not like a Twilight Zone episode. And any wrong answers we have is when Janine dropped. Oh, oh yeah, we'll blame her. <laughs> I'm I'm running a lottery uh, thing up in Canada here anybody's uh, interested in joining mm -hmm. our uh, next can't cycle running uh, a lottery no you can't is that legal yeah no <laughs> no what are you not here about? canadians oh uh i already win the joke. money and the government doesn't take a penny no 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 it doesn't work with americans you can't do that oh can we oh, get him can we Canadian? get him? what do you mean they can buy it they can buy a ticket i have dual citizenship. they just have to pay the taxes that's all all right, so Carl, where are you? All right, uh, well, I think I expect a lot of nines and tens, except for apparently for my team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, embarrassed uh, for us. The famous nickname of Ernest Hemingway is Papa. What? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Papa? Papa? That's right, yeah. that's right. Oh, Papa Hemingway? Yeah, sorry. Humphrey Bogart movie directed by John Huston is The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. <gasps> we got it! Full, you have to have the full title. Oh, of the one they call them oh. Big Papa, huh? The, the DOS, Unix, et cetera command is Echo. Oh, oh. we almost had that. And we did guess uh, that. for this next one, you again have to have the full answer of the Uniform Code of Military Justice. That's right. Like, how would we Thank know you, that? No, it's a your thing. son knew it. Yeah, you had to talk to your son. Didn't you ever watch <laughs> A Few Good Men? No. Yep. It's a trivial exactly. bit of information. Exactly. I, I, I said I would call Caspian, but he was on the other team, so it wouldn't have worked. Number five is Alpha Decay, because Alpha Decay is basically emitting a helium-4 nucleus, mm -hmm. and that helium-4 nucleus gets trapped in natural gas deposits, and that's where they, we get most of our helium from. Yes. Changes are voice. Uranium and thorium. I know. The famous, famous, famous movie, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Oh, oh. now I remember it. In yeah. 1990, this film was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically, Yankee. or aesthetically significant. I'm a Yankee. Susan, had they got the theme yet? Nope. It was, all, it was also added to the American <laughs> Film Institute's 100 Films in 100 Years of the 100 Greatest Films in American Cinema. Uh, I'm, I was surprised that some Canadians 
were debating this answer and they just didn't know what to stop their head, Quebec. Oh. Oh, okay. I knew it. <laughs> Right. We no, thought it was Ontario our... until we figured out the theme. We don't right. have Quebec. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ron, are you serious no, about I'm that? Ontario? I thought Ontario has more landmass than Quebec no, does. No, oh. it never did. Well, I <laughs> gathered that. The, the first version like of that question lost. mentioned that it was also the second most populous <laughs> province in Canada, but I took that out because I figured it was too much, too made it too easy. Oscar Madison from yeah. The Odd Couple. We got that. Okay. Oh. Uh, Okay. Oh, and you have to have both Oscar and Madison. Oh. Okay. We knew that. We didn't from write Hollywood. That. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. And I am thinking the theme, I, I am trying to think where it went be and I can't it come to my doesn't come to theme my head. Is the NATO slash military phonetic alphabet anything approaching oh, that concept oh. is acceptable? For the theme. Oh, like Tango. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Oh, Sierra, oh. Uniform, Tango, Alpha, Yankee, India. India. Let's go. Yeah. So I do have one complaint about number three. Yeah, there is yeah. no Microsoft Windows command. Only Unix and DOS. Would you agree? Well, arguably, you Troy can bring up the command it's... prompt in Windows and type yeah. it out. There's no but DOS you're... anymore. It's built into Windows now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't it's, know about that. There's no DOS here. Uh, yeah. 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 It is the evidence of DOS, but there is no like... DOS. I mean, it's not PowerShell, but... Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's so. Windows basic command prompt oh, scripting. Gonna... I still call it DOS. Troy's trying to get it hasn't it hasn't been DOS for... Troy just did it in Windows I know, I know. in my screen. It hasn't been disk-based Did it work? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Just Troy right just now. did it. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> it Troy worked. just did it in Windows and it worked. And I, I there's so many questions. I literally I wrote 60 questions for this, and there were so many good ones I had to leave out, such as this Shakespeare play can I actually be used twice. I if I can copy and can I put a win in this I round? It? I think uh, I can. Well, Romeo you and used Oscar Juliet. the Grouch. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo yeah. and Juliet. Oh. And Juliet. Yes. Oh. Well, now <laughs> it makes total sense. <laughs> but not at the so time. It, it works, yeah. Oh boy, we're embarrassed, aren't we? Okay, so let's go to our scores, teams. Let me... um, my grandma would say, "Who's this we? You got a mouse in your pocket?" <laughs> and uh, there is now like a copy woman. of this a word document. Copy of this round has been uploaded to the chat for anybody that's interested. Oh man. Well, you know what, though? Oh. Whenever people have to give the letters of the alphabet, you know, and they're trying to say it, I just make up my own. So I've never really yeah. known. So I, I work I worked in a place that dealt with the Navy. So if they doubted, I have it here. They wanted you to do this, and I had it up behind my phone. But I just like you, Susan, I never looked at it and remembered. I just made up words. I made up words. <laughs> well, you know it took me a very long time to realize that people had a standard thing i was like <laughs> why do you guys also tango i sometimes say tiger or i said I've never seen the movie I, hot I, shots. in the movie hot shots john crier is on like air traffic control and he goes Velveeta knuckle underwear. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the kind of thing I did. That's, yeah. that's what I, I still have I trouble still remembering it so i have it written on my whiteboard at work <laughs> I've never bothered. I've just always just made up my own things that make sense, you know? Well, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the name of a friend's band. What's that? Okay, got it. All right, so let's go with, uh, let's go with we're requesting preemptive pardons for a score tonight. That's got real juice in it. Uh, 10. It's not completely. Yay, we got 10. All right. Stop the count. Um, I sure, score, why not? Put well, my soda on your chair. So uh, nine. Deborah, mute uh -huh. yourself. Okay. Susan, we just want to find 11,780 points more than Carl. Nine. Don't sound disgusted with yourself. Well, we got super close. You get a gun, you get a gun, you get a gun. Susan, I'm sorry the comic strip Foxtrot didn't make the final cut of Ant. Oh, I love that cartoon. It was one of the six. Tango Foxtrot. Actually, I, like. I don't like that cartoon, but I have read it for Three, years. Two. Ten. 
WTF. <laughs> okay, the team with a couple of bird brains. Three. No. Yes. <laughs> we have a chance. Yes. Carl, you're, you're back on in the team. Team. Yeah. Carl, you're on team. Congratulations. Carl, what happened? Hey. <laughs> We stared at that thing for it was, ages. It was those two bird brains. Oh, happy. And we were sitting there going, what was the film? There's Conan. What did, what did he do? What did James <laughs> Cagney do? We're like, Jody, Jody, Jody. But was that in the movie? We're, we could, we, we're like, what, what would be the uniform? Oh, it was awful. It's Sorry. Judy, Judy, Judy. That's what he said. And that's Joni. And that's there, that's Cary Grant. Oh, yeah, it's not even the right guy. <laughs> uh, I blame Carl. Susan. He's the one Let's that's go tan, go fuck. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Who's up next? Well, we're going to take a, a break after we take a photo. Okay, okay. Take the photo and then I guess I'll bow out uh, as usual. Troy, why don't you stay in the photo? Yeah, well, right, right. he well, plays half the time yeah. anyway. Well, 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 I'm gonna bow <laughs> after the photo, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let's take a photo. Let me grab a okay. photo. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was awful. Why well, should take my double glass? No, I'm wonderful. double glasses on. Hey, I'm okay. ready for the photo. Let's go. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Cheers. Oh, kidoki artichoke. Are we good? Good night, Joe. Got it. Okay, Jeff, yeah, right. that good was night. hilarious. Your picture. Good night. Yeah, Jim. Okay. Bye. Good night. Uh, five minutes. Hey, Susan. Yeah. Do, do you know what's we were? I, I I had asked the other guys. We were just wondering what's doing with Lou. Do you know? Uh, is he not? Are we not going to see him again? He doesn't like um, Facebook, so he probably does. He's rarely on Facebook, so I think that he and he doesn't even use that name, so he probably misses that I have that invitation that's out there. So people probably should invite him that still see him if he's still in that Facebook group that the messenger group. He probably hates that we just constantly make fun of his lighthouse that's, category. We, that's what we were saying when we were, we were talking. That's this. kind of like, duh. <laughs> when people, Susan, all, when the you. average score is one. Susan, I got a joke for you. <laughs> the bartender says, sorry, we don't serve time travelers. Uh, Two time travelers walk into a bar. Oh, I get it. Did that fill out? Nope. It landed right on the bottom. Yeah. Speaking of which, it got okay, the mentioned... score. I've just put the picture up so you guys can grab it. Wendy it says mentioned... that she's got insomnia and she's not feeling well. And Richard Saunders is hanging out with Brian Dunning. They're doing a video right now, so that's, uh, that's where they cool. are. So I I had the time travel thing, and I and then one of the clues was the was the uh, the t the movie uh, Predestination, and uh, Carl seconded. Everyone has to watch that. So a while back, it was almost impossible to find, but I found out that I was able to go to Amazon and say, uh, I want to watch that. And it played not on Amazon, but some free service where there's commercials. But you can watch that movie now for free, Predestination. And uh, it's, it's a segue was because of the joke we just heard about uh, two time travelers walk into a bar. Because Is it, is it yeah, good? That's part of it. Well, oh, come on, Susan, you hate time travel, so you will despise this movie. <laughs> Okay. Well, there's, there's, this was the, this is the one where where my clue was that convoluted chart, which had multiple colors going back and forth in time and forward and back, and people changing names. Right. But it's fantastic if you like a good time travel adventure. And um, Leonard seconded that the 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 uh, short story it was based on, uh, like, it was very famous, and he thought that was fantastic. Uh, I've never read the short story, so I don't know how close it matches it. The short story was called uh, All You Zombies. Uh, by the way, from I'm, the, I'm not, from, from the 50s, you're not selling it on me. I'm going to go take a couple minutes. No, I'm not trying to sell I'm it on you. You don't like time travel. But anyone who likes time travel. Rob is gone. On Netflix. Yeah. Oh, Carl was gone. So I, I watched uh, Predestination again because it's actually available for free on a service. I was on Amazon and I did the thing with Alexa. Hey, what, I want to watch this. And it popped open, but it wasn't Amazon. It was some other service that had commercials. I don't remember which one it was, but you can watch it for free. So I watched it again the other night. It really is really good. Even if it's the third time what, I've seen it. What movie it. is that again? That's Predestination. Predestination. I like your joke, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah. It's on Netflix. I didn't invent too. it. I just read it on the internet. Yeah. And they actually might have gotten the idea from that, from watching Predestination. Because one of the main characters is named only Barkeeper. Is that with Ethan Hawke from 2014? That's correct. Okay. 
don't read anything about it, Carl, before you don't read, because it'll just give it all away. Don't, don't even look at the stars because that gives something away even. I think I watched that and it kind of gave new meaning to the term go yeah. F yourself. <laughs> Predestination is the that's, story that's, of Calvinism. Now you just spoiled it. Don't everybody. give a hint. It's, man. It's, it's on Tubi. It's on the <laughs> channel Tubi. Yes, that's what popped open. That's correct. Yes, that Tubi. is correct. Yeah, Vincent, Vincent gave a good spoiler there. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly did do that. Boy, that was one. Boy, that was an odd movie. It was also surprise after surprise after surprise, which I like, which is why I think I like Project Hail Mary, too. I guess. Oh, oh yeah. All right, I go take a break. So did everybody but my team get a perfect score in that round? Uh, no, some people got a nine. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had this idea for a, a, a round of trivia. What do you think about this? I make questions, two questions for every team. And the teams get to pick which question to ask everybody else. You know what I mean? That would take a long time. Oh, I like your idea, Kevin. And what I would say is Susan has like kept scores and the scoring has been the same and comparable for the it, it won't change the scoring. But it would, would just, change it would you would just go to your room and you'd have two questions to pick which one you want to ask the rest of the groups, and you don't know the answer either. So you have to pick the hardest one that somebody knows. And it then sounds, it sounds like a little different game. Seems complicated. No, I just it would be like I wouldn't even have to know. I would just have a bunch of questions and then we could look up the answers if, if I didn't if I you know if a person wanted to play, you could do it that way too. It's like I, I thought of taking a picture of a, a trail pursuit card, two cards, and send in that picture, just the questions to every team. And the teams get to pick the two hardest questions out of the, one from each card kind of a thing to ask everybody else. Nice. And if they, if they don't know the answer, then they won't score a point either, but they want to get the hardest one that they know. And that way everybody else might not get it. And then the teams get back together and you ask every team, ask the two questions and you score the same way. So five teams, two questions each. Too, too complicated? Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, I was going to try that. I have a technical question. I want to share a picture for everyone that I found on Facebook. How do I get it from Facebook to a place where I can share it? Can you open it in its own window? Like right I click on it and do right. open image in new window? You can just share and you can pick your Facebook page and, and let us see that. Maybe she doesn't want us to see her entire Facebook feed. Yeah. Well, oh, I don't, I can do that. How do I do that? If I want right, to do that. Right click on the picture and do open a new window. And, and then, then you have that window. In other screen. words, I have to open, I could open it on the computer instead of on my phone. I always think of Facebook as a phone thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, so on your computer, do you have a PC or a Mac? Uh, PC. Okay, so when you get to the when you get to the page in Facebook with the post, the timestamp, which like says, uh, let's see, I'm just scrolling through mine, June twenty first at eleven fifty, right? You right click that and say open in a new tab, right? And then you can just paste the URL up the top because that's a specific to that post. All right, wait a minute. I'm I'm not going fast enough to follow you, but I found the picture on facebook is it is it a post of yours or someone else's no it's someone else's but it's one that i think you're going to want to see but it's, it's a post it's a, is it just a picture or is it a post it's a, it a post of a picture it's a, okay it's a so at the, at, at the very top there's under the person's name who did it there's a date and a time right i don't think i have to i think what i've got is going to do it let's see if i i don't think i have to go that far let's see if i can do this from here 
if I share what I've it's on my screen right now. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to get you to do it without sharing it, and you just paste it into the chat. But I okay. don't mind sharing that. Because, no, you did it wrong. You no, know, I'm sharing everybody there. I have to do a share. Is that I, it? I oh, it oh right? that is so cute! Look at that. Oh. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, cat, very cute. Cat, you, know, cat you all know what it is. I the thought it was a loaf of bread. The cat bread. It's a cat. I thought it was a loaf of bread for a second. Cat bread. It's either it's either really cute or very morbid and cruel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, I think it's, it was doing it on its own. It, it, it's it a window, like, so it's 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 in the nice warm window. So it's a microwave of uh, tasting bread. You're uh, taking, taking a cat nap. It's reminding me of Weird Al's song, uh, "The Cats in the Kettle at the Silver <laughs> Moon." I don't remember that one. Yeah, oh, I, I knew I knew we had a lot of cat lovers here. That's why I thought that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is cute. All right, you guys. So we are back from our break, oh, wait, look, 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 look. and the kids are playing. Yeah. And the chickens are excited where their parents are in More kitties, kitties. The birds. Well, by the way, the I uh, I am going to they leave just about now because I got a few other things to do. Okay, Dennis. Have a good evening. Nice for you to come and hang out for a while hey. with us. Bye bye. <laughs> Orgy or yep. loaf of bread? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I have a loaf of bread too. Orgy or loaf of bread? <laughs> Yeah, they got one of those with uh, chihuahuas and blueberry muffins, too. That's the only thing yep. that, uh, oh, I've seen that one. That's On the only thing the internet's for, right? Cats and puppies. Okay, so we're back. So here we are on the 23rd of June. I hope you guys are all paying attention to the, the January 6th hearings. If not watching them, at least watching the recaps, because it's flipping amazing. Just like, like Wordle. <laughs> actually, I, 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 I want to see has, has a purpose. What I want to see is somebody put together a video of just Liz Cheney's opening remarks all stitched together from all the days because she says what's going to happen. She kicks it, ass. It, oh my gosh! I wish I I wish she was saying in other ways, but boy, you reading how how mad that Trump is? He is so mad. I hope oh, so. Yeah, they said he is, and that makes me so happy. I hear he's as mad as a hatter. Yeah, oh, he's, well, that, he's so that, bad because he's got so much evidence that they're all, it's a witch hunt. <laughs> and, and oh my God. Anyway, so let's not get started on that. I've got to finish the hearing for today. So I haven't finished it yet, but anyway, so we're back. So announcements, we've got um, quite a few things coming up. I'm sure it's getting towards that season where we're starting to, um, mingle a little bit more i know a lot of people are starting to travel i've seen robin walsh's pictures in ireland if you guys are following that jane felton is right now in um uh yugoslavia or i'm sorry slovenia right now I, she may be out now you might want to check out her pictures uh adrian was just in newfoundland everybody's traveling it's uh, well not everybody there's a lot of people traveling and it's really fun to be able to watch and and, and know that they're traveling to these places that maybe we can write trivia categories on later and, and they'll help us out. So that's all exciting. So we have, um, I was talking earlier before you guys all got here is that I have a three gigs coming up. One is gonna be at Janine's really no. amazing Eugene, Oregon One event that's coming up in August. And we're having a skeptic camp and we're having a meet up and we're having a party it's going to be fun if you guys can get to you and ray hyman appreciation day it's going to be a this lot all of fun. started from lauren saying that we, we need to do it. something for ray's birthday mm -hmm. absolutely this is going to be a Which lot is of fun. today yeah 94 so if you should probably go if you can then um a couple days later i'm going to be speaking at seattle skeptics in the great state mm -hmm. of washington and then in in august 21st i will be speaking at uh cfi la oh, so i've got a lot of things coming up and carl not carl <laughs> kyle why do i always do that kyle what's up on data skeptic well we're just kicking off a whole new season uh so if you're interested in how advertising technology works online and the algorithms that control what ads you see or don't see that's what we're going to be covering over the next couple months 
Ooh, nice. I thought it would be on time travel. Time traveling ads are a possibility. <laughs> Adrian, do you have something that's going on with the skeptic zone or anything? Uh, no, I just got back. So uh, I guess the news, I'll do the newsletter next week. But I got to do Trove a couple of weeks ago. If yeah, you and your son yeah. did such a wonderful job. Oh my God, he's he so good. A wonderful accent of well, I would yeah. love, he can do accents for anywhere. He's quite something. And I would like him just to, to kind of take over for me, but he's a little hesitant. Oh, well, why not? <laughs> Let him go. Yeah. Well, hey, I how do you think it. you got pushed into it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well he got pushed into it because I lost my voice, right? So that's, I got sick and lost my voice. Just <laughs> so, lose your voice more often. Anymore. I know. He was so fun. And uh, I thought he was like a natural. So oh yeah, let's you know, get him involved more. That's fine. Anything else anybody else got? Yeah, the know? Kyle's time travel show that he did next year was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, well so for Psycon coming up, Susan normally does most of the interviews, but she's so busy that uh, she's yeah, letting me do them this year. So I, I wrote to Barry Carr for the list, and I said, "These are the people I'd like uh, to interview. Mm -hmm. Can you reach out to them and see if they want to do it?" I haven't heard of most of these people, uh, but I, I got Richard Wiseman, Penn and Teller, uh, uh, some guy named Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Richard Dawkins. I'm going to interview all of those people. It's like, Isn't that I, amazing? Wow, that's awesome. This is the way it should Richard be. Richard Wiseman like, will be the most fun. Yeah, he's a probably. He's probably. a blast. He's an absolute. You have his blast. comic books? No, I have. I'm going to pick him up at Psycon this year, where everybody I, else. I should got the first them. four. You can go and get him autographed. Yeah, I'll How bring him if that? I go. I will if I go. Okay, well, you got to go. So, so get on so, it. so Barry was funny. He kept like, oh, actually, some other people you probably may not have heard of. He said, oh, this person said this person said, but the other people aren't going to say yes. They're too busy. And then every day, oh, my God, it's a miracle. Penn and Teller said yes. Oh, my God, it's a miracle. Dawkins said yes. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. So you guys, Psycon this year is going to be amazing. Anyway, so let's get on to our, and that's in o late October. So third, third week of October, I think, right before Halloween. Yeah. we're ready to start back at our game we are where are we at the lead is you get a gun you get a gun and you and you and you but no abortion really that's the lead with 17 wow. points so here we go next up let me take the permissions away from carl and our permissions go to vincent now vincent has his category has been vetted by avi so that was really nice that Bobby uh, did that. So if anybody has an upcoming category that they're a little not so sure about, just send it to Avi. That way Avi gets to feel like he's Poor participating and everything. <laughs> All right. Vince, you've got the you've got the command or or the controls or whatever it's called. You have now. the con. You have the con. I have the con. Okay. That sounds very science fiction y. I know. <laughs> wow. Um, I watch science fiction. So I was racking my brain on what to do, and I decided on um, lightning, just lightning. All right, Janine, can and, you um, mute us? Oh. So unmute yourself. Uh, okay, very good. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. a little shocked by this category. I just have to tell you. Oh. oh you know, yeah. Well, I'm hoping everyone will have an I think it's quite striking. Yes. See, I love it. I love the puns. It's going to be puns. Electrifying. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that everyone will be enlightened. By Where's the thunderous applause? Yes. I mean, uh, I am. Everybody's <laughs> bolting for the door. <laughs> yes, it will hit you once, but it won't hit you twice. I love it. I'm shocked. Anyway, I'm just going to go. I'm, I'm shocked you came up with this category. Oh. Oh, air racing. Was, there's my best lightning <laughs> shot right there. I was sure. kind of shocked too. So, oh, yeah. uh, let me get the first one. Oh, copy. Oh, I hope this uh, works. It did. Hey, that's cool. So lightning can strike up to how many miles away from the center of the storm? A, 15 miles, B, 25 miles, 
C, 30 miles, or D, 35 miles. Okay. Just, and uh, it has been measured. So amazingly enough. Here's one that's a little bit harder. I did not know this. I didn't know most of them. So uh, I like that about categories, you write them and you don't really know the answers. I, yeah. I've been investigating. I didn't you learn something. I, like, yeah, yeah, I learned a lot actually. So this South American country, there's something called Katatum, Katatumbo lightning, where there's constant lightning strikes averaging over 100 strikes per hour. Oh my God. Name the country. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I was, I was shocked when I first. Ah, oh, I was yeah. shocked everybody. Yeah. This one had different answers, but I went with the one answer from um, this website. So the National Weather Service. So paste, enter. About how many volts can a single lightning flash carry? 3 million, 30 million, 300 million or 3,000 million volts. It's a lot. 3 billion. 3 billion. Oh. And I tell you what, if you're hit by lightning, it sure is a hair raising experience. <laughs> God, I have a million of them. <laughs> I've enjoyed this. Do you have 3,000 <laughs> million? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at Bob's leaning his, his pad of paper on his dog. That's so funny. <laughs> he puts his animals to work. This one was a real shocker to me. The diameter of a lightning strike is actually pretty small. About what size? Uh, $2 coin, Canadian toonie, um, uh, B, a quarter, C, a dime, D, a nickel. Can you show us how big a $2 co Canadian coin would so, look? So, you know, is you're- that this big? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you carry them in your pockets? <laughs> Ah, uh, there. See, it's Larry about, has it there. Larry has oh, okay. So it has two full-size Canadian geese on it. Where are we looking? Uh, Larry. Larry. I don't see Larry. How Where's big Larry? is that, though? Put it on your finger. Like, it's like a U.S. Uh, coin, like oh a dollar God. coin. It looks like a coin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. there, there's a quarter. Yeah. yeah. That's a quarter. Okay. Oh, so that is way bigger than. It's I like a pen. It's a penny with a with a with a, co a corona so, around so it. So Vincent, you almost went in 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 descending Thanks, order of size, but then C and D are backwards, so that's confusing. Oh, I'm sorry. I... So the biggest one there is the A. That bothers yeah, you, doesn't it, Rob? One is a dime. Just I got a order. Canadians, I might well done, be, Canadians might not be clear about that. But D becomes it's is not required, Vincent. You did fine. You did fine. I agree. It bothers you, doesn't it, Rob? Hey, it's in decreasing <laughs> currency size. Okay. No, no, I do apologize. That is, it's in decreasing. Uh, Which of yeah. course has nothing to do with the diameter. So yeah. It's a great question. Some people. Vince. What are you showing us, Larry? <laughs> the which one's which? Uh, the don't go, one. don't go by the Canadian. That's that, a loony. This is a toonie. Yeah, the um, only, the only one that I showed was the Canadian toonie. That was it. Don't, don't. The other ones were the American coins. Okay. Because they're about the same as the Canadian ones. So. <clears throat> How many times hotter than the sun is a lightning strike? Five times hotter, mm. 10 times hotter, 
20 times hotter or 30 times hotter? I'm going to yell at Avi because that's problematic too. Um, <laughs> but all different parts of the sun are different temperatures, like the chronosphere, the photosphere, the hosphere. So that's a problem. So well, they were just going general, generally. No speaking, general. You know, yeah. That, that's that's just the regular I'll sphere. I'll give your money back, Rob. Don't worry. It's, it's the regular sphere. That's I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write obvious, strenuously worded message. <laughs> I'm sure he'll yeah. love that. Yeah. That was my question, and Avi didn't say anything about it. So because he's a mathematician, he doesn't know anything about astronomy. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Hey, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Adrian's starting to look at you with that eye. You better watch out. You're gonna be in so much trouble. We're gonna see it. She's gonna book saying to one's fly. better or worse she than each other. She is already booked to Psycon, to so she's gonna be math. at you. You better watch it. Adrian's already on the way. <laughs> she's gonna get there early, like next week. So this one, <laughs> she's for sure there, and her luggage is there. This one kind of blew my mind. So, and yeah, I just was totally amazed. Lightning actually causes blank and count the blanks under that in the air to combine with other elements forming nitrates. With the rainfall, these nitrates are sent down to the ground, fertilizing the soil and making it more suitable for crops. I did not know that there was an actual like. Um, yeah, I know natural thing for uh for lightning so so rob you got a problem with that <laughs> no that one i know the answer to oh, oh okay oh i didn't even need the dashes very good and this one truly was amazing this next one i just was blown away by this one In 2001, and again in 2002, scientists detected what from lightning? A, X-rays, B, radio waves, C, microwaves, or D, ultraviolet rays? How about stingrays? Yeah, no, <laughs> quite. How about lighthouses? <laughs> <laughs> no. Lightning houses? No. Uh, be sorry if I'm taking a bit too long here. Okay. Fill in the blank. Lightning is blank, powerful in rural areas than in cities. More, less, or just as? I didn't, uh, that one was amazing too. That was like, holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. That's what happens when the lightning hits. Holy. Yeah, that's it. That's when lightning hits cheese, and after time, it gets moldy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. And you get lightning bugs in the cheese? Yeah. What were yeah, those the, other the, things we saw uh, last time? Yeah, at least time? it kills all the maggots. The lightning what were those the things? <laughs> so disgusting. Nine, which season of the year is the US, in the U.S. does lightning most occur? So you've got four to The choose. golf season. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just joking. Caddyshack <laughs> uh, um, season. Caddyshack. Father Ted. And this one, just to throw everyone off, is this one. Caspian knows what I'm talking about. Father Stone. <laughs> That's going to be the best song episode. called Thunder Rolls. Who sings it? Thunder Rolls. Yeah. 
No Thor Protection. questions. Pardon me? No Thor questions. No Thor questions. No, I didn't go that direction. So I Very stuck. good, Vincent. I love I like it. Gal Galileo, Galileo. Galileo. Very, Galileo. very frightening. Galileo. Okay, Janine. Uh. <laughs> Can you send us to our rooms? Oh, mama mia. Mm -hmm. Hi, team. Hello, team. Oh. Look, look at Kevin with his face in the. Hello, Clarice. So, uh, Vince, uh, 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 Vince, do you have do you have some answers for us? <laughs> no. He can answer before he leaves, right? That's allowed. That is allowed. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm sure I get many miles away from the center of the storm. Um. I do know that lightning actually can go up. Like from a cloud, there have been yeah. uh, there have been Lots strikes. Of times that, more go cloud to cloud than cloud to ground. Yeah, but, and but I've heard that in in, in in an otherwise clear sky, it was I've heard some really weird things about uh, lightning. It's just static electricity jumping from one cloud to another. Yeah, I hey, thought Vincent, that's go, what go, I thought. Go explore other teams. Isn't that when the clouds <laughs> the clouds hit each other? They cry. We're recording this room, so you'll be able to go back and listen to it later. Okay. I mean, I learned in school that the clouds and everything, it's because they bump into each other and they cry, and that's where the rain comes from. They cry. And, and that's, that's what I always okay. thought. So what do you oh. think? I'm really... How many miles away from the center of the storm? Okay. Go on go I don't on. know. I, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm not like tired. Okay, South um, American country, there's something called Pat a where there's constant lightning strikes. Averaging that can't be all day long every day, right? It must be only just sometimes there. Can I, Jordan? Right. Bye. No, could that either 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 it's like it could it be in a mountainous country or or with the with the the, the I was just thinking of uh, Colombia, just from the say from the. Oh, yeah, because uh, of the name Catatumbo. Yeah. Mm, you know, I'm thinking that it's an extremely mountainous country yeah. in the Andes, so like maybe Peru. Peru. Yeah, Peru or something like that. Can okay. Imagine. I'm okay with Peru. Yeah. What's going on with the big cross oh, at the top? Brazil. Is that Brazil? That's Brazil, and it's not that big. It's not that okay. All right. So what would that I mean, be like to be in a place where it was constant lightning strikes? Like, well, you be there. yeah, you wouldn't. People be don't live there. <laughs> well, somebody lives there. It's a country. Yes, the entire country is not getting constant lightning strikes. Just one spot. In oh, the oh, okay. Right. Boy, that so, would be something else. Any thoughts on number one as to how many miles away from the center of the storm? I would Three. just pick B, B or C. Oh. I would just pick one. Because we don't really a nice round number. Which 30? 30, go ahead. C. Okay. It's a guess. Is it, is it plus or minus? No. Plus or minus 30. Plus or minus one. No. Okay. So how many volts can a single lightning flash carry? I feel like I should have known I should know this because I've probably heard it before. I just don't know it off the top of my head. I'm not sure what volts measure now that I think about it. Whatever yeah. they do, whatever they do, the latter ones seem almost too, too. Go with C too again. High, too high. And then the, the, next... the important part is the amperage. That's, I think that's what kills you. I know uh... the guy. I know a guy who got killed uh, out at his kid's ball game. No way. Uh, got, 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 uh, they were out there out in the field deciding what they should do. It was a storm coming in, and he was holding his cell phone, and the, uh, and the uh, lightning struck his cell phone, killed him. Oh, my God. Did, they, did, did, did he come back to life after? With no, another strike? No. no? no he was, he, he, yes. He was. They had, um, at the Boy Scouts thing, a long, long time ago, about 2008, I think, 
they had, they were setting up a tent and a jamboree and they touched the wires or something and the lightning or something. And 12 guys died at the same time. Wow, that's bad. I'm gonna have nightmares. Tonight. Okay, so let's get back to this. We've got questions to answer, people. Oh, freaking me Less out. stories, more questions. <laughs> Um, 3,000 million volts. I kind of want to throw that out because that would just be 3 billion billion. Volts. Right. That, so it's either B or C, my guess. So are we good with that? Throwing that one out? Yeah. What I think is, sure. uh, hey, Rachel. Hi. I would go with B. Just because we're guessing, right? Yeah. Great hat. Do we like? Thank do, you. Do we like yes. B? Or does anyone want to say more or less than that? Bravo. Let's go with Bravo. B. All right. That is, okay. that is Next one. I think it's C. I call it's it diameter. Badger. I think it's C. I think it's very if small. You, if you use your own words, that's how you get shot down by your own. Uh, I'm not flying no plane. I'm just talking to people over the phone or something, and they're trying to figure out how to spell something. I'm going to say, you know, for G for Gervic, I might say gargoyle or garlic or What's the regular word for G? Um, Garbic. Gizmo? Gizmo? <laughs> Gizmo? <laughs> a computer. What is it? A Golf. Golf? So, uh, dime? Is that small? Too small? I think it's small. I think it's that small. Wow. I think I heard some guy who was on the Guinness Book of Records yeah. been like seven times. He said Perfect. it was only the size of his pinky. I've never so, heard this. So the fact that it's in here would lead me to believe that it's more on the smaller side. So I'm I'm okay with dime if everyone else is good. Yeah, with can that. you imagine how tiny that would be? It's just like a wire. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's just it a, doesn't a, need to be what is, thick at all. It's yeah. it's thinner than that all the time. It's just a very straight path connecting. Mm -hmm. Well, and again, it probably looks bigger than it actually is because you'll have like charring stuff. That's yeah. surrounding the actual yeah, on price. TV, it'll make it look bigger. Now, is yeah, there on TV? It looks awful. It looks like you know, football size. We we oh. had a tree. We had a tree in my grandmother's yard get hit by lightning, and it literally blew up. There was chunks that were about six feet tall and about a foot wide that was stuck in the ground about a hundred feet away, like oh, we, we used, the size of a person. We used to live like the tree and stuck in we, the ground. We used to live like on the seventeenth floor of a high rise in the in a city and one time we were over uh we, we were we were we were up there during an electrical storm and we just i there was i was faced away from the wind all of a sudden no. th there was a big flash i turned i take a look and we got to see it, this bolt nailed a house or a building yeah. uh a low you know a low building uh a few blocks yes. north you could see the sparks flying and everything and we were just waiting for the fire to start and that must have been one well-grounded house because nothing and they may have blown out every every appliance in the house there, but uh, nothing happened. Oh, it was terrible. incredible. It was uh, really incredible. Uh, uh, um, is there a relation? Is there a relation between five and three? No, I, I think that's nitrogen. That's nitrogen. Yeah, yeah, because he put the amount of he spaced it out. But uh, yeah. wait, what did what did we come up with for five? Uh, nitrogen. Nitrogen. Now you're making up words. We skipped it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know how to go about um, evaluating that because of the wide variety of temperatures. Don't come in here, Ariadne. But I don't know. I was just oh, thinking because go. with in, in three, we're talking about if we're picking 30 million volts. Well, of course, that doesn't help but anyway. I don't know. Yeah. Hotter than the sun. I don't know. I mean, things can be hotter than the sun. It's not like it's. Yeah, the surface of the sun's not actually that hot. So I mean, we'll say five human times. Standards. Yeah, by human standards. Uh, you know, I swing by every once in a while, just, you know, <laughs> when, I'm, when, when I'm feeling chilly. Uh -huh. Hi, sweetie. So, go with 30. Alan, what, what's the go all the way that that high? that was killed by the lightning strike? I'm, was, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What was that? What state was he in? What state is he in? No, it's, it's in Chicago, like in the outside Chicago. Okay. We, what if we just don't get a lot of what, lightning. It's not what a big lightning. Oh, create. I, I would suggest X rays. Okay. My guess is we've been detecting radio waves from lightning for as long as we've had radio receivers. 
That makes a lot of sense. I, I would agree with that. Sounds well, like what about what about micro what about microwaves? Uh, microwaves are just a slightly more energetic form of radio waves. So I feel like if you can detect radio waves, odds are you're probably also picking up microwaves. Okay, so X-rays. I'm good with yeah. that. I'm good with X-rays. All right, fill in the blank. They are the most energetic of that uh, group as well. So. Oh well, yeah, that makes sense. I think it's going to be more because uh, there's, I think there's more, there's, it's more powerful because there's less strikes, I think. Well, yeah, I would think it, in rural areas, there's, it, it dissipates less. Would, would that make sense? Because there's less metal to attract. It builds up and there's no place to discharge as, as easy as a building would. So you get a bigger charge because it's looking for a tree or, the, or a high point on a hill or something. Whereas when there's lots of buildings close together, there's many places it can discharge and a smaller, a smaller amount will discharge. So I think I it's going to be I would guess it'd be the same. I'll bring it back. I got to go to the front main room real quick. Okay. It would easily charge. You get more flashes, but they'd be less powerful. I don't know. I, I, I I'm inclined to think it's the same, but I'll go with whatever you guys. I, I like more. Um, which season of the year does lightning most occur? Uh, I, I would have thought spring. I would have thought summer. I would have yeah. thought winter because the static is uh, higher in winter. I would also go summer. There's more energy. Gas also thinks summer heat plus energy. Sure, go with uh, summer. Yeah, I like summer. All right. Oh, let's go for summer. All right. Thunder rolls. Who sings it? Garth Brooks. Oh, okay. I'll go with that. Oh, there you go. Okay, now that we're done, I want I'll tell my lightning story. Uh when I uh I forget how many years ago, this was early when uh in O'Fallon, Illinois. Uh, I had a TV antenna mounted to my chimney, and uh, what did you mean, buddy? Oh. I did not have it grounded, which was bad on my part, but middle of the night, there was a storm, and oh my God, it was the loudest like gunshot I've ever heard. I sat bolt upright in bed. Bolt? Lightning. Bolt upright? Yes. <laughs> lightning struck the antenna, because it was, you know, up on a pole strapped to the chimney. So it was the highest point of the house. It's taller than the chimney, my antenna. Uh, lightning, you know, went through and it went to path of least resistance. It came in through the antenna, hit my direct TV boxes. And then unfortunately, my direct TV boxes were hooked up to the to the network. So it went through the networking uh, cables and it blew out network cards in my um in my computers it blew out a tv i had to have the motherboard replaced in a tv it and i feel like power was never the same in the house after that lightning strike but oh my god i've never been more freaked out in my life than waking up in the middle of the night to just a loud bang and like what the heck and every circuit breaker in the house was true i had to go down to the basement and i had to flip breakers on it was crazy well when we when when I was a kid, I used to always, whenever there was a, a, an electrical storm, I would go outside and sit on the porch to watch the lightning. And it, and at one time, until one time, I swear that it was also one of these things that bolt must have gone right by my nose. No. What, 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 what I don't, I, I, it didn't occur to me is that our porch was supported, the roof was supported by three steel posts. Oh. And I'm sitting right between them. Oh and boy! I, 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 it, it did not occur to me. I'm that surprised that you managed to live to see this day. You were probably yeah. safer there, though. <laughs> I don't. We wouldn't even have an Aussie. Surrounded by metal. Oh. Oh. 
You know, when I like, was when I was 35, I went to Ohio, one of my first trips ever going anywhere by myself because I was trying to find my father's family. And I went back there to investigate. This is 25 years ago. So I went back and I stayed in this inexpensive hotel and it was just a little rinky dink hotel. And there was a, like a, I don't know, something metal outside of, in the parking lot and got a lightning struck hit. I was watching the news and on the TV because that's how we had to do it. And that thing was so flipping loud. Like you said, it was just like, just like a cannon had gone off yeah, right outside totally. the window. And I was flipping terrified. I didn't know what to do. I'm like, what do you do? Do you get under the bed? Do you get in the door frame? <laughs> I had no clue because I was there by myself and I didn't really have a cell phone or anything like that. And I, I can't remember. I think I got a hold of the front desk and I'm like, well, what do, what do, what do I do? And they're like, well, it's just lightning. And I'm like, yes, I know. Cause we don't really have it here. You know, we used oh, to wow. watch it when there'd be lightning, you could kind of watch it. And it was like a phenomenon. Oh my gosh, look right. at lightning. And my mom would be like, get away from the window. Get away from the window. What's wrong with you? You stupid kid, get away from the window. You, you but, see the um, it's not a big deal here. Now earthquakes, I can deal with lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clueless. Totally You're used to get a lot of it. We get a lot of it. We don't get it hardly at all, huh, Caspian? Well, I, I was really shocked when I moved to Chicago. Shocked. That was, uh, uh, yes, uh, yeah, I was that how severe uh, the storms coming in, you know, because, you know, we're, we're essentially just, the just south, just, just south, southwest of here is basically Tornado Alley. And, and, but the storms would come, uh, no, because actually they're not coming off the lake because they're coming from the west. But the, the, you know, I mean, Toronto climate is very, very similar, almost exactly the same as Chicago, but the storms here just seem to be a little bit more severe, you know, the, 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 the lightning and, you know, and also you get, pre they, and the, the business about lightning not striking twice, the thing, you can just stand at any time, just watch this, you know, the Sears Tower or the Wells Tower, whatever it is now, and just watch the lightning hitting that thing oh, all the time. When we went to yeah. St. Louis, no, were we in St. Louis? No, we were in Raleigh. Um, Faith and Romero took uh, Adrian and I up on a big uh, city, one of the skyscrapers. We were up there and we had dinner up on one of the outdoor patios and the storm came in. We we're in St. Louis, no, Raleigh, North Carolina. And you could see the lightning and thunder. It was terrible. It was really scary, but it was so exciting because we had a almost the whole full view of the city from the top of this building we around the other it's just a few months ago right yeah just you know when, when i was a, when it i was, was a really exciting but the other people you could tell their local residents because they weren't even paying any attention at all and i was just like wow look at that <gasps> wow and they're like mm -hmm. you know see my photo there yeah that was that was taken in 1986 i had just bought a brand new vehicle and me and my wife went to the top of a hill it's called great hill in weymouth and just to the left, it overlooks all of Boston, Boston Harbor. And I opened up my van sliding door. I had a cargo van. I opened up the sliding door, sat there in the pouring rain in a lightning storm with a camera on a tripod in the open position. Oh, great. And every great. time it would strike a lightning, I would, I would close the shutter and open up another one for the next one. That was the best shot I got. I got a few of them that are, that are a lot darker with just one bolt, but I like this one better. And you can see a car just happened to be pulling away at the right time. And his, his lights were all smeared across my, the bottom of the screen. So oh, that, was a, so that was a timed exposure. So Susan, there's, sorry for interrupting. Um, there's only one hey. team that um, is really struggling. Should I go back to that team and see how they're doing? Or should I? Well, like, how's everybody else done? Because we're done. We're just sharing stories. Yeah, people, most most of the teams are pretty much done. Okay, so just call them back. Leave it's this definitely... room. Leave this room. Go back to the main room and then hit call back at all teams. Okay. Close all rooms. Because the oh. some people struggle and that's just this, where you're going to be. Yeah, okay. All but right. This is your room, so you should leave this room last is what she's saying. Yeah, so leave this room. Go to the main room and call everybody back. Okay, go to the main room. Uh, what just is- Just leave room. Just 
because I have close all rooms. Okay, oh, but you don't want to close the rooms until you've left to this room. So go okay. leave okay. breakout so room. Leave room. Okay. Yeah. And then call everybody back. Leave breakout. Okay. Everybody's going to be experts on Zoom, I swear. I'll be able to say, what did you do during the pandemic? I made sure about 40 people know how to use Zoom really well. <laughs> yeah. That's my that's my superpower during this during this time. Yeah, well, in the meantime, they've gone and screwed us. Uh, you know, so you can't do that. Uh, you no longer can do the four, unlimited if you're just two people. Yeah, they catch out at four at forty minutes now. Well, then you, you just know. sign back in again if it's just a couple of people. It's no well, big deal. Yeah, but if I'm in the middle of a lesson and it's a, and it's an hour oh. lesson for me, then I got to go and I got to go reinvite them and it wastes wastes five minutes and stuff. You know, uh, apparently it was back at the beginning of May or something like that. It, it, they switched over. So, well, I pay about twelve dollars a month. Something. Yeah, I, it turns out I can get it for seven, I think for seven dollars a month uh, through uh, uh, an association, a musician's association. I got, but I but I but I'd rather not pay anything. <laughs> I know, that you know, well, either that or I can. All the time you didn't. Good job, yeah. team. Yeah. <laughs> they almost never portray it realistically with a, a, no. a delay. <laughs> Adrian and Karen, did, did, did we did did we just change the uh, the country? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> that was fun, Vincent. We don't know. It was? It was fun, was it yeah, okay? because what ended up happening is, well, I didn't, wasn't any help at all, but as usual, as per usual. But what was interesting was we were sharing stories about lightning strikes and, you know, our, our Ooh, relationship. Yeah. I think how, many times, how many times I've been hit by lightning, that kind of story. But it was, it was interesting hearing the story. Is, is it more than once? <laughs> I don't, I, more than once what? It that you were struck by lightning. lightning. Yeah, are there any non-zeros oh, in the group? Have I been? <laughs> you, ju no, you just said like, the, the number said, of times you were hit by lightning. struck by lightning, and it was like, yeah, by lightning. okay. Maybe somebody was uh, accidentally nudged by a boat that was named lightning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we or had a car a that's had a dog lightning. Named lightning on it. We used to have a dog named Blitz. We had a farmer that we picked up milk for that was hit by lightning and it changed it like reorganized the smell and he said like ladies perfume just was horrible but he liked the skunk smell oh i like skunk smell but that probably has to do with hey have i told you guys i've been hit by lightning multiple times i think i heard that oh what really what rob oh i, I said yeah you said that oh okay we were waiting for the details. <laughs> what? Is that a joke or true? What? Have you been hit by lightning multiple times? Who? Susan. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> it's a time travel joke. Not yet. Uh, and Susan, today's wordle happens to be associated with this word. Uh, no spoiler. Oh, brother. Um, oh, brother. Every day there's a word. The new word you guys are I, i'm so impressed that everybody's learning a five word five letter word uh, <laughs> every day. By, by the way, go play plus word on telegraph it's great uh, it, it's scrabble know. meets wordle with the, with the Trump on scrabble, telegraph it, you go to that place Tra telegraph seriously okay answers yeah answers come on vincent so, get us out of the yeah. telegraph try okay so the first one is b uh was Which is what? 25 miles away. 25, 25 miles away. 25 miles away. And I do apologize. I cannot find the source to that, but that's okay. That's okay. We accept your answer. B for our badger. Okay. Um number two is uh Venezuela. Oh. I'm glad that some people got that. My ancestors, I should have known that. <laughs> why why have they been were they hit by lightning? By blood. <laughs> have they been hit by lightning? Probably. Hey, Karen, you've been hit by lightning? So have I. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> times, obviously. I've been hit by lightning a bunch of times. So I've been told. 
I put it down explains a lot, there. Susan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, and I'm so glad that people got this. And this one is um, this one is it's around it's C three hundred million volts. Oh, and that's according to the National Weather Service. Oh, we only missed by zero. <laughs> <laughs> Just by a zero or two. 270 million isn't much. Yeah. Not amongst friends. Mm -hmm. Paste and um, shoot, what was that? C. So the answer is C. Sorry, for number four? Three. three. C, three. Oh, three, okay. Hmm. And I even have an explanation. According to the National Weather Service, single lightning flash is around 300 million volts and around 30,000 amps and could power a 100 watt light bulb for over three months. It, uh, it could also destroy a full-size tree in your yard and at the same time take out your PC and router, which happened to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I had a lightning strike I hit a, a TV antenna and it took out quite a bit of electronics in my house, Rob. But hey, and of course it happened, like it happened, happened to me in the middle house. of the night. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No. It's fun getting woken up at three in the morning with a tremendous bang. Yeah, first we oh, had hey, the hey, 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 come on now. There are kids watching. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't oh sound like a problem. Leave that right there. Point? I don't yeah, understand oh, how no. the electronics got broken, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, there was a lot of wrestling. And then this happens, Ben. You see what happens? Oh, I know. <laughs> so the answer to four is uh, B. A quarter. B. A quarter. Is a quarter, yeah. Ah, oh, boo hiss. So, oh, team, this is turning out to be our new lighthouses. Yeah. No, it isn't. Oh, jeez. No, <laughs> Maybe for you. Yeah. The rest of us did fabulous. Shocking. Not my team, but. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was wondering what team you were on. <laughs> it wasn't ours. Yeah. It was us. <laughs> I, I know, that sounds, but I'm not the way she's talking. So. Um, I should have been more uh, specific on number five, but we assume the surface. Uh, yes, and that's what, and that's what they, that's what I read too. So, how many times hotter than the sun is oh, a lightning gosh. strike? It's actually five times hotter than the sun. Nice. Yeah. So we knew. <laughs> what? As though we knew, oh, I yeah. like, oh yes, we assumed it was a surface, so we got the answer right. It was just a guess. Uh, yeah, and uh, oh, geez, no, but I gotta, I gotta change that. Sorry. What? Five. <laughs> Six. Lightning is actually, uh, lightning actually causes nitrogen in the air to combine with other elements forming nitrates. If you looked at nitrates, I guess nitrogen would have, I don't know, I think there was a hit there. We got uh, one team, we got I one. Saved, oh my that God, we got a point. Perfect, that ruined our perfect score. <laughs> wow, for everybody it seems. <laughs> Fertilizing the soil and making it more suitable for crops. So it was six was uh, nitrogen. So uh, nitrogen, which is really neat. I didn't know. I blew my mind when I first read that. Blew your mind. Yeah. But at my age, a lot of stuff blows my mind. So, 
Mm-hmm. Hey, did I ever tell you I was hit by lightning? <laughs> Several <laughs> times recently. Apparently. Really? Uh, looking at but Susan's it, did, Sarah, it totally did didn't affect your memory, memory, right? Uh, yeah, she, was hit, she was hit what? by lightning. <laughs> lightning. What was that? A lot of things that would never Oh, did I did I spell that wrong? Now that one you got right. Okay. Um seven. Seven. It's seven that I, okay, seven. It was rotten. So they discovered it in 2001. It again in 2002. Lightning actually has x-rays in it. Yay! Yeah. Thank right. you. Yes, we got that one. Good, Good to get us back to normal. That was that was amazing. I just was amazed. Uh, paste and I didn't do that right, did I? Seven. And I actually put a very long explanation on there as well. So there it is. And uh, antimatter as well, gamma rays and even antimatter. So all enlightening. Antimacassar. It was quite enlightening. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, so. good morning, George. Hi, George. Where's George? George. Hi, George. 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 Chew on your foot. Oh, fill in the blank. <laughs> lightning is <laughs> lightning is more powerful in rural areas. Yay. Or no. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, it's less powerful in okay. rural areas. Take out. So B. Yes, that Why? Would be. B? B. It's because of our pollution, and especially if you have nuclear power, nuclear power really makes uh, lightning. Well, more nuclear dense. power isn't in cities. They don't put nuclear power okay, plants so in those it's cities. B. So and number eight is B. Vincent, yeah. the heat output. That's not a moray. <laughs> what? That's not a moray. Get it? Uh, the electric eel. That was Karen. Oh. Yeah. Two more. I still don't get it. Okay, eight. It's one of those things that comes. I haven't gotten any of them, so. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was actually Abby um, that did that question there. So. I don't know the kid. <laughs> At the moment, I wish I didn't. <laughs> so it's less, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Not buying it. Um. I want to see a citation. I'm skeptical. Oh. Um. Nine. 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 Number nine. Number nine. Number Everyone nine. should have gotten this one. This one was an easy one. Which and season of the year in the U.S. does lightning most occur? It's uh, summertime. What? Summertime. But not in Oregon. In yeah. Oregon, it occurs in the wind. This was my problem with that question. Uh, the whole U.S. has many different. Uh, okay, Rob, climates. we got it right. I bet. I bet that's. Avi, thank you, Avi. I'm not blaming Vincent. No, no. no. The average no, that was, over that was all of my the question. Yeah. 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 Avi <sighs> just said, "Yeah, it was a great question." So. Yeah, I want to point out. Abby's screwing Rob, with us because he can't play. I want to point out that Rob is still complaining, and we and I'm on his team, and we got the answer correct. <laughs> <laughs> more about the truth than getting the answer right. That's the thing. It's about the principle it, of the Karen. Correct. It's Thank it's you. the journey, not the destination. And Thank you. The ten. It's, it's ten. A, it's the trip, not the ten. 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 I have to get up in a few Thunder minutes. Hurry it up. Number ten is. Ten. It was uh, Garth Brooks. Good guess. Other than the first name and last name, Amy we got it. Said it was Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Last week. I thought that's what she said. She knows that, all the, she does all our questions. The Garth Brooks song, but it's not about storms. It's about um, yeah, it's metaphorical thunder and a, 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 a cheated on woman's mind. That's correct. Yeah. But yeah. it does happen in a storm because the husband comes home after cheating in a thunderstorm. So yes. Uh, yeah. What? 
That's what the song is about. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, he was cheating in a thunderstorm when he comes home in a thunderstorm. It's a special kind of kink. Was he hit by lightning? Oh, <laughs> Can we do the scars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 woke yes, up yes. by a bang. <laughs> Let's get to the scores. I went to sleep an hour ago. <laughs> we need some lightning to lighten you up. All right, let's see how everybody did. Team with a couple of bird brains. Eight. Ooh. Eight. Oh, wow. Wow. Eight. Oh, oh wow. they're in the lead now. So next, we are requesting preemptive pardons for a score tonight. This is the team Vince that was on. Or Vincent, oh, what'd you do to your team? I don't know. Same thing sure. Does. Better than that. sure, why not? Five. Okie dokie. And let's go to Susan. We just want to find 17,780 points more than Carl. <laughs> well, we got two. <laughs> oh. Oh. Team Ron, Rob was on. No, oh, oh, here's the team. It's okay, you're gonna find us the points. So. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't okay, matter. Let's get the gun, gun group. What'd you get? Uh, five. Mm -hmm. You are in the lead, uh, and you are, you are, and you are in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Good category. I still liked it because it was different. Thank you very much. It was enlightening. It was very enlightening, and I love the stories that we, we were telling each Definitely, other. Definitely, I I'm glad I I'm glad I did it. I had a tough time with finding something, and it was like, well, where where I'm living right now, there's a lot of thunderstorms, but yep. We don't have a mirror. So. <laughs> Good job, we Michael. Oh, you're right. today. We had two today. Oh, we have two a year. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah. Right, my, my turn. I have to storm out of here. So bye, Ron. Uh, <laughs> see you guys. In Take a, a week. light. Bye, Ron. Thanks, Ron. Bye. 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 Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good job, guys. Thank you all for your support. The ones. Thank that you, Vincent. Me. Thank <laughs> you. Good category, Vincent. Thank I enjoyed Vincent. it. Yeah, I, I, learned, I, I enjoyed the stories. I learned something. I did learn yeah. too. I had. I, I thought learned. lightning was big holes. In the, okay. Anyway, Mike. Yeah. yeah. All right. Everyone ready for another Mike. Three K. Okay. This is not going to be a secret uh, category. Hold on. Share. There is today's category. Ooh. Yay. Yeah. Oh no. Nice okay. graphics. Nice graphics. Graphic designers, not yeah. one of them, I'm guessing. Somebody pays attention to that. <laughs> might be. It might be. Um. <laughs> That is, somebody would have paid extra for that kind of thing. I mean, somebody probably yeah. would pay top dollar for a graphic like that. Look at that this font. Kind of oh my gosh. It's not Hold even on. Comic yeah. Sans. That's no. like that's like torn jeans. Pre-torn pre right. pre jeans. On one and okay. Serif. So my first job in high school was... Whoops. You've been muted. We didn't is hear that you? No way. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Can't hear you. You're Mike, muted, Mike. 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 We're not hearing you. You haven't muted. heard anything. All right. Unmute yourself, Mike. Start over. I was I thought I did, but okay. So that is that is the uniform that I had when I worked as a high school student in McDonald's. The first question, according to Reader's Digest, what is unique about the McDonald's in Sedona, Arizona? <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on a second. Where, oh, I'm gonna see Mike, that. the question is, is that you? That is not me. Okay. But that is the uniform that I had, the lime green uh, uniform there. So this is this what we're looking at, the uniform? It's just, it's just, it's just to illustrate, um, just what is unique about the McDonald's. There's a McDonald's in Sedona, Arizona, that is unique in a certain way, according to this article from Reader's Digest. What is, what is unique about that McDonald's? Okay, but it has nothing to do with that color. Yeah, the picture is just there will be a picture of microprint. That was a place I worked right after college, little desktop publishing print shop. I first learned to use the application Quark Express, which was kind of like InDesign or PageMaker, a page layout program. 
when you're using Quark Express, you could type, uh, sh I think, Shift Command K to delete a box on a page. But what would happen if you click if you typed Command Alt Shift K in Quark Express? You would end it, up with graphics like lightning? your title page. <laughs> would you get lightning? <laughs> It says, if anyone used Quark Express years ago, you would you might know this. If not, I don't know. You might not know it. Okay, my third my job after that, I moved to California for a year, and I worked with a group called Cartoonists Across America, with a gentleman named Phil Ye. He was a cartoonist. He was. Is that uh, you in the middle? <laughs> that is not me in the middle. That is me over on my right. Where it says more in purple. Phil was a cartoonist and uh, he had his own little magazine that he published. He at one point interviewed a man named Wallace Amos Jr. Um, who told him about the literacy problem in America and he devoted basically up till now, he travels around painting murals similar to the one behind us. The, what, this mural is on the original uh, McDonald's location in uh, California, but he drive, painted, paints all kinds of murals promoting literacy. And I worked with him for a short time while I lived in California. Um, like I said, his, his mission was inspired by Wallace Amos Jr. Um, the trivia question is, what is that man known for, Wallace Amos Jr.? OK, the next job was a local newspaper in Long Beach, California called the Grunion Gazette. I was, in fact, the graphic designer. I laid out uh, little ads with uh, my little tiny Macintosh computer. This was the late 80s. Um, the Grunion Gazette, it's uh, a little newspaper, Long Beach, California. And let me paste and click this here. Why was a local paper in Long Beach, California called the Grunion Gazette? What was the meaning of this term Grunion? And specifically why Long Beach? Why, why did they call it the Grunion Gazette there? Then I moved back to Boston, where I'd gone to college. And I worked for a company called Ligature. We uh, developed, uh, we were sort of an outsourcing company for textbook makers. We uh, did social studies, among other things, textbooks for uh, Houghton Mifflin. This, I think, was one of the books that we did. Um, here's an easy one. What is a ligature? Specifically, as, as, as specifically related to publishing and printing. Then I uh, moved to New York. And I worked for uh, the Condé Nast magazines. Condé Nast they publish Vanity Fair, um, The New Yorker, Vogue, GQ. One of the people I worked for was Vogue magazine publisher Ron Galati. He is better known, or he is the inspiration for a TV character. Um, what TV character is Ron Galati the inspiration for? And then after Vanity Fair, actually Ron Galati left Vogue magazine along with magazine uh, editor Tina Brown to start Talk Magazine, which was uh, published, which worked, we worked for, that was, um, what's his face? The horrible person, uh, Harvey Weinstein started this magazine that I worked for. Um, but we had a lot of really interesting people working there, including a, an art director named Oliviero Toscani, who's also known as a photographer. Um, he was, Oliviero Toscani was best known as the art director for a uh, clothing company that was known for its controversial advertisements that he uh, did photos for. So what clothing company did art director Oliviero Toscani create controversial ads for, including one with a dying AIDS patient and one with a priest and nun kissing. Ooh. After that, I continued in the magazine and worked for Sports Illustrated magazine. And Sports Illustrated, and we were in as part of the Time uh, 
Time Inc. back when that was a magazine company. Um, for most of my career at uh, Sports Illustrated and Time Inc., we worked in the Time Life magazine. During that time, I was I enjoyed watching a particular TV show that was actually set for part of its run in uh, that very same Time Life building. Uh, so what uh, TV show was set in the Time Life building, at least for part of its run? After uh, Time Inc. Sort of, I got laid off from there, I went to work for Thomson Reuters, the news agency, which was, my original version of the question was going to say, the Thomson Company, well, anyway, anyway it was Thomson bought Reuters, but Reuters was a longtime news agency from from England, even though the Thompson Company and now the Thompson Reuters is based in Canada. Um, but the Reuters news agency in England was the first uh, European news agency to cover a particular. Uh, oh, did I die? I think, oh, let me do the rest of it. Report. They were the they they on their web page. They are proud that they were the first uh, news agency at some point in the 1860s to report the death of a particular world leader. Well, I would have never guessed that would be the end of that. <laughs> which which world leader? I'm looking for the name of that world leader. Okay. Okay. After and again during COVID, laid off from time. We're getting close to my current job. I am working. At ABC News. Now, and so ABC News has a lot of people you're familiar with. Which of their anchors, also the founder of a popular current daytime show, was born the same year as Anne Frank and Martin Luther King Jr.? And now, as a bonus, I also do volunteer work. For the past 20 or so years, I've been volunteering at the Brooklyn Superhero Supply Company, um, which is, um, it's a it's a reading and uh, they do workshops to help kids with their after school tutoring and writing workshops. They are part of a larger national group. What is that group? Um, the New York uh, National nonprofit organization dedicated to helping skills students improve their expository and creative writing skills. And that is MWCV, my uh, jobs I've worked at. I'm gonna stop sharing that picture. Um, okay, that's it, that's the questions. That's 10 questions and a bonus. Oh, wow. Well, we, we know you well now. We will know you like the Colbert challenge. Has you guys seen that? No? Oh yeah, yeah. Colbert questions. Oh, look at all these unassigned people. All right, hold on. Let me get to you guys. Adrian. Am I going to get uh, privileges to jump around? You have them now. Okay, good. I'm on it. What do you think? This is my third year. <laughs> Bob is four. No, Bob's five, right? Yeah. Karen, you are four. I'm with Adrian and Rob. I think I've got you right now. And my, oh, no, Mike and Larry. Come on, these are all easy questions. Huge portion of it. Okie dokie, artichokes. So okay. I'm just going to sit back Susan's and let you Susan's got all of these, these, right? You got all of these, Susan? No, oh, no, I thought you guys had them. Okay, <laughs> easy. Number one, let me pull it up here. Okay, so um, for number one, what is unique about the McDonald's in Sedona? Does anybody know the answer? I don't know the answer oh, to no, any no. of these. What I was thinking this, this is, is going to be my, light, my lighthouse. Is, uh, in Sedona, you know, everything's kind of red rock. So I wonder if they're red arches. Mm, I like that. Sure, why not? Well, Sedona <laughs> has the ley lines. We can't hear right? Adrian. And that's where all the ley lines probably connect in Sedona and McDonald's. The and what? that's where people the have what? the extra power. Is, this, is, this, is it? Is this something from your lightning strike? You're mumbling about ley lines. Ley lines. Ley lines. Yeah, ley lines. Sedona is known yeah. for its ley lines. I don't know what it's... that means. And crystals. They could be giving away crystals. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> ley lines. L-A-Y lines. Yeah. You don't know what ley lines are. Okay. So so what, in light of the ley lines, what might number one be? 
I, th I like the red arches idea. Yeah, that's good. I mean, just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a guest here anyway. Hey, okay. anybody know about this quark press thing? No, he said, no. he said, no, but he, he, he essentially said that uh, uh, with one of these missing uh, items. Hello, guys. Don't make me be the guy who kills his own. Now, teeth. look at, he said, Carl already he did. Has, we we not might get one. Question, <laughs> but what he said is that without it, it deletes a box. So is it possible that with this, it adds deletes a box? A deletes a page? No, he said it It deletes a box. So is it possible? Well, that a box would it just be... Uh, I'm going to go visit another group. So is it possible? We think the first one has to do with ley lines in Sedona. <laughs> I, I, I was going to... Something more. The question about Thomson Reuters was going to be, what country is Thomson Reuters in, which you Canadians should know is not because they're based in Canada. I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> well, I don't even know what question that is. What, oh, it's number nine. Thompson's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go wait, go wait later. Mike. Go go well, go watch another group. Thanks yeah. for coming to see us, Mike. <laughs> so the yeah. that command that's obviously an Apple thing, command alt shift K. Okay. Why? So how about it adds a K? Why wait, why is it an Apple thing? Well it's command. Usually if it has a K command. on it. No. That means that it has something to do with the K, right? Like like some word that starts with K, like... Adrian, do you have a Mac? No? No, but I've used them when I do yeah, my presentations means... in elementary school. So I'm yes, just trying to remember Mac. what a K normally does. Rob, do you, do you know enough about Mac? No, I used to have a Mac, but I never used Quark. So it could be any freaking thing in the world. That's why this question... How about it brings on lightning? You, unless you know this, you're not going to get it. So yeah. Well, no idea. he gave on oh. said... He said, it's not written in the question, but he said, if you do several of these things, it deletes a box. It's a box, yes. So what about if this is a box? A box. Okay, what I'm great box? with that. That right. or I, I agree. Or, right. revert, I, or it's like, it's control Z, you know, undo. Uh, I would think that would just be command. Well, that I don't like know, we don't say Z here. No, this, is a, this is old stuff though, right? So, okay. Does I got anybody box. know the answer to this number three? What Wallace? No, I don't even know who he is. Never he is him. known for being the son of Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Wallace really? Amos there you go. Senior. That's what he's known for. So, right? Right? That yeah. is what he is known yeah. for. Literally, because yeah. that is his name. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, we I am right. So I told you I've been struck by lightning. <laughs> So one of the things I noticed in the mural, he yeah. said the mural was painted on the side of a McDonald's, right? Well, I found it curious that was there was an Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile in the drawing. Why would there be a painting of a Wiener Mobile on the McDonald's? So maybe he's the founder of Oscar Mayer Wieners. Maybe he's blind. <laughs> And that's what's so amazing about him is that he can do, paint murals without being able to see. Let's do the Oscar Mayer Wieners thing. I think my that's God. good. Oh my God. Now oh my God. God. Hey, okay. you could have been a biplane that, that almost crashed. Okay. okay now Oscar Mayer Wiener. He now drove, now him, maybe, he drove him, maybe he drove it. The Wiener Mobile. Somebody. Now, number four, I don't know why they called the paper that, but they do have. The fish, it's a grunion. I don't know if it's spelled that way. And they have grunion runs. And it is long. All right. So it's named after the local named fish. Named after fish. Good. Well but done, there's, Sharon. the grunions are all over. I mean, they're down in Baja and all over. Oh, but I don't know. They like grunions. And I have no idea. I've never heard of a grunion before. So we'll say named after fish. I'm glad you know what it is because I don't know what a grunion yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. My brother lived in Long Beach for like 40, mm. 35 years. But I don't know if grunion is spelled like that. That's okay. Well, is it doesn't it's matter. We got nothing else. We're gonna, yeah, we've got nothing otherwise. What I mean, is a ligature? It. What is a ligature? No idea. That's in your leg, isn't it? Isn't it? A ligature. <laughs> no, that's a ligament. A ligature oh. is usually what you would like. Is that something you would tie around your? Is that what? It's something to tie. It's tied on like What's a rope. Thing? Um, is it related to publishing and printing? So, so that, could it be something like in a book bind? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like maybe the how it binds, you know, this how they used to bind books, sew it up. Maybe that was the 
the string the spine, around. The, the spine of a book? S ligature would be this, the, the, the stiff thing they put in the spine. Yeah. I'm guessing. It holds the pages together. How's I have that? no so idea. Okay. Okay, there's something. That sounds like a ligature because it sounds like the thing that's in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Ligament. <laughs> oh. Vogue magazine. <laughs> what TV character? Uh, let's see. Um, a TV so character. Would somebody who would be a magazine publisher in a show? Who? Right, what shows would have a magazine publisher? Okay, the so character? the publisher Ron Ugly Betty was the inspiration for what TV character? Okay. How about uh, the Pragda woman? That's not a TV show though. What about, does Ugly Betty, is, who, did the person, was there another character that she worked for? In yeah, Ugly there was a man who was uh, was the publisher. Oh, I uh, know, Buffy. Buffy the vampire? Buffy the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, so the Ugly Betty's boss? Yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't remember his name. All right, put Ugly Betty's boss. That would be good. <laughs> Okay, number seven. <laughs> the only show I could think of that was about be publishing. Watch. <laughs> what clothing company did art director Olive, uh, Olivier, Olivero Toscani create controversy ads for, including one with a dying AIDS patient and one with a priest a nun and kiss. nun kissing? Nike? <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. Hey. <laughs> Gerber, Gerber baby hey, hey, food. Hey, nun, just do it. Do it. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh yes, that's it. Oh uh, uh, yes. Uh -huh. Calvin <laughs> Klein or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's, that's. Oh, I thought that, it was that. Uh, that was wasn't favorite. it that one that had like? Uh, no, 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 no. You know which one I'm talking about? The one that had serial oh. killers. Remember? Was it Hollister or? It was the one that used those kids that looked like they were emaciated and like 12, but they was were like, Calvin, oh. I think Calvin Klein, was it not? No, I thought it, I thought it was, um, Hollister. Or was that no. jeans? Was that jeans? It was, it was like a company like Hollister, but it wasn't called Hollister, but it was like that. Abercrombie and Fitch. And Fitch. That's it. All right. Oh, I can't believe I got one right. Thank <laughs> you. Well, well, that's right. They did. They used serial killers. Do you remember that? No, I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. What TV let's show put, was put set there. in the Time Life building? Uh, uh, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, was it? Was I it? don't know that. I just came up with it. Uh, <laughs> but didn't that sound right? It's the Time sure. Life building in Minnesota. I don't know, but Mary Tyler Moore was filmed in Minnesota, right? Okay, but we're... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Time Life... There's Times Square in New York. Is the Time Life building in New York? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What TV show was set in the Time Life building? Are Doesn't we that feel like it would be Mary or, Tyler Moore? Or could be Le Vernon Shirley? No, it feels like Mary Tyler no, Moore. I don't think Le Vernon Shirley. Shirley was in the Time Life building. <laughs> in Milwaukee. Yeah, they were in a brewery. Brewery in Milwaukee. Hops and Beverage Incorporated. Doesn't it sound awesome like bird, something yeah. would be filmed in a, or WKRP in Cincinnati? Oh, that could be. No, Ooh. that sounds like it's that was probably filmed in a studio. But Mary Tyler Moore. Mm. No, no, no. It, it, the set, not not really in. What about yeah, Mary Tyler I'm, Moore? I'm was about, I'm they glowing. were publishing. They were publishing, right? Is that true? Yeah. Is that, oh, true? Is that, really is that a radio? There. I don't remember now. They I were a just, news. Just, Mary Tyler Moore, I thought was a news. Company. All right, so, so yeah, that might be great. that might be correct then. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Mary Tyler Your first instinct. Yeah. All right, number all right. Five. So the death of a noted world leader. Okay, number nine. Um, uh, Reuters. How about Lincoln? Eighteen sixties yeah. makes 60s. sense. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. That or or Gandhi. No, no, what do you mean? No, it's Gandhi was in the 1900s. Napoleon. Okay, now we <laughs> can figure number 10 out because MLK was born in 29 or 30. He died when he was 39, so he was born in like 29. Wow, so he was 20, 39? 
So let's, no, he was 39 when he, yeah, when he was killed. Wow, we've all outlived Martin Luther King. So do the math and then we'll figure out who this person is on ABC News. There is an ABC News anchor that was born the same time as Martin Luther King. Wow. 1929. Somebody calculate that. I don't know any in ABC 90? News anchors. We're <laughs> talking. We're talking. So I have no help. Is that 97 years old? Oh, wow. He might not be alive right now. He might be dead now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Who, uh, Still alive? You name some ABC anchors. But, but the really weird thing is, is a popular current daytime show. So that means the show has survived. Oh, the show has that was. Is What about like Meet the Press? Oh, that's yeah, good. Is that like ABC? That. Daytime. Um, a time show, right? No, so. I think George Stephanopoulos is okay. He's not. not it wouldn't have been. Um, oh, no, oh, who is oh, the beloved oh, news anchor? Bob Barker. Who? Bob Barker. He wasn't a news anchor. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a popular current daytime show. Barbara and he Walters. Is old as heck. Yes, is Barbara is Walters. Him? Yay, Barbara Walters. I, I like it. Baba like Waba. Barbara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What action? Boris is here a show Frank. about four women and showing their views. <laughs> what would happen if we shared our views? What accent was that? Where was she Barbara from? Barbara. It was Barbara. Accent. She had a bit of a, a what is it called? A roticism or whatever. It's a little speech. Oh, Adrian, yeah. I've been watching this hearing, and there is a guy who is our. Wait, wait, wait. We got another question, Susan. Oh, but this is important. <laughs> Guys, you gotta watch him. We're in the lead. We want to keep the lead. He's so interesting to watch his face. Ah. He's like this. We don't have we don't have an answer for number three. And we so the thing look. about Barbara Walters is he was one of our the parody of her voice is almost like Julia yeah. Child. The the parody has become more associated with her. She really speaks quite well. She yes. Does. All no, right. I don't know. All right. Come on. The students improving the expository and creative writing skills. What? 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 What Last organization? Last twenty years, I volunteered. The New York. Outlet. Who does that? What agency is that? Which I don't know. Nationwide nonprofit dedicated to helping Sylvan Learning Center. Never heard of them. But it's not yeah. a volunteer. Is that a nonprofit. That's paid. That's paid. Oh. Uh, reading is fundamental. Ra uh -huh. Reading rainbow. Is reading is <laughs> fundamental an organization? I yeah. don't. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a fact. <laughs> well, it is. There's something called Reading Rainbow. I like right? Reading Rainbow. And, and Rainbow. Reading is Fundamental. That's, that's I've heard of that. Is the uh, Muppets or? Yeah. Or, uh, uh, what is it? And creative writing skills. It's nationwide non -profit. They have creative answers, Mike. I don't know if they're right, <laughs> but they're creative. And they're fun. Oh, Mike. And they we don't, they don't we all involve game. lightning. We were winning. <laughs> All no right, questions, questions about lightning, I don't think. Okay, Sylvan Nerd 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 Learning Centers are on the last one. nonprofit. So no, they're, they're not. They're, Read, they're like a reading rainbow. For the yeah, last 20 years of volunteering with the super. Yeah, we don't know this, Walter. Okay, de dedicated to most to junior nonprofit. Is it good oh, enough, Mike, to say? What about the literacy project? How about the YMCA? Of, of Walter Amos Sr. Huh? <laughs> Wow. Number three, being the son of Walter Amos Sr. Is that good? No, no he's not known for that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I still know. like our Oscar Mayer is, Wiener. No, no, number three. He's we also have the not, answer. It's Oscar it, Mayer Wiener. Okay. You know what he's known for? What's he's Oscar Mayer? Look, look, he's literally known it for. It had a Wiener Mobile on it. He's Why would it have a Wiener Mobile on, on, that the was, on the side of McDonald's? Mike, he's that known is, for being the son the of. That's questions. He's, he's the son of Wallace Amos Sr. We said that. He's literally known for he that. He won't give us that. That's in his name. He's Mike not known. Very difficult. He is known all over his <laughs> life. He's known for being the son. I don't think you're going to be able to argue this. Wallace, I miss <laughs> Jim Senior. Okay, is Wallace, there something Wallace. called the Literacy Project? Who drove oh, a wiener? I like that one. Who drove a wiener? Boat? Oh, God. I've done it. I've, I've killed my own team. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Way too much <laughs> to the, uh, to the yeah, you're going to get behind. Just, Susan said reading rainbow. Is it reading rainbow? Reading is yeah, 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 one that has, has Jordan show. LaForge. He's the one who does reading rainbow. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's a TV show, not a nonprofit. Yeah. 
he, do, he does the reading there because he's got those fancy eyeglass things. That's it's, it's all in there, little print. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike's like, I'm out of here. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, for which of the, okay, wait, wait. So what is the I question? really thought we had a shot. I have a one in a game in Frank and Forever. I thought we are had you a think, shot at it. Are you thinking right. other people know the answers to these questions? <laughs> It's not reading. Well, you know, Carl's writing. team is going to get most of them right. No. Yeah, he's not doing very well. <laughs> no, they're not going to do. No, they don't. Wait really. a minute, you guys. It's, it's not reading. reading. It's creative writing skills. Oh. oh. Okay, so back to the reader mobile. <laughs> <sighs> All right, creative writing skills. That would be what organization would be working with students so like a news agency right <sighs> or like um okay non -profit. name a nonprofit that non works with students to create their writing skills so like um <laughs> i like the literacy project because that would be including that wouldn't okay it? I That's never heard of funny. it. Fine, fine, fine. The literacy project. It's not funny. Okay, what do we have for our answers, people? I'm beginning to see why a lot of the times you go on a team and they get it. very low scores. Because you're going for the funny answer, Susan. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't want that answer. <laughs> so we have for the first one red arches. Yeah. Number two, adds a I box. still think lightning has something to do with it. Three Oscar Meyer weeders. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's because he's a junior. His no, father, we, his father I, drove. We said that mobile. though. He said, "Oh no, I've hurt my team." So I don't know. Anyway, I think it's as good as anything. Uh, he said it's the easiest question. Uh, well, I guess if you know who. What about Sedona? Amos. Is there a famous Amos? Is that? Is there a, like an ice cream or something like that? Famous oh, Amos? Cookies. 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 Yay. But, but wait, wasn't this like That's a publishing job? So like, what would be the connection? No, no, this was, to, he, it was a mural. He, it was a, they were, it was literacy murals, but, but the inspiration was this guy. Okay. Okay. So that's good. It's cookies. Uh, okay. Good job, Adrian. Where in the hell did you pull that out of? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, well, you don't know as i as i was reading it out well you know the wallace amos it just oh thank you know say now that? look if i what if is amos famous be, for yeah if he was trying to be nice he would have said that's right what is he famous for right that okay. yeah so number four uh i've got named after a fish but the, the i think the grunion run yeah yeah, yeah. oh the grunion run oh okay grunion run. fish run right like a grunion the grunion fish, the grunion fish the run. fish yeah okay so uh, what fish, else are we named after the Grenian fish run? Okay, or just Grenian fish? We'll set anything yeah. all around. Know what fish. we mean? Yeah. Number five, uh, we put it holds the pages together. So binding, you know, kind of. Oh, binding. There, that's a good word, right? Yeah. <laughs> Book binding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a thing. And then uh, we could number six, ugly Betty's boss. <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll come back to it, maybe. Okay. okay. Well, we're almost out of time. Number what seven, is... Abercrombie and Finch. Vogue magazine publisher. Eight, Mary Tyler Moore. Nine, Lincoln. Ten, Vogue. Barbara Walters. And bonus, the Literacy Project. Character. What okay. I think now we're number six. Right. How about one of the Seinfeld characters? Three. No. What? For what? For the no, they never worked work for Vogue. Magazine publisher. What? In the Time Life. Question building. six. Oh, wait. Six. If it isn't Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. Mike's back. Are you guys, are you, will any it? more time help you at all? No, no not at all. <laughs> yes. I think everyone else is done. We're, We're done. done. We're done. Did we go with Ray, Buffy? We are done. We're very are we done. Are we with Buffy? Mm -hmm. No, we put Ugly Betty's boss, but we'll talk <laughs> about it till we get dumped out of the room. I think, I think. I think we can come up with something better. I don't know who Ugly Betty is or her boss. She worked for a magazine. She, okay. I don't know if it was Vogue, but or how about or, Mary oh, Tyler yeah. Moore? If it was <laughs> it's uh, better than Ugly Betty. Ugly Betty's Betty boss. Was Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. How about how about, how about how about Lou Grant? How about Lou Grant? Lou Grant. Or so WKRP guy. Area. That was a newsroom. He was that was a newsroom. Yeah. Uh, well, does it have to be sad. a magazine publisher? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what did he say? I didn't hear him. 
You're making me sad. I don't think there's any of those, guys. <laughs> no, I, think right, I think you're right, Larry. I think you're right. It, it would be funnier if we had all the answers correct, but every time he popped in with this stupid thing. <laughs> I think that would be a lot funnier. Let's wait and maybe he'll come back. Well, you're a fun time. group anyway. This is yeah, all yeah. <laughs> Towards this time of the night, I get weird. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I think of another, you know. We're the only group not a back. A magazine that they were in charge of. Wait, 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 wait. in Seinfeld, uh, uh, Elaine worked for that guy. Oh, yes. No, that, that was guy? a catalog. It that was a magazine. Catalog. It was a catalog, right? The catalog. It was a catalog. Oh, come thing. on. It's got to be somebody famous. And remember, he'd always talk about his adventures. Yes, and... yes, exactly. I still think it's Buffy, but if you think so. So oh, he put, we we put Elaine's two? boss. <laughs> Did we answer number two? What was his name? I'm just trying to. Uh, to make a box, I think. Adds a box. I don't think so. Okay, what would you like instead, Larry? In 15 uh, seconds. Delete the page. Page? It what? Yes. Delete a page. The whole page? Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm there. I mean, delete a page? It's <laughs> on you, Larry, if you the... mess this up. That's what loving versus Virginia is. Oh, like uh, a funny sketch. Adrian, did we leave uh, the the unattractive Elizabeth answer? <laughs> <laughs> no, we changed it to, to the B word. Do you want me to put it back? Well, no, I, I'm just not clear if we change that or not. Yeah, I'm not we, we changed. Either, well, it's not any better though, so I don't think we're going to get credit either way. I think we made. I think we made Mike cry every time we <laughs> the room. We had a lot of fun though. We really had a lot of fun. That's, the fun, the funny thing is, Mike, Mike made us cry. Mike, we knew that we knew them all, but every time you popped in, we just pretended we were idiots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did right. too. Fun prank. You did such a such a knock up job on that title page too. Yeah, that's what we did. All right. So is everyone ready for for the answers? Oh, we know them. Oh, oh, yeah. Ready or not? We right, we'll we skip this. to the bonus round then. All right. <laughs> for everybody. Yes, everybody. All right. What did the the McDonald's in Sedona, Arizona, <laughs> looks like this? It's got teal arches because oh, of the. Oh, we had the right oh. idea. Are you accept oh. that they don't have any golden arches? No, They're not golden. Oh, wait a minute. He said it was ley lines. We wait, we wait. specifically said arches are not gold. So I think we're looking for the color teal. Wait, I'm oh, colorblind. Wow. He said red, red arches. Ooh. We said red arches. That's kind of yeah. Ooh. All right. Those I mean, aren't red. Those aren't red. Is teal red? No. <laughs> Uh, Bob is yeah, we have a colorblind it person around. Right we have it. discrimination. We need to have ADHD. Adrian or said it ADHD has red in it. Or something it, for, for yeah, but it is the a, only one without the golden arches. It's a word. Teal is a word. If you didn't pick the word teal. Or teal or blue or like doesn't green. No matter what it actually Oh, it's like. blue? Teal is blue? It's, it's a bluish green. Blue. You're, you're colorblind, Rob. You can't tell the difference between uh, like it's turquoise. based on the duck teal. So why 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 is it that color? Do you know, Mike? It's because they wanted to fit in with their aesthetic there, the Sedona aesthetic. Because you know you get those turquoise jewelry stuff there, and that's that's their yeah, color. It's turquoise scheme. colored. I, it with the rest of the buildings. What, it's uh, like in Carmel, California. There's a 76 station which normally has an orange and blue ball. And it's a different color in Carmel, California, because of their city ordinances for decor. So it's Carmel color, right? That's a color. Yeah. <laughs> Carmel, Carmel color, light brown. <laughs> Carmel color. I get to All right. it, maybe. The second one, I don't think anyone got, but here's. Um, we got it. Out. Or here's what happens if you type Shift Command uh, Command Alt Shift K in Quark Express. Look at it. Finger cramp. So you've drawn a box. I was like, I don't want that box there. You type shift command OK, and a little tiny alien guy comes out <laughs> and shoots it with a laser beam and deletes it. Oh, no, wow. Man. I didn't guess that. 
Nico, Nico. 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 page. Is that we were close? We so close, though. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So I said it got hit by lightning. I had a, we had a little <laughs> dog comes out and shoots it with a ray gun. Man, <laughs> so close! And a little alien shoots it with a laser gun made from the McDonald's arches. A teal. Darn it! Yeah. So there's a tears of it, and then <laughs> teal. Wallace is giving me that point. Was famous. I was gonna word it. What is Wally Amos famous for? But that would have been a total giveaway. Ah, Adrian did it. Yeah, because we were all get such high points, that would have been horrible. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, why was the local paper in Long Beach, California called the Grunion Gazette? Because the Grunion fish would Yay, throw Karen! themselves up on the beach Yay! and and for their mating ritual, and they had was called the Grunion Run. Yay! Awesome. We got it. But I That's thought they really man. ran. Are, are yeah. they good eating? Yeah, they taste good. Ew, that sounds disgusting. No, they're good. You, you would eat those? You smoke them? You put some flour on them. You can drink any one. You beach and you don't even People have to eat sardines eat. and they look the same. Yeah, they're like oh, little I bring families together for a living. Sorry, that was my YouTube was still on. <laughs> it's a little worried. Um, three. What's your... Okay. What's a ligature? Um... Oh. I forgot to type these all out ahead of time. Okay, a ligature is one of these things where two ah. letters are connected to make one character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have Good job, Kevin. A, spine, a spine for a book? <laughs> oh, it's tied together letters, like A-E. Tied together pages, was that? Was that what? Letters. A light letter. <laughs> That's what I heard, Adrian. That's what I heard. <laughs> Fine. It's also okay. like the strap they used to hold newspapers together. But yes. Ron Galati, when I was when I was working for Vogue magazine, at one point Ron Galati's assistant had me take a computer to set up at his apartment, which at the time we didn't have as many laptops. Then a few years uh, later, a couple that a few months later, his assistant called me up and said, "You can take the computer out of Ron's apartment because." His girlfriend at the time had been a writer and she needed a computer to work on. And then they broke up. So I went and took the, the writer was the lady who wrote uh, Sex in the City. Oh. And Ron Galati was Mr. Big. I oh. was gonna say Mr. Big. I don't know who he is, but that's who I thought it was gonna be. He owns the he owns the, the place I'm going to in New York City where that uh, what Yoko Ono is gonna be at. The cutting room. All right. Is that what Mr. Yeah. Big looks like right there? Yeah. Yeah. He, he was never body. mentioned, never named. Or He's shown. in trouble for something, though. He no, was, no. Yeah. They said his name eventually. But did they ever show his picture? I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah of course. He yeah, did it all the time. Almost got married. Oh, Ron Galati actually does not look look like that, but he is hella charismatic. I have never seen Sex in the City, but I do know what he's doing. Big a lot of the time. Next, have you seen Sex, sex the Outside the City? The city? Um, okay, what are we next to? What clothing company? Art director and photographer Oliviero Toscani was known for his Benetton ads. Oh, no, it was happened. supposed to be the other one. Damn. God, why did you get this right? It was Abercrombie and Finch. What? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down. Um, why can't we what TV anything? show was set in the Time Life building? Mad Men. Remember when? Uh, yeah. Oh, that was supposed to be Cooper, Mary Tyler Moore. The, and they actually specifically said, yeah, we're in the Time Life building now. Um, no. In fact, I think at one point, one of the characters was dating a, a, a time, time editor or something like that. Mm. What's the next question? According to W. Reuters was, according to Reuters was, they, they Lincoln shot. This is probably Yay, not. Yay, we got one. Yay, Lincoln was shot. <laughs> Lincoln's dead. <laughs> Too soon. I mean, he's been Too dead a while. That one. Lincoln. Are you related to him? <laughs> Too soon. That one. Are you related <laughs> to the guy? Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. And number ten. What ABC News anchor and founder of a popular current data? Wah 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 wah. Yay. Yay. 
Barbara Walla. Thank you. Barbara Walla, years. not Barbara Walters. They're going to the Bahamas next next week, which is going to be a bunch of extra work for us. Yay. All day, they've been looking at the emails about setting up stuff in the Bahamas. I'm sorry you for you, and I'm so excited. You're going to the Bahamas? The answer? No, the super fans, and they're going to have super fans there in the audience. Can you? Okay. And the uh, A2, the Superhero Supply 6 is part of A26 uh, National. If you've been to lot San Francisco, you may be familiar with the A26 Pirate Supply Store. Or in Los Angeles area, there is the uh, Time Travel Mart. Um, A26 National is what we're looking for there. Um, it's basically, it was founded by the writer David Eggers. Basically, it's weird shops that have workshops for writing and, and tutoring for kids in the back. Um, did anyone get that at all? Oh, we were so close. Oh. <laughs> we, 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 said eight eight five. we said 825. Eight <laughs> we had 825.99999. <laughs> oh, they got really close. close yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we didn't have the pirates. We television had television workshop. They, we they, had they Vikings. Oh, hey. of course. You so got a checkered answer. pass, I'll Mike. The, a very checkered pass. I'll put the uh, <laughs> the website if in case anyone is interested in the A two six National Org. Now, now we have enough information to steal Mike's identity. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the other one with his with his stuff in his, in his, his apartment. Yeah. yeah, you should have done one really good lie. And had us guess which one was the lie. I did consider that to have like as the bonus skill for the CIA, but <laughs> that would have been the bonus was which of these is not true. Uh, you can't mm -hmm. work I might do CIA. that one day. I have that category in the waiting. <laughs> well, everybody can do their their own jobs. Yeah. What they've done yeah. over the years, make a question for every job <laughs> and make one lie. But I haven't had that many. Identify which one's the lie. Okay, Mike. Here we go. I like these unusual categories, so you got to watch the video with our our character. And, and having had too Susan much fun. in your group when you're doing this, if you give a reasonable answer, she's no, it has to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a lot funny, of laughing. A lot funny laughing. before factual. That's right. Okay, That's priorities right. now. All right, so here's where we are at. We're getting really close to the end, you guys. We can do this. <laughs> and look at these scores average of 19.2 between these five teams that are so close together with three categories done so let's see what mike did to them especially to his I own totally team. killed my team i know it. i don't think it's quite lighthouses but let's Ooh, see i think it might i know be at least one team did fairly well on this so i can't we did pretty good even though there was a couple of questions that i think nobody got okay here we go so we're requesting preemptive pardons what did you score um eight. Whoa. 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 Oh, it's not possible. Did you cheat? They got pardoned this round. No. <laughs> did good. Eight. Yeah. How is that? That's well, not that and and right. if we and if we didn't need the word teal, we would have had a nine. Okay, wow. so let's see about the the well, eleven thousand seven hundred eighty points. Who did would you get? We have four. Okay. And I feel pretty good about that because it looked bad for a while. Yeah, four looks yeah. actually high, I think. <laughs> the team with a couple of bird brains. Seven. Seven. Ooh. Yeah. I'm right there. Something don't smell right. Sorry. There we go. Uh -uh. Okay, so sure. Why not? Ten. Oh, oh, definitely oh, wow. somebody's cheating. No. Somebody's cheating. No, I, no. How did you know teal? We didn't get ten. We got two. Oh, oh said, I don't know I'm messing with you guys. <laughs> but don't correct it. Leave it. Leave it the way it is. It. Like it. In, in binary, that's how you write to. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I have a shirt that says there are one zero uh, types of people: those who understand binary and those who don't. That's and it. I always oh, get all right. Up. So here's that's, the that's team. Here's my Mike's own team. How do we do? Four. Oh, I thought we got three. That's great. We double. Oh, we're tied. 
You guys are tied. Not updating. Look at that. Fix the 10. Yeah, yeah. Don't update it. Don't update it. Don't update it. We're not seeing it, Susan. We oh, probably did on, update guys. it. We can't see it. Here yes, I'm going down. Like... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oops. It's amazing. Yeah. It's still there. They should have yeah, fixed this like by we now. Still have our can you see it now? No. no. We see your mouse, but all I Yeah, your mouse is moving yeah, fine, here. but I got a yeah. mouse. Okay, How let me try this. Do that? I know it's so strange. Okay, here we go. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Bad. I don't it was like tied. It. So see, see. Ooh. Oh my gosh, we have a chance to win. It's tied and <laughs> oh my god, it's also in order. It's in it's it's in a pattern. 22. Oh. 26, 25, 26, Oof. 22, yellow, pink, yellow. Very close. Okay. <clears throat> no That's pressure weird. or anything. I no. feel pressure. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Last team. So let In me give 10 you lighthouses that were struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> and and which light like worked? In the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> In Newfoundland. Newfoundland. In all the, the, the 10 stages most famous <laughs> for showing Punch and Judy. That's right. <laughs> okay, Bob, no pressure. Yeah, hang on. I'm ready to write it down. What All is right, I'm going to, I'm going to um, read my explanation. I'm going to put it in the, uh, in the chat, put the chat because it has kind of hints and idea starters and you might make, be able to make an educated guess with the information just in this statement your, so your here stream seems to be unstable bob i don't know if anybody else is seeing it like that yeah, well, yeah just, we're having trouble getting audio from you bob yeah so drop your video if you don't need it yeah I, okay i will just a second I but gotta... the stars at night look at the stars in the sky no those are little lights yes. all right here we go I gotta go back to the thing. Hang on. I haven't heard this along. It's late. <clears throat> when I and I'm gonna put it in the chat. So if it's garbled, you can read it yourself. All right, when you, I first your radio's good now. Yep, you sound okay. good. Okay. When I first began to keep chickens, I noticed that many breeds were named after a place, usually the place where the breed originated. Uh -oh. Can you identify yeah. 10 breeds of poultry? chickens, ducks, geese, and turkeys, whose names are identified with a geographical location. <laughs> this, <A> turkey. <laughs> no, the answer is no. This could be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, do I need this to name point. it? Chicken shit. <laughs> okay. How about, just, does turkey I'm have turkey? Not in the, no, turkey doesn't count as for turkeys. Oh, damn. Okay. You have to have Did I mute everybody here? Okay. I want to see it in the chat. I want Gene on my team. <laughs> it, will, it will be in the chat. Am I muted now? Yeah. No, but I could okay. mute everybody if we need to. No, because we're going to go right to our rooms right now. Yeah. I have okay. my finger on the button. I'm waiting right. for him to put it in the chat. Then we can go. So Geographical is this called location. chicken names or what do we call it? Mute title? them. <laughs> And activate yourself. What are we calling this category? Chicken names? You're chicken, muted, Bob. Chicken nationality? Chicken? Bob, you need to unmute yourself because I shut everybody up. Chicken shit. <laughs> chicken. Country chicken. Chicken, chicken uh, nationality? Bob, are you gone? Chicken nuggets? No, no I had to. I was looking at a document and I oh. had to figure out. Huh. Okay. Uh, this could refer to a country, any subdivision of a country, state, province, prefecture, etc., a region, municipality, ge geographical feature, or historical site. Any term in the name of the breed that identifies the place qualifies. It could be corrupted, transliterated, badly translated, or a colloquial form of the name. A nickname which refers to a place is also a possibility. Hoosier equals Indiana. Only breeds recognized by the American Poultry Association qualify. There, there are hundreds of breeds all around the world, and we're just sticking with what the APA list. 
All right, I will put this in the chat. Hang on, I gotta get that back. Chat, hang on. Wait, where's that? Where did chat go? You might have to open it up again. That's how I mean hit the chat box and open it up again. Mine does it too. Floats all it over. Doesn't, it doesn't have oh chat. There, there's chat. Okay. A second. Clipboard. All right. There's that. All right. You should have it. Okay. So do we have a name of the category? It's uh where was the road located that the chicken crossed? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I just made that up. I like that. Clever. Yeah, it's geographical chickens, whatever. Okay, knock yourself out. <laughs> All right, good job. Let's go. I Well, they're still fresh on my mind. Yeah, but yeah, copy that thing and, and look so, at it. So, my, Bob, I got so it. We have to name oh. 10. How, how many are there? Oh, my list is 78. Okay. We won't use mano rules. Okay, I'll do it now. Um, okay, so 10 out of the 70. You can, if you can come up with something, you, I'll give you the point. Okay. Oh, I've got some unassigned people here, huh? Let's see. It's funny. It's almost always Adrian. I I guess it's yeah. your pen. Yeah. <laughs> and I Alan was the pine. beginning too. You're in three. Oh. Me, me. There you okay, go. Okay, I guess that's everybody. I'm going to five. <clears throat> you can stay. I can ask Susan, to be here. put me in the right group. Oh well, don't say anything, you guys. That's, I told them not to say anything while I was All here. All I said was, I'm so glad I'm on Janine's team. I know, I was just going to say, I, 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 you know, that's crazy. I don't know anything. But I, but I did ask my time? husband to come around the corner here. Just a second. I will get him. All I, I know is Rhode Island Red. 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 Oh, there we got a point. Rock. What was the Bart second one, Janine? Rock. I'm sorry. Bart I Rock. Maybe you should put it in the chat. She got to go get her husband. Something about rock. Plymouth Barn, rock. Plymouth rock. Yeah. Oh, there's a Cornish too. Cornish. Cornish. Yeah. Okay. okay. So there are chickens named Bob. There are chicken named Fred. What road did they cross? Main Street. Cornish. Cornish game hen. Just a minute. I'm getting John. And any ducks and turkeys. Okay. But we can't use turkey. Can we use geese? Do you think Canada geese would qualify? Yes. Well, I don't know. Let's go back and look at his yeah, we'll just read the thing. Is it yeah, maybe it has to be domesticated? It's... Well, that's what I'm wondering. Okay, Hi, John. let's see. Hi. Can you identify you have a seat? Um where breed originated. 10 breeds of poultry, chicken, ducks, geese, and turkeys whose names identify, and this could refer to, okay, that's fine. Um, but oh, Canadian goose that. isn't a breed. Well, it, and, geese, is on, geese is on the list. And he also, yeah, but. Hi, Trask. Uh, Canada geese is a breed. Well, let's see if we can come up with ten that are no, really good. We've got, we've got, right. we've got him. John right it's there. He can right. do this. I don't think it's a breed, and it wouldn't John. be. It wouldn't be. What did he say at the end that it had to be recognized by the Poultry Association, American Poultry, the Association. poultry Association? So what we're looking for are names of poultry, geese, ducks, chicken that have a place name in them. Like Long Island Red, right? Rhode, Rhode Island Red. Red. Rhode, Rhode Island Red. Red. Cornish Plymouth Game Rock. Hen. Cornish Game Him. Bard Plymouth Rock. Okay, John, you're, you get the next seven. <laughs> we came up with the first three. Anaconda. Is Anaconda 
a location. Anybody it's knows big. Anaconda, a it's, location? It's a town. Okay, that's a location. There's, there's a poultry called an Anaconda? Yeah. Okay, so the question is, does the, does the poultry whose names are identified with the geographical location? So would Anaconda be associated with the I wouldn't think place? So. Okay, name chicken chickens types. Start naming chicken ducks and geese. Do you, I don't even know ducks. <laughs> We're putting all the weight on it here. Uh, we came up thinking. with the first three. Okay. Keep, yeah, okay. keep thinking. Keep thinking. Keep thinking. Um, so, Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> I'm putting it down. There might be a place called Leghorn. He was a character. But the character is named after the breed. Foghorn? No, the Leghorn. Um, <laughs> You're funny. What kind of tur chickens are there? I think what turkeys. Kind? Are there turkeys? There are. Um, what about turkey? Oh, we always know. called ours Tom. Tom <laughs> Oh, Plymouth Rock. Plymouth oh, Bar Rock? Plymouth Rock. We already we did already have Plymouth that rock. rock. Yeah. Um, I can name places. <laughs> well, if we can't come up with anything else, Canadian goose is not. That's you know, Canada goose, not what Canadian. About? They're Canada goose, not Canadian. Canada goose. Uh, and wood ducks are what is woods a place? <laughs> How about a mallard? Is mallard a place? I'd be. I don't think so. Well, what is it named after? Somebody's last name? Mr. Mallard? I think it's kind of like dog. It's just what we call it. Mallard? No, yeah, no. it's a it's a it's a place, probably. Turkeys. What kind of turkeys are there? Thanksgiving. <laughs> What are the white, what are the white chickens that are the big layers? Laker. Laker, that's what I said. But I don't know that that's named after a place. But if it's not named after a place, it might be. The problem is I don't know the place. The problem I is, think is that Janine's on our and team and we're gonna, we're supposed to get a 10. <laughs> I know everybody wanted me on the team. Anybody, anybody that's stupid, scores more you know? than what kind of chickens uh, do you have, Janine? What are your chicken breeds? Why nats? Is why nat a place? Anaconda. Okay, why not? Um, um bug. I think anaconda might be. I'm gonna put anaconda place. and it's going on the list unless we come up with better ones. Same same right. as the why nat. Isn't that could be a place? Why why what? Why not? Why not? Wasn't it she said? Why not? W Y N E T T E. Oh, Sussex. Oh, that's a place in England. Now we got it. Why not? Sounds like there's a lot in, in Britain. Sussex. Is there a London chicken? Um, How about a Bristol? An Bristol? Italian chicken? You don't think Leghorn's a place. Okay, ducks. Boy, I don't know ducks. Muscovy. Is Muscovy a place? Muscovy. Oh, isn't that a place in Wisconsin? How do you spell Muscovy? <laughs> Is it Muscogee? Like we don't make, smoke marijuana in Muscogee or it's a different Muscogee? It's a different Muscovy. 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 I don't know how to spell it. Yeah. I'm just going to put M-I-S-C-O-B-I-E and it may or may not work. Oh, Scoby. Miss Scoby. Um, hmm. Let's see. Bristol. I like it. It sounds like a chicken to me. <laughs> I don't think. We have nine possibilities. How about Portsmouth? <clears throat> 
Sounds good. New York, Boston. Well, it sounds like they're all from England. So name no, those towns. Be some Italian chickens, or you know, no, no, I have, all British. I have Plymouth Rock. I have Rhode Island Reds. I have Anaconda Sussexes. I have uh, Wynettes. How about Silky? I have um, yeah, Cornish oh, Game. Yeah. Church. We've got Rhode Island um, Red, Cornish Game, Plymouth Rock, the Leghorn, the Muscogee, Sussex, Wynette, Anaconda, and if we need it, Canada Goose. <laughs> I'm not sure. Boy, Bob's not showing us even a, a smile. No, he's probably yeah, happy. Yeah, that we, we got some. Yeah. Is, um, there a is there a Mexican rooster or something? Oh, you've got Cornish kings. Cornish kings are they different than Cornish game hens? Well, Cornish game hen is a is a name for Cornish king. Okay. Okay. So put Cornish no. king and not Cornish oh. hen. No Cornish. Yeah. Um. Oh, what are the little little broody hens? You know what I'm trying to think of? We don't have them, but... You mean the bandies? The bandies. Are bandies... Is bandy a location? Sounds British. Silky? Is silky, silky a place? It sounds more descriptive than geographic. Yeah. Banty, would Banty be? Banty, Bantam, Banty. Banty is a group of chickens. Bantam. Bantam? I don't think there's a Bantam place that I know of, but you never know. What about um, the chickens they use for vaccines that have, that or there's a chicken vaccine out there that's, and they, they, use, they breed their own chickens in this one place that are. Yeah, from vaccine, from Paul Offit's book. Yeah, um, no idea what the chickens are called. But I know they exist. <laughs> a different kind of goose? What is Mother Goose? What kind of goose is that? <laughs> cartoon? She's from I Mother. don't know geese. She's a cartoon. I don't know geese. geese and turkeys. I think the Muscovy duck, we put that down. I think Muscovy. Yeah. Muscovy. Mus Oh, Muscovy. You meant Muscovy. Moscow. Oh, oh, that, yeah, that could That's be what it is. From. Okay. The Muscovy <laughs> duck. You can go. Yeah. Okay. He All right, John. Thank like you. Thank you. He's in a dream of ducks and chickens now. I think a dog. Right. He'll holler it to me if he okay. thinks of. Duck yeah, that's my dog. Duck. And what other kind of ducks? So they got teal ducks and Muscovy ducks and blah, 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 ducks. Mallards. I'm telling you, Mallard might be a place if we have room. One, two, the three. The great state of Mallard. Five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine. Oh, my, my legs, my two, my, my legs from last year, Miss Legs. I have two. One is black feathered leg and one is has very yellow legs from my six babies last year. Novagen was one, and that's from France. And um, you got a chicken. Langshan. Langshan. Is Langshan a, a place? It sounds like a Chinese place or something. Oh. Lang, Langshan? Yeah. How did it spell? Pheasant. What about the pheasants? What are the kinds of pheasants? Ringneck, ringneck isn't a place. Um, and then this year, uh, this year my babies are Wynettes. Tammy Wynette. And Astrolopes, Astrolopes. Is that named after a place? That sounds off. I like the Lang Shen though, but I'm I'm curious as to do I have it right? L A N G S H E N maybe? Uh S 
H. I wrote it S H A N. Langshan. Yeah. It sounds Chinese. Yeah. I don't know I like what it. kind it actually is. They're really cute because um, they have these little white buttons. They're Aww. really cute chips. <laughs> really, if really cute. Trask, you want to go for a walk? Come on, Trask. Let's go. Where's the ball? George. You're mean. <laughs> I know. George is so he's, asleep. He's, he's so, oh, and I got to remember to use, use Technu when I go to bed. He's a poison oak vector. Uh -huh. I think Astralorpus, Astralorp, which is this year's babies, are um might be a location name the one i'm trying to figure out if it's a location name is is um uh the leghorn did we put that down it's on the oh, list foghorn not foghorn susan <laughs> leghorn foghorn leghorn. leghorn i don't know where it would be he has a lighthouse and and we put anaconda. Anaconda. Okay. Corn, leg horn has Here's what we have. Lighthouse. Okay. Rhode Island Red, Cornish King or Game Hen, the Plymouth Rock, the Barred Plymouth Rock. We have Leghorn. We have a Muscovy Duck. We have a Sussex, a Wynats, an Anaconda, a Canada Goose, and a Langshan. And I'm taking Mallard off because we have the Langshan now. Okay, we got 10. We we got it. Do you it. think why nets? Do you think why nets is a place name? Well, it could be even just a play on the word, like he said. It's or it could be a village, a little village named yeah, after somebody, but also has a little why village. Nets, how are, how is that spelled? Why? Have Wyoming. I don't think it matters. And and it's probably not. I don't know. We just need a better place name. And I, I honestly don't think it's gonna be Mallard. No, I don't think it's going to be Ballard. Yeah. How about Moscow? We have Moscow already. How about yeah. Liechtenstein? It'd be nice to have a turkey if we could remember any of those turkeys. How about a I don't remember. Turkey. I remember some turkey stories. How about Romanian? Yeah. Red. A Romanian I'm... red. Wild turkeys. That's all I remember now. Yeah. Well, room um, one is all done. Oh, there's the Chinese, yeah. that Chinese golden pheasant. Is everybody but, done, Bob? Oh, a Chinese know. golden pheasant? No, just one, one room is gone back. I was just wondering. Room three uh, is I'll going let, back. One yeah, and three I'll are done. We're still, we're still generating ten. names. We're just talking ourselves out of the problem. The problem is we don't know if some of the chicken names are our place names. That's a problem we'll find for out. Us. We can name the chickens, but we That's, don't know if they came from someplace. Well, then it, if it's not on the list, it doesn't count. But if you well, know, you're having, well, you know, well, we, we have 10 possible answers. So anytime that you need to go back, let's I'm go sure. back. I don't, we got it. Uh, you we got it. Do you need the our team? We got it. Sure, uh, we do. Go, do I go to the main room and? Yeah, they uh, hit. Return or whatever. Hit Do you need next yeah, next time get a more a greater variety of chicken so we can really nail it next time. Well, I actually mm -hmm. I've been researching uh -huh. um the kinds that I have, you know, so that but the problem is for me that my chickens are bugs and book book and <laughs> And, and, and Miss fairy G, the very good and, governess, and Mrs. Right, P. I, you go to the leave room, oh, and then when you're in the main room, you better. close all rooms. And be sure not to leave, leave, leave the out. meeting. Leave the room only. Stay blue, not red. Leave break out. Well, historical sites. Um, yeah, that well, was like Plymouth Rock is a historical site. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, Foghorn Leghorn right. is known for its its. There's a the Great Battle of Leghorn. <laughs> the, the Civil War. They had a they fought over the Great Loghorn. <laughs> so, 
a piggy read the ones that you used because Aww. i had wynette leghorn astralorp langshan muscovy sussex anaconda um cornish game hen which is cornish king bard plymouth rock and rhode uh, rhode island red i didn't have astralorp i have no idea where that is if we put astralorp in i have to take something out Mollard. Which and I don't did I, really, not, I do not want to take out Canada goose because we know it's a place and we know it's a goose. Okay, but I, I'm fine. I'm not pretend. sure that Canada goose, you know, the thing about Canadian geese is that they aren't really. A well, the, the thing is, a, you're talking Canadian geese and I'm talking the Canada goose. I can't find it. I so it. It, okay, it so you go up. to uh, breakout rooms. Dusky geese, and it just gives me the yeah dusky room is, to go. Dusky. And at the corner of the I know, right, but dusky like close isn't all rooms named after a place. No, I can't say it again. Okay, so go to breakout rooms. Susan, why yeah. don't you just bring everybody back, and it doesn't matter. Because I want him to know. Oh, I see. You go to well, breakout rooms. Having, and you, there's okay. on the right hand side in the lower bottom, it says close all rooms. It's bright red. But don't well, on your computer, but on my phone, I don't know. Okay. All right. I'll go back. I can, and do, I don't I know. can do I don't it. Know. Want me to do it? No, because we have to leave the room before you. You can have to it. leave. The, you have to go to the main room first. Yeah, because yeah. if you do it from here, then it'll close quick. So I'll Trade Federation. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm going to do this next week with lobsters. <laughs> fuck, fuck you! <laughs> it's not. You can look it up. You there's a main lobster, and then there's you're a rock lobster. You're gonna make me crabby, and rock I'm gonna lobster. come. <laughs> rock lobster. There's okay, a rock lobster. lobster. It's not named after a place. Yeah, yeah it is a lot of it's harder. That's rock. It is one of the most awesome songs in the entire is world. Overrated. I mean, it is. It is Lob overrated. I don't like it. It's too, too expensive. It's too expensive. It doesn't taste as good. And you know, scallops are way better. Scallops. Yeah. Scallops. Uh, okay, you guys got me. Thank you guys. Of crab. And crab meat. Crab meat's better too. What are you doing? Yeah. I, I just, I find, I find love. Oh, no. What is that? Is that foghorn leg or it's too much work? <laughs> it is foghorn leg horn. Very good, Alan. I have to put my chicken. Why do you have a foghorn leg horn life size? <laughs> I don't know if I want to know. Don't ask questions you don't want. It's a answers. sex. It's a it's sex toy. Or a burden. Oh, no. Answers are a prison for one's This used to be. I declare. Me and Alan have a good time. That was his girlfriend in college. He used to be. Obviously, no, this is so obvious. He's got a room. giant sex toy. This was obvious. That was his room. girlfriend in college. A blow up chicken? I I, I declare now. <laughs> I declare. I I declare. I, 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 I do declare. Well, I we were we said that. Foghorn Leghorn has his own lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you Did have you that? A bunch of over to? I, this was a, this was an obvious room, and I and I, I couldn't 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 what? Why did he not buy his own plane ticket for Foghorn and put it in the plane with him? <laughs> he would have had avian flu season, it they're in. not letting them in because the avian flu outbreak. Oh, you have to quarantine for like a whole month. That's right. Yeah. He, uh, well, he couldn't take him to Hawaii. So why does he have it? It's a little kinky. <laughs> Alan? Well, he hasn't he hasn't had it in years. He, oh. it's, but I, I, I couldn't part with it, so I you know, we were going to I didn't want to give it away. <laughs> this, this thing is huge. This why? Is why does he have We're it? All back, Bob. I, I, hey, I'll say, I say that's very large. <laughs> it's one of those nanny cams. That's how big they had to make. I them think back Bob's back. trying to talk. <laughs> yeah, it's got a VHS inside of it. I sent the link. In oh the my chat. god! Yeah, the link doesn't work, Bob. You started oh, something. Let, uh -oh. We'll do our list and you say yes or no. Oh, no. my God. No, uh, that'll, that'll take, take too long. Really well. That'll take too long. Let me try. Let's put all 70 down. Yeah, it says we have to have access. Yeah, you might oh. have to let people that have. Or no give, us, give us the, uh, just go Cut to the paste. American Poultry Association. 
you guys. Uh, Somebody go there. I've, I've the tried ones, to do that, and there's no, no the actual ones you way. Have, yeah, you didn't get anything. There's there's 78 things, but from what I saw, you got the simple ones. I'll know whether I'll know whether you're you're right or wrong. That's okay. That's a, I don't know either link. We can do this. Okay. Okay, so yeah, one team at a time, but okay. we always do. And, you okay. them? and plus, it'll be a hoot to hear what some people came up with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 funny stuff. So, it's how do you want to do it, Bob? Do you want to read them off, or do you want me to have each team? No, have one there's, no, no. There's 78 things. It'll be quicker just to read the team, and and then the other teams will hear. There's there's duplication. Okay. So when I say yes to this or no to that then when I get to the next team, they'll only read what they don't know. Right. And we're doing, we're doing mono rules, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, Bob, Bob. Yes. So I'm going to have one team go. The person who's, okay. I'm going to have sure. Why not? One person from sure. Why not read off their, their um, chickens or ducks or whatever. And then you can tell, read them off slowly. Who's going to be the first? Line. Is it going to be fake or narrow? Line. Jeff or Gail or another guy. So it's probably who? It's me. Faith. Yeah. Okay, Jeff, slowly read off your list. No, it's Faith who's going yeah. to read them. She's the only oh. one with the list. Yeah. Okay. Well, then why did you say it's me? I said it's Faith. Oh, well, why? All right, let's get on with this. Susan, right, it's the Faith. lightning strikes. It does that to a lot of people. All right. <laughs> okay. Everybody read them off slowly and running. let Bob Everybody say, shut up. I will. I will. We have Canadian goose. Yes, Canada goose is a is. You should have to do this with an accent, Faith. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Rhode Island red. <laughs> yes. Carolina blue. No, that's not a thing. Americana. <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably misspelled, but I I will accept it. Okay. Oh, do, do, do um, what? What's that? Americana. Americana what? Chicken. American. Yeah, it's properly spelled A M A M E R A U C A N A, okay. which is the official breed. If you if you see Americana with an I, that's a fake. Uh, it's the same kind of thing, but it's not the recognized okay. breed. Fake one they sell I don't, knockoffs. I know Chinese what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, yeah. it's fall. heritage turkey. No. Okay. <laughs> The Indiana chicken. No. <laughs> Somebody got the, the San one. Diego that chicken. Come on. Hungarian chicken. Uh, now I might just a second. Let me. I might have checked that one. Hang on, real quick. <laughs> They're real mm -hmm. Polish. There's a Polish. The turkey, turkey. <laughs> I tried that. I don't have so. Hungarian. Is it good? Do you have the. Do you have the Mexican chicken? <laughs> do you have turkey, turkey jerky? Why do I get the Philly chicken? One oh team at gosh. a time, people. Insert country <laughs> name followed by Akana. Mexicana, <laughs> Canada, Canada, just, Canada Akana. Shut up. <laughs> Is there a Raleigh Akana? I'm going to take till two in the morning. Romero <laughs> Akana. Good faith. Come on, Matt. Faith Akana. You can do this. Stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> Romero, take over. Faith we have established that the Mexican <laughs> chicken does not exist. <laughs> yes. Not, not recognized by okay. me. Okay. The French crested chicken. The what? French crested chicken. Nada. <laughs> <laughs> No, stop it. No. Okay, and what about the Gettysburg? Tender <laughs> goose. No. <laughs> we ain't Tiffany. Give him 10 points for that, man. You have the address of that chicken on Gettysburg? <laughs> Ooh, too soon, too soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Was that, was that time you, you guys done? Remember? How many points does right. that team have? Three. <laughs> Three points. Three, Three points for sure. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to okay. go to the next team, which is going to be the team that I was on, and Janine and Peggy. 
and this was this was Bob's team. Okay, so that is Susan. We want to find eleven thousand seven hundred eighty points. So what do we have that was not on that list that Faith so eloquently cackled to us? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go or should I, Peggy? You do it, Danny. You're the chicken lady. Susan, I cluckled. Um, <laughs> Bard Plymouth Rock. Yeah. Any any Plymouth Rock, any color, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, Cornish King, Cornish Game Hen. Wait, right, anything wait, Cornish wait, wait, is wait. a whole is a whole thing. So anything with the word Cornish in the name. If you got Cornish, I'll take it. Okay. The way I have to go. You have to go back to the Plymouth one. We wrote Plymouth chicken. Is that okay? Well, we'll do it when we come around, Rob. No, we're supposed to. If, if someone said it, so we don't have to repeat it. Just was, is that what I heard? Did I hear no, Plymouth I, chicken? The blue name is the Plymouth Rock. We actually were the, joking the, about that. So yeah, you no. said no, it's a very it's a quintessentially American. I've hit, I've I have two of them right now. I, I used to have five. I have three. Yeah, no, it's a very ubiquitous chicken. They eat Mayflowers. <laughs> okay, well, who's uh, what's next? Okay, Anaconda. <laughs> okay. I, I'm gonna, I don't know how to, because it's my team. The The proper name is Ancona. A-N-C-O-N-A. Oh, I so, spelled it right. Maybe. I didn't pronounce. I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time. We spelled it right. We so got I it. What you were going for it's it's very badly misspelled, but I I, I think I'll leave it up to your discussion. Anna Conda is how you say it. Ann Kona. A-N-C-O-N-D-A. A-N-C-O-N-A. Oh, she had an extra D. Like the snake. That's the close. <laughs> I have a snake. We I'm got it, Janine. Sure. Go ahead. Give us okay. the rest. Sussex. Yeah, any kind of Sussex. Yeah. Okay. Muscovy. Muscovy yes. duck. Oh. Muscovy duck is oh. The only duck first to Moscow. It's the only oh. breed of duck not derived from the mallard. Oh, oh, man. oh that, it's not just a breed, it's a different species of duck. We took that off. Oh no. Okay. Ah! Um so these are ones that don't know. Uh Langshan. Yeah, Langshan is a, yeah, Langshan is a yeah. Astralorp. Yeah, L A N G S. -E. Yes. Astralorp is a combination of Australia and Orpington. So oh. you've got two because, yeah, it was a breed made for Australia and they derived it from Orpington. So they named it Australorp. So it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Okay, Leghorn? Yeah, leg, Leghorn, yeah. Leghorn is a place, yeah. Okay, Alan's that's what outside. we didn't know. We couldn't figure out where it was. And, and why not? Oh, I did something wrong. Is the why not named after a place? But which one did we have Canadian goose for that I had Canada screwed up on my list? No, Canada Pen goose. Pen we, we, we took out Canada goose because Osterlar was voted as a better choice, which it was a good choice, but they were both good choices, and it turns out. So why nuts was left on the list and not Canada goose. Oh, okay. okay. So was, is why not one? Okay, here's the thing. Again, <laughs> with the anaconda, there is a breed called Y and Dot. Is that what you were thinking of? Y, Y and Dot. W -Y no, the one I'm thinking of starts with the W. Yeah, this does. Y and w -Y Dot. Y W Y A N D O T T E. I think. Yes, Y and Dot. It's one of my yes. I have three babies. Actually, I had three. One of them died. So, okay. I'm you sorry that happened. But there'll be no pity points. <laughs> no, are you just mispronouncing it rather than misspelling it? Probably. Is that that's the we, breed. Okay. We didn't spell it. I wrote okay. down W Y A N D O T T E. 
Yes, that's it. Yeah, you're just saying it. Wrong. Okay. She how just didn't pronounce it? it like how that. How do you say it? Because I don't know. Wyandotte. Wyandotte. Okay, I've been saying it wrong. No one did they didn't know what I meant at the store. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, if you spelled it right, that's fine. All right, anything else? So I'm still confused about what uh, I put as anaconda. You got a point for it. Don't worry about it. There, on my list, oh. there is an, an ancona, A-N-C-O-N-A. That's the closest thing you've got. A-N-C-O-N-A. -A. Ancona. I think I put a D in there. I don't think we should get credit because we put a snake instead of a bird. <laughs> no, we said she just said it wrong. No, she no, spelled, I, it, I, wrong. I, I spelled it, it wrong. I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. Five minutes she discussing it. it. Oh, so we got okay. nine. Okay. Man, so we nine. got nine. All right. Fantastic. I thought I had a headache head before we started this. We're in the lead. <laughs> Let's see who can beat us. Or we could just stop right now. <laughs> but team okay. okay. Right, Let's go next? with we are requesting preemptive pardons for a score tonight. Who's reading it? Hi, Caspian and Jamie. I liked your joke, Caspian. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, we let's see. Did was Buckeye Chicken mentioned before? No, and that was the Hoosier Chicken, the Hoosier Clue. Uh -huh. That's what, that's the only one. The, the the Ohio breed is called the Buckeye. Okay, that's so we're good on that one. Description in the in my awesome. setup. So okay. Somebody figured that we, out. We have a uh, California chicken. Uh, I don't have it on the on the list. Okay. Where we? Uh, I, I saw. I think I think I saw one in a in a cattle in a okay. hatchery. We'll take no. it. No. <laughs> uh, uh, there is such a thing. It's not recognized yet. Okay. Hamburg chicken. Yes, hamburger is a is man. You want hamburger or chicken? And hamburger a, chicken? What? I want a hamburger chicken. Uh, California qu California quail. Ooh, good one. Uh, chicken, steak, two geese, and turkeys. Hello. Oh, yeah. the quail. Yeah, Hello. that's what we thought. We were just kind of we filling out. Uh, all right, <laughs> I might need. <laughs> Caspian to pronounce this. What was this? The Shropshire, Shropshire. chicken? Shropshire, Shropshire chicken? That's kind of one of those where we just pulled that answer out. Sounds like a serial killer chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Shropshire slasher, yeah. Yeah, no, so probably yeah. not. No. And yeah. then uh, we have the Welsh hen. Welsh. No, there's a Welsh harlequin duck. <laughs> Close oh. enough. That's awesome. Yeah. It's got feathers. Did, you lose the Did we lose Caspian? Yeah. He yeah. left. Why? Why? It's almost right. two o'clock. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> he went out to Kentucky Fried Chicken to get something to eat. So we got a, we got a six. Okay. Six for that team. Okay. Could have been worse. All right. So the team with a couple of bird brains should have a 10. <laughs> Uh, no. Um, so, uh, what haven't, what's still on our list that hasn't been mentioned? We've got uh, a bantam. I don't know if that's anything or not. Yes or no, Bob? It's a size classification. Okay, so that's box. Yeah, bantams. Box. Can be so no, no. no. Chickens. Like it's like boxing. Uh, well, I'm trying to educate while I. Right. Humiliate. Um, <laughs> Peking duck. Yes, <laughs> it's. I'll give it to you. It's the breed name is Pekin, without oh, the G. We that's another it's one a, we took off. Oh uh, uh, well, wait, uh, is that from uh, Beijing? Yeah. Like, is it from Peking, or is it? A, is it mean something else? The corrupt. Hello, corrupted. Transliterated. Oh my God! <laughs> hey Bob, it's corrupted, corrupted. It's also corrupted. cooked and delicious. What about okay. buffalo right. chicken wings? So, All right, I got two more. Pecan. That probably don't have any points. French game. 
Uh, no, oh, I lost my doc. And 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 a one uh, we completely, totally, absolutely made up. Old Faithful Chicken. <laughs> no. Beat out oh, wild so turkey. Oh, hey, like that. Oh, you got, you got American game, English game, and but you don't have a French game. All right. So, how many points did the team with a couple of bird brains get? Seven. Woo! I guess hot dog chicken. We're after. Going with the hamburger. Okay. So, last but not least, we have. You get again. You get again, and you get okay. Wait. We'll be quick. Uh, guinea fowl. Chickens, ducks, geese, and turkeys. So Different no, that's, uh, okay. that's, a, that's a slur. It is, it is a galliform, but it's not ah. one of the four classifications. Sonoma duck. <laughs> Sounds like a Toyota car. Yeah, Toyota yeah I didn't think so. That's what you say at the end of the meal when you don't you want any more ducks. Yes so no more no, duck. Bob. Bob, are they, you saying yes or no? They serve oh. it at the McDonald's. No. In Sedona. Oh, okay. Well, these next ones okay. are definitely it. North American delayed. turkey. <laughs> no. <laughs> New Hampshire red. That's no. Oh, yeah, New Hampshire. Yes. Hey. yes. yes. I, had, I had five. I'm down and to one. Nile goose. <laughs> no. And North American quail, but you already said quail doesn't work. So quail's not a. Chicken. Yeah, and we, so we took went... off Peking duck and Muscovy duck. Yeah, and oh. nobody, nobody laughed. Said Nana from Hawaii. Oh. Said what? So I, Nana. so we have five, Susan. I, I got four. Where's five? Oh, I I counted the Plymouth Rock chicken. Or yeah, P P yeah. Plymouth chicken. Oh, we gotcha. Plymouth yeah. Rock chicken. We said rock many times, and I'm giving it to Thanks. us. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's the here's the uh oh, that's five. Yeah. Five. Okay, here's the here's the final Thank score. You. Here we go. Uh, Yay, all right. Oh. <laughs> nice comeback, Kyle. Wow, that's a lot Carl, of 31. Okay. okay. But in our hearts, I want to say team gun gun no abortions. That we took off two. So in spirit, we tied Carl's yeah! team. Wow. <laughs> Look at all those 31. I love that idea, uh, we Karen. We tied for second, most of us. You guys mm -hmm. are something else. That was a hard. That was hard. Uh, well, at least we were on team one. Dude, we Congratulations. Just <laughs> duck on as a joke. We had three people. We lost two. Oh, that's no. Tough. You got to keep Deborah and. No, it was me, Faith, and Romero. That was Bye, Alan. Nice oh, guys. that. Oh, yeah. Team one. I tell you, it team was one. worth it we were down to, to, three. to listen to Faith read their list the whole night. <laughs> Seriously. Yep. Seriously. Well, team two was down to three people also, which was oh, Deborah, yeah. Kyle, and Will. Yep. Mm. That tracks. Very true. And actually, we were it was down Peggy to two. and myself and um, Janine, who counts as two whenever we can. Thank, we'll you, thank you, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Oh, good that one. was very good interesting. Night, I will be dreaming of chickens. Good night, so, everybody. So next we have everybody. everybody. We have Terry, Deborah, Peggy, Kevin, and Rob. And I'm I'm doing like, a bonus. And You're doing bonus. Tonight I thought my bonus was difficult, but no, now it's too easy. <laughs> so I'm going to add mono rules to it. Good night, everybody. Oh, no, I love no mono rules. Rules. No. I love them. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go to watch the hearings now. The last okay. Night, everybody. Good night. Everybody. Good night. Good night. Susan, if you want to talk about them, I'd love to talk to you about them tomorrow. If you ever want to talk about them. Okay. Okay. Night. 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 night.